PKA 584 with our guest Slush Puppy back by popular demand. Taylor? This episode of PKA brought to you by Express VPN and Lock and Load. Two excellent products, two very different products. So check them out below. And if either one seems interesting, check it out. We'll talk more about those later. Slush Puppy, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me again. I'm excited to be <laughs> yeah. here. Yep. Uh, we just we wanted to out that Express VPN and our cum enhancing pills are different products because I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do they, they, they both are help different, me come but... more? No, but it helps you come more at knowing you're safe online. <laughs> okay. so, if you're stressed out about your online security, there's no way you're going to be able to bust a fat nut. All right, exactly. All right. honey. I'm so that's I've why these two of... products partner so well. <laughs> honey, I've been doing a bunch Peanut of butter, fucked up shit on the yeah. dark web, and I'm too stressed to bust. Don't worry with Express <laughs> VPN. <laughs> Isn't it about just getting more through the pipeline? Like that's uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're stressed about your Silk Road purchases, just calm yeah. down with Express <laughs> VPN. Bust a big old nut. But what have you been uh, up, up to lately, uh, Slush? You've been playing a lot of that Tarkov. You told uh, me before the so before much we kicked Tarkov. this off. Dude, it's uh it's it's an addictive game. It's been a great wipe. Um is that yeah. that's your main game, right? You don't you don't fuck around with this yep. stuff? Yeah, I, I started streaming that, so that's been my uh, main one. But I took last wipe off because I didn't really like it. It was I found it really boring and like cod like yeah. I, I was calling a cod with extra steps and and uh I thought it was just long load in times to just run a gun and shit. And now it's they've sort of slowed it down and made it more high. They slowed it down to they slowed it down again today. I'm sure you know because you're a pro yeah. at it. Like, like they they reduce yeah. jump uh, height again. You know, regardless of your strength that. level. Yeah, it's gonna hurt Willers. It's gonna yeah. hurt people. Like, no, he'll find the yeah. the exploit. See, no, you just wiggle twice yeah. before you <laughs> jump. <laughs> yeah. So he's just amazing. He's good no matter what they do. So it's yeah. like, so it's old people like me. This will take me a month to adjust to. I'm gonna get yeah. shit on for the next month. Yeah, for sure. I love watching Willers. Um, just yeah, just do that parkour so shit, and he knows his audience likes it too. So he's just hopping around everywhere, whether he needs to or not. It's great. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but, but yeah, I'm I'm glad to see the wipe's been treating you well, and you haven't gotten burnt out on it. I, I'm burnt out. I played yeah. for about a week, ten days, or something like that. I'm probably done for the wipe. Um, I just got so rich and like so I'm so close yeah. to max strength and max endurance that it, it, I'm just I'm able to do whatever I want and run whatever yeah. gear I want, and I still don't lose I money, and I just got done. I sort of like that you can't just buy all the good gear now, though, because it's like mm -hmm. you, you need to, like, you can't just buy a slick. You need to accrue them and, like, you want a case full of slicks? <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's like, that's what I've been doing. Like, I've got, I've just got, so usually I just run with like a gigantic pile of cash and then just uh, buy whatever I need as I'm loading out. But now I just have like piles of shit, like cases upon cases just stacked inside each other. So, yep. I did the same. Nice. I did the same. I'm sure you, you put three times as much time as, it, uh, as I have. I don't know how. I mean, it probably helps that you get paid to play. I bet yeah. that keeps things lively. <laughs> and I know, like, um, do you do a lot of that special stuff where you're like, all right, today we're only going to use, like, viewer guns or viewer kits, or, like, today we're only going to use... Do you do, like, goofy shit? It usually, so I'll do, like, uh, I'll pick a gun, and they'll be like, I'm going to do this today, and I'm going to make money with this. So it'll be like, all I'm going to do is use a double barrel shotgun, or all I'm going to do is snipe all day, or all I'm going to use is pistols and shit like that. Usually it just descends into doing dumb ass shit, like just running around naked with impact grenades and just pegging yep. them at people. So that's... we did, uh, we did like Vietnam cosplay where we only used yep. Vietnam era weapons and clothing. And uh, then some, then you know, somebody shits on you and you're like, I'm bringing my good stuff this time. So it's, you know, it's a, uh, it's a great game. I'm glad you're, uh, you're having fun with it. Yeah. But, but yeah. I don't want to shift gears too dramatically, and I want to talk anything you want to talk about. I want to talk about going to uh, a escape escape from Ukraine. <laughs> but they're about to make the reason I want to talk about Little Tarkov is because they're doing it for reals over in uh, uh, Europe today. Um, Russia invaded a sovereign fucking country of forty something million people with tanks with with combined arms. The way we do modern military, all the pieces he moved at once. Special forces helicoptering in. Airlifted in rocket bombardment, paratroopers, tanks, armored vehicles, my everything. Yeah. You know? So I have some army friends. A lot of army people are into paramotors, and uh, they're laying out like they're bringing in the LL 88s or whatever the fuck they are. And uh, they're like, this tells me that they feel comfortable bringing in the big planes. This tells me that they've taken out all the air defenses. This tells me it's about to yeah. get way worse and thousands of mm. troops and heavy artillery is about to roll in via airplane. Oh, and, and by the way, I pointed out they, they're doing this in Kiev, I think, which is the capital. Well, and, apparently uh, they reclaimed the Kiev airport, though. 
Uh, oh, Ukraine's I'm out of date been, then. Okay. Yeah, I was reading just this morning that uh, so Russia bombed it, landed paratroopers, and took it, and then uh, they fought back, and Ukraine has uh, reclaimed it. So, but it's it's so hard to find like proper information oh. on everything. It's what do you that's, know? That's what they're saying. Yeah, Taylor, but there's a. I apologize. I was saying, yeah, like I like what he was saying. I saw that thing that was like the Kiev airport has fallen, but like by the time you get news that they got retaken, it could have fallen again. Like yeah, it, yeah. it doesn't feel like it's a very quick they, streamline of info. When they retook it, did they get those big planes? What happened to the thousands of people that were in it? Like yeah. how did how much did they retake? Did they get the Cinnabon? Or the whole what I took from the that important part. What I took from that was that they landed like special forces there or something, like maybe 30 guys. And those 30 guys uh -huh. killed a bunch of people at the airport and locked it down. And then the Ukrainians, because they live there and there are millions of them, sent in like a bunch of people and killed those people. And that now they have it again. Yeah. That's what it sounded Jack like. Jack says, as of seven hours ago, it's under Russian control. Good information is hard to come by. Oh, yeah, and by yeah, the way, yeah. as you're it listening should to this be. on Saturday, I'm sure this is totally relevant. Oh, yeah. But Everything yeah. we say is going to be wrong. <laughs> the yeah, yeah. Out. Although, man, we're not, it's not even going to be Ukraine yeah, so, Saturday, so, man. It's, right? It's, so maybe, like, yeah. uh, maybe we don't give, like, refer up, to it as At known. this very moment, they are yeah. crossing the... Yeah, that, that's that's a relevant conversation. But, like, just the fact that mm -hmm. he's done this and the way he's done this, like, so... Yeah, it's wild. Like, he just doesn't like, give a fuck here. He, there, there's no real pretense. Um, He's... And, and he's got the uh, he's well, coming from Belarus as well from the north. I didn't see any yeah. simulations uh, show anything like that. His his like whole whole pretense is uh it, it it's like a total throwback though. Like because I, I don't know if you guys know the like the history of the region, but like Ukraine and Russia used and Belarus used to be all the same country, and then mm -hmm. they split. Uh, like a, Kiev was the capital in the Kiev and Rus like ages ago. This is like mm -hmm. sixth century. But the uh, so they split, and then Moscow was in charge of uh, the Ukraine, and then they, when they joined USSR, they gave them Crimea as like a show of trust, and then then they wanted it back when after they left the USSR, and they were like, "No, we're keeping that." So, God, then they, then yeah, when they took it back, they were like, "Yeah, this actually belongs to Russia." So it's like. Confused I was I was trying to understand like like wrap my head around how big that front is you know extending from like Belarus and wrapping all the way back around to Odessa whatever the fuck that is in the in the in the southern sea down yeah. there like I was trying to wrap my head how big that is and so I found an overlay of of uh, Ukraine like over the United States because that's what I'm yeah you know, driven across it seems like it's like three or four states that they've got there it's, it's like, one of the bigger European countries yeah. Mm. It's, it's like the second uh, biggest European country. Like just that front seems to be like the entire coast from like Georgia to the top of North Carolina or something at least. Like it's a it's several mm -hmm. hundred miles. I think and it's, the amount of shelling and like where these troops are seemingly everywhere and the tanks. Like I guess it's no surprise, but it's like holy smokes, this is for real. Yeah, there's way more. Like I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know shit about it, but like. I always had in my head that like, oh, invasions now are going to go lighter on tanks. It's not World War II. But like the clips I yeah. saw, dozens and dozens, like hundreds of tanks rolled out. And like you, you see them like in normal streets, like people are like parting their blinds with like their phone. And you can like see tanks going by with like a megaphone. Yeah. like Which I have no <laughs> idea what that means. Probably stay in your fucking house or you will wish you had like. That's, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think tanks are a huge part of uh, of land combat, especially this kind where he's I mean, he's conquering a country right now. Uh, that, what's what's curious and maybe we could even take bets on this if it's not too disrespectful to do so is what we think <laughs> the outcome of this thing is going to be, because like it could go a few ways. Right. Like he could just conquer the whole fucking country and say this is Russia. Now he could install a puppet government if he's able to like take out. Uh, if he's able to capture the capital and take, maybe even take out the leadership or at least get the leadership to flee. Cause as of right now, the leadership is still in place in Kiev hiding somewhere. Mm. I'm sure. Really? And Dude, yes, this is like so, yeah, they are. so much disparate stuff. I thought I saw something about some high level Ukrainian leadership guy, like booking it. I mean, maybe some high level. Well, they, they, leadership. They maybe they recommended like, that he left. maybe like the treasurer of state left and that would, uh, that would yeah. fit the bill. But like maybe, the, yeah. the prime minister, like, yeah. who, who is it a prime minister? Zelen of Ukraine? Vladimir, Vladimir Zelensky. Zelensky is, is still there. Yeah. And, and he is, yeah. uh, he got told to leave. He got, he got told, told. I would hope yeah. so. That'd be yeah, terrible. No, you can't leave. He just no, left. You can't leave. 
You can't yeah, leave. Yeah. Nah, he was, he was like, no, fuck that. Does the that. captain go down with the ship? Yes. Or does the captain go somewhere safer to control the ship? No, the captain goes down with the ship. Yeah. He, he can't be like, I mean, he, he's he been saying stuff like, if you lose, right, gonna, because, because this isn't a scenario where like he could go to like Germany and chill for three, for three years. And Vladimir Putin's going to be like, all right, I give y'all talk to me into it. Take the app back and <laughs> yeah. you be the boss. That is yeah. never going to happen. So it's, well, they probably want to instill the previous president because he was like really no, pro Russia. Not. And then he got, uh, oh, he got right, voted out. Like he landslide elections. Uh, they, they told him he, Right, he fled to Russia. Fled to Russia after he got voted out. Well, and so they probably want to try and install him again. But I, I've seen, uh, I've seen some really crazy military stuff, and people have been asking me, "What's this gun? What's that gun?" I'm like, guys, I don't fucking know every AK variant. But like going through the footage, yeah. like <clears throat> there were those two gentlemen that were captured. Uh, two Russians were captured, and uh, they've got their gear laid out on the ground. They got a picture of these two guys. They look like they're like. 19 20 years Man, old like little guys kids, dude. and they've both got like ak-74s with uh those bake like mags that um mm. potato was telling me they haven't made that shit since the 70s and uh i don't know they just look scared they got pocket knives uh, like one of them had like be, one of them had rain boots armor. on yeah no body armor like, someone yeah, like someone mentioned camping. to me that that it's likely that the reason those guys are so poorly geared was that they were like part of a mechanized unit like maybe they were in a truck like that might be a mechanic in a truck and like the truck broke down. Oh. They, they ran for it and got captured um, yeah. because uh, Larry was showing me some footage from er, like a month ago of like FSB, which is some sort of like Russian special forces, I guess, in Ukraine. And they did not have junk gear. They had as good a gear as yeah. anyone on the planet has. They had a, they had high level optics, Western sniper rifles. Well, don't we supply rate- them with like the highest level shit? No, we right. don't give anything to them military. Like really good stuff. They had Ukraine? French stuff. They had French stuff and uh, British stuff. I think I'm talking about. I think they. I think the. Yeah, uh, I, I thought yeah, that we absolutely yeah, helped. Yeah. So I'm FSB talking about. Is, uh, I'm confused because I think so, Kyle like, and I are talking AJ, about Ukraine but, and Kyle's talking about Russia. I am. I'm talking about yeah, Russians. Talking about Ukraine, well, I'm talking about sorry. Russians in Ukraine. So, so I'm I'm talking about the Russians who are invading Ukraine and the gear they have. Okay, yeah. I think we weren't on the same page. Now we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're so, close. so um, I don't know. The the ones they that I saw them capture today had junk, but like I said, I think they someone suggested yeah. they might be some. They, I saw bodies the F- in the street F- though, and uh, yeah, the F- FSB is war. uh the like the successor <clears throat> to the KGB, and so they're like Homeland Security kind of shit. Mm-hmm. So I think they have well, like, they're like the, the CIA. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Russian, yeah like they're CIA. CIA. Yeah. Is, is Russia putting yeah, their probably troops along the Poland? Is Russia putting their troops along the Poland border now? That's what I'm reading. They could uh, be. I don't know. I feel like this is moving so quickly by the time this show ends tonight. Yeah, it'll be true. like all new info. But so like mm. I'm curious what like obviously no that's one a very big the deal if they're putting have any tr- fucking clue what's what's Poland. gonna go on. But like what is what are people saying? Like, do they think it's likely that Russia's gonna take all of Ukraine or they're just gonna take like a slice of it? Or seems likely. I guess that depends on the pushback. And right now, yeah. it seems like Russia is winning pretty handily. And so, if it continues this way, they would want the whole I, thing. I, I don't think there's any indication to to say that Russia is winning handedly. I don't think we we've seen That's anything. Like all, I, all, I, all, all all I've seen and all I've heard is like flashes in the distance and like mm. missiles hitting things. But but it's not as if there's. I, I saw, like did you see that map? Battle. Do you see that the, map of the uh, all the air bases and shit that they like instantly off the bat just fucked up across? Well, like, they would have expected Ukraine. that though. See, that doesn't they, matter. They would have expected yeah. so, that. So, so the issue with the air sure thing, does. it it doesn't matter because like it's it's better that they destroyed their airports right away so that they didn't get their planes in the air because they only have fifty fucking planes. They've got fifty men. Oh, that's not many. The Russians have like three thousand or something like that, like fighting jet type aircraft. Wait. It's better that they don't get to put their planes in the air. They can't have. They have to have more than five, five zero. They're and they're MIGs. They're <laughs> out one five. They're out. <laughs> what difference does it make? So, so, so it was a given from the That's beginning. A terrible that, ratio. So it was a given from the beginning that that the air part was lost because they're, they're they're just yeah. in no well, way they, 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 they would have seen that, that coming. Mm-hmm. They would have been like, okay, the first thing they're going to do is bomb all the airports. They would have evacuated them, like the personnel, and just seen it as a given. Because yeah, like, I, I, they, they just had to what they're gonna do. I saw yeah. um video from some sort of like I think it was from a group like what you do, Woody. Like he was some sort of amateur aircraft guy. Like he 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 uses that airport and he's like, "Fuck, <laughs> look at this!" 
and they've they've hit it with like a big bomb that made a big hole, but then maybe some other kind of bomb that makes like so many of these like three inch holes. Like a cluster bomb or some that, sort. You know, and he's just like <laughs> my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> the true guy. casualty. Yeah. You know, it, no, it really does suck. Uh, I did see that one guy, uh, which I assumed, you know, whenever I see an aircraft go down, I don't know if that's Russians or Ukrainians. I don't know if we cheer or we cry because we don't uh, know any way to. I yeah, you're, you're, you're just watching things happen, not knowing if it's good or bad, yeah. you know. Um, so I saw like one helicopter um, go down over water. Right. And the and the two pilots coming out in parachutes. That water looked cold. What's the temperature like in Ukraine oh, yeah. right now? Oh, it's got to be awful. Fucking cold. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine it's ever nice. It's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I always picture Russia's freezing all the time. It's oh, come on, yeah. Ukraine in spring. <laughs> Ooh, a Ukrainian <laughs> spring. <laughs> yeah. Let's go hire a yacht and we'll just watch when from the, the uh, Black Sea. Yeah, it's thirty-five so, degrees. Okay, that's not awful, but it's not even good. Thirty-five. The, I, I did see some uh, pictures and videos of uh, shot down Russian helicopters, like the KA-52, the version of the, which is essentially like an Apache. Mm-hmm. And In they, the field? Sh- yeah, it was, yeah. And apparently they shot it down with a Stinger missile, which is like from the 80s. So it's like... Oh, it's pretty retro. It's like, so, yeah. so it looked like the missile had exploded near it and like splattered it with shrapnel because I saw like yeah. a lot of little damage on the heli. It's one of those helis that's got like the two things of rotors on yep. top and like the crazy bank of like w- it has wings with missiles attached on a heli. Mm-hmm. And uh, but it's just parked in a fucking field now. And all these it's om- I always liked it a little bit, at least like when one of our like space age fucking drones would get shot down over Afghanistan. And then you'd have that <laughs> footage of like goat herders like stomping on it. <laughs> like, so, so literally Black Hawk. Yeah. Down. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. It, you know, it's it, it's like like they've never seen anything like this before. It might as well be some Star Wars shit landing in in the yeah. streets of Brooklyn. Uh, but so they're just like stomping on stuff. But that's kind of how it was. Like like these like people had just now had control of God knows what one of those costs. You know, tens of millions, maybe a hundred million. Two hundred twenty, two hundred twenty million U.S. dollars. Jesus Christ! Imagine US, how many yeah. rubles that is. Biden hey. spoke. I want to talk about that, Biden's by the by the hour. It's increasing, but okay. I don't think I saw it. Tell me about it. So I watched Biden's thir- uh, maybe it was a thirty-five minute address. You know, standing at the podium, which is a weird thing. I you should have sat at the, the desk, but I think he stands at the podium when he's speaking to the world, and the desk is for the the country. That's my take. Yeah. That's what it feels like. So he's at the lectern podium, Sit whatever. The boys, <sighs> look, Donald Trump was bad on teleprompter a lot of the times, and he could ramble if he's not on it. Um, those are those are. True things. Joe Biden can't really speak fluently, even when he's reading, though. And it's frustrating. He didn't do poorly. But like I watched the um, um, the 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 Ukrainian foreign minister. I think maybe he was at the U.N. or somewhere else. speaking. Oh, Oh, my God. He's so eloquent and well spoken. And when they ask him that, was it English? Yeah. Oh, oh, dude. we watch different thing, but oh, sorry, let me perfect English. Oh, I'm sure he speaks like an, uh, any language you need him to. This he's guy's... speaking in Russian. The thing I watched it was outstanding, but I'm interrupting. He was incredible. Um, and, and then I watch our president speak, and he's just we're gonna just not understand. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 let me say it again. What I meant to say was all of them, not just and and the republics that he said were republics, they weren't. They weren't. And they're not going to be. And 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 the, I said that we were going to do this, and now look. we are. We're going to hit them with the strongest of sanctions. And they're like, well, what about this, that, and the other? Well, maybe not right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a... Uh, Don't yeah, we already uh, sanction the shit out of the same. No, the, the sanctions they put down today, um, he's, Biden's quote, what, he's, what he told me uh, today over YouTube was that um, <laughs> uh, it's an accurate statement by my told friend me joe <laughs> i i was i was here i heard from joe today and he says that the ruble has hit its lowest point ever he used the word ever oh uh, yeah um because i because i don't know a lot about central banking or certainly not global economics but it but he cut off their access to the to western financial institutions to like several gigantic banks yeah. and maybe one of them is the one that like pays the soldiers so it's like i think he literally may have like made it more difficult for them to pay the people who are fighting right now in ukraine yeah. but um, i think they're like uh they mm. they cut off like a bunch of banks and then they also cut off like a, a shitload of like super rich Osh- russian oligarchs that are like 
that too. That are like big, big speakers and shit like that. So they cut off like fuckloads of them to try and put pressure on Putin, I think. Yep. Imports and exports shut down um, across the board. I saw that like that's not a big amount, like from the, certainly not from the US and Russia, like back and forth. I think we import like. 0.10% of their exports come to us or something like some fraction yeah. of a percentage and like but like 6% of our shit uh, of our total exports go to Russia right. so it's like so that number that do you know if that was Americans like getting it or American and our allies because I believe that when we sanction America. Germany sanctions and England yeah. sanctions and yeah that's well, they that's... voted against it though the Germany oh. voted against cutting them off the they wanted to cut them off the swift payment system which is like from bank that's to what bank. the reporter asked about yeah, yeah. And they, yeah, they didn't. Uh, they didn't do that because Germany voted against it. They didn't want to do it. So okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll so, see how Germany feels when Poland falls. <laughs> yeah. I've seen. This oh no, movie they're before. coming again. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I, I was. I saw that thing that Woody said where you were like German, or maybe it was PKN. You're like Germany. It wants to cancel a like natural gas pipeline from okay. Russia. Uh, into yeah. germany the and apparently it already is canceled yeah and then i was like i was curious since i was like wondering how much of the power germany gets is from russia it's it's a baffling amount like yeah. it's it, it's no, a majority it's of it and so like how is how is, how is how is well it's most of europe so what are they gonna so energy prices are gonna go through the fucking roof, they already have right they, they already have. and they'll continue to get worse and worse man, if you're a smart man yesterday morning you bought so many fucking oil commodities <laughs> <laughs> that shit I mean, absolutely fucking mooned yesterday. Not even, uh, I, I don't not even gonna lie. I mean, made a lot of money. But it, I'm just curious, like, what? How is that gonna play out? Like, because if they've been relying on Russia for fucking ever, and they were relying on this new pipeline, and they just said, "No, we're not getting that anymore." Like, they need a backup plan. Like, mm. what? What? Yeah. And not just like is there Germany, some like you source? said. What's gonna happen? Yeah, if they're not getting it from Russia, they have to get it somewhere. The other thing is, I think China committed to buy a lot of Russian exports. So mm. China's basically like, dude, do it, do it, do it. We got your back. Well, you get finance problems. It's cool. We'll buy your shit. Yeah. We'll buy your which, uh, <laughs> which is a little bit of a different move from China because they denounced the 2014 grab in the Crimea. Yes. Um, but this time they seem to be, at the very least, um, siding toward russia leaning toward russia yeah for sure More than the thing, just it's taking not like subtle. an american They're role siding towards of, it uh... is very much intentional like if you if, mm -hmm. i saw the language of their agreement that came it's hundreds of pages but like the excerpts were like there's nothing that russia could do that would make us angry with them kind of language like <laughs> they basically said mm. invade ukraine we're cool with it well like we're gonna buy your exports we are the closest of friends and then you've got Putin's nuclear dog whistle in his speech, which is always fun to hear. You know, oh, when he's like, like, and yeah. you will, uh, your countries will face troubles like they have never experienced in its existence. Oh, yeah. And it's like, well, that was except, a long way to stay what, nuke. What, what, what if he said, what if he said, <laughs> what if he said, except for you, Japan, you know what's up? <laughs> <laughs> except for Japan, like, we, we, we gave them, like, they, they so. agreed with us, took one email. No, 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 because, no, Russia, no, because Japan Russia got their ass kicked by Japan last time, though. Like, they fought before World War One, and uh, Japan tricked them. They were like, yeah, we should have a summit. And they uh, put all their warships into a dock, and then Japan just bombed the fuck out of them and destroyed the whole Pacific Navy. <laughs> just Very like, sneaky. yeah, fuck you. Good yeah. move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they got yeah. fucked. They tried that move on us. Yeah, Plus yeah. one illusion <laughs> magic. The Japanese yeah, yeah. are lucky that, that, that we didn't allow, allow the Russians to come in and uh, assist us a little bit more further. I, that that could have gotten much more bloody. I'm, st you know, the the other day we said that we should allow the Japanese to rebuild its its military, mm -hmm. and just forget about that whole World War II thing. I don't know what you just brought up just soured my my feeling. I don't think so. I think another how, 50 how about years. This, Kyle? So. We're gonna. They can only have a military so with automaton robots. That way, it's not going to be a threat for a long time. They're going to advance robotics on the part of the world. And we basically have our thumb over Japan anyway. As soon as they get a cool-ass soldier. On one condition. Go, you know what? We're going we're gonna to go ahead and take that, and you're not allowed to have it anymore. Can they be like? They can be Gundams, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't want to say units, Japan with the Now military. units of military people, they like... Like it's like this guy's like sergeant, so he's the left arm, and the captain's the head, and they and they take on Russia. Remember that? 
I don't, I don't want to see them with a the military. Last last time that uh, last time that <laughs> Australia and uh, US fought against them, they'd just be like, "Yeah, let's just put this fuckhead up in a tree with a cup of rice, and he'd just sit there for like fucking five weeks and just start killing people." They're too dedicated. You you even like, watch, like, my lazy ass. If I get I get fucking conscripted, man, I'm lazy as fuck. I'm not fighting against someone with that kind mm. of commitment. That's fucked up. <laughs> Dude, That's you watching a- like I know it's just a TV show, but you watching the Band of Brothers and like in in the first one, which is about like the Nazi front, the the, the Western Front. Like if the the Allies would be like, "I fucking got you, Hans," and he's like, "Ah, I have been captured by you know by the Americans." Oh no! But like in the Pacific series, not as good of a series, they'd be like, "Hey, you get over here!" And the guy's like. Ah! <laughs> with like two grenades and i'm like oh my god this is so much worse than the western front mm, like yeah. <laughs> that would be yeah horrible. i, I think you had just to... running you with a sword and you know what else here's the other thing like, like i i like to watch those youtube channels where they tell all, all sorts of like world war ii stories and i was watching one about a guy who had who had escaped multiple um prisoner of war camps in germany or, or at least on the western front let's, let's just say that i don't know what country he was in at the time but like Think about that. They treated him well enough at the first prison camp that he had the strength not only to escape, but to go on. And then when they captured him again, they weren't like, oh, we told you what would happen. They were like, get back in there. <laughs> and they and, and like he went on and did some other stuff. That wouldn't happen in Japan. Right? Uh, their, their, prisoner, no. their prisoner camps were awful. They just vivisection. Oh, man. He would have he would have been walking out on stumps with his feet so, so to his fucking head. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. that, that's what happened. Like, like, Scott Hill. Hill. That's what happened to Cotton Hill. He lost his shit. What if we put a full heart in any in a guy who doesn't even want him? And it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, put four hearts in him. Wait, he died. There was a uh, there was a Medal of Honor winner. winner it's Cotton Hill, uh, Sergeant Cotton Hill. He had his shins blown <laughs> off fighting the Japanese in the in the Pacific, and they fused his foot at the ankle with at the knee joint. And and a man mm-hmm. that was once six foot three, six foot four, had to walk around it like five foot flat for the rest of his life. But he was a hero. I mean, like a little known fact about that story is uh, he didn't need to have his shins removed. They removed them as as material for Japanese leg lengthening surgeries. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, somewhere yeah. there's a six foot tall Japanese yeah. man as a uh, <laughs> okay, let's, let's not be overzealous. Five foot three, maybe. Yeah, five foot three. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this uh, this Ukraine shit is just so fucking you, interesting if, to look at. It's, what if China it's, it's, it's is wild like, uh, that we're living through this. You know, I saw someone tweet honest, like we were going to get some revenge and they're just like, oh, yeah, we're just going to uh, while you're doing that, we're going to take Taiwan and then invade Japan. I, I, it mean, would, I uh... China's supporting Russia mainly because of like it, it like they want to do the same thing with Taiwan. Right. Yeah. So. Oh, 100%. It, yeah. And so they're like, it's kind of like buddies of like, oh, you want to you want to sneak in, take that country, take that, you know, republic, whatever. I, All right, yeah, I got your back. Maybe, you got my back. Maybe I'm crazy, but I, I I would think that Chinese leadership doesn't want to be viewed at, like as a thug the same way that Vladimir Putin's being viewed right now. I think the since they they've taken so long to like, I know they've always been a threat with Taiwan and 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 several areas in that region, but it's like they've never like just stormed in there and conquered it when they clearly could have. That's that's not what they want then, obviously. So they really want to like find some sort of middle ground where they negotiate for it. Or they win the people over somehow and like get them to just yeah. agree to it. That seems to be what they want to Buy do there. Back. Um, that or they're really scared of the U.S. and 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 they're doing a good job of of not showing it. Um, but uh, but Vladimir Putin is clearly just I, I, this this will never. They're not going to forgive him for this. Like the the, the leaders of yeah. the world, I don't think he, he's going to be viewed differently from now on. This is a different thing he's done this time. How much longer does he want to lead? So he's sixty nine, Putin, and. Really? Until awesome. recently, I would have said, yeah, fact check me. I think he's 69. Um, until recently, I would have been like, he's got to retire soon, right? No one leads past like 71, 72, 69. And now it's like, yeah, okay, he is 69. But with, with our recent leaders, like I think Trump's going to get reelected. He's the he's the favorite right now. I, I don't know how old he'll be when he gets reelected. Maybe 100. <laughs> like suddenly what, 69 how, seems. How are you electing these people? Like, I don't uh, know. It, we're regretting. My grand, was, my grand was getting shuffled off to a fucking home 10 years before <laughs> these fuckers even started running for election. Like, I, geez, geez, everyone I know that that is that age is fucking retarded. Like, you could probably you could probably get into brain like, is like fucking fried. Why are these people running in country? Dude, and, and, yeah. 
So, all right. Yeah. One, why isn't Putin retarded by now? He's 69. Or maybe he will quickly be in two years or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Just to be clear, like some people like keep all their wits like throughout their whole life, though, right? Like not everybody goes senile. No, they it's not a given. Of course. Of course. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, most of them do. Like, I mean, like right before death, I'm sure. Like, like, like Betty White wasn't good oh, for the last three years. Look at this tank of a man. You think that guy's going senile? I saw that guy speak in, at his white desk. First of all, when Wait, he was 2016, in that. 2016, he's 63 in that. He's having. I don't work know when done. that picture was taken or how shop he's, it is. He is, but he looks he is good having work done. done. It's gotta be because I, I even I saw his. Like. I yeah. You look at his face from like the Russian speech he was given, uh, like get last night or whatever about the invasion and everything. He's. He, he's he's getting some some filler done. No oh, sixty nine year old has that smooth of foreheads, especially somebody as undoubtedly angry as he is. If you want yeah. a good look furrowing at it, brows all the time, have you ever seen the Oliver Stone interviews with him? I didn't know those were a thing. So about five years ago, Oliver Stone sat down with, across from Vladimir Putin and did like hours worth of interviews that are on. I think they're on HBO. If you search like Oliver Stone Putin interviews, it's fascinating. And he, you see how he became a leader and how he won people over because he's very charismatic and he really does seem like a strong, confident leader. But he's also a war criminal at this point, like as the Ukrainian <clears throat> UN rep said today, or maybe it was last night at this point. You know, he, he looked across at the at his Russian counterpart and said, just to be clear, there's no purgatory for war criminals. You go straight to hell. It's like, that's your <laughs> statement? Yeah. <laughs> That, that was actually wicked. Like, I mean, why are we putting up like Russian yeah. propaganda pictures? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like like they're pretty, they're pretty funny. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's such doing. a juxtaposition <laughs> for what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Zach's, <over there. laughs> like, Zach's like, no, you, Kyle, you, look at him. He's ripped. He's ripped. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you imagine how unflattering Trump would be on a horse? Like that, it would have all to be of a, that a got or something. <laughs> I imagine, I imagine he looks sort of like no, it, it's a, it's a Clydesdale. He borrows oh, it from Anheuser Busch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> giant fucking Clydesdale. Yeah, I mean, I, in fairness, I, it would be tough to look good sitting on a horse. Like Putin doesn't even do it, and he had all the photoshopists in all of Russia. All the photoshopists, <laughs> both of them. I, I think he looks. Fine yeah, on that. <laughs> I think he looks fine on that horse, and I think that yeah, he's probably fact, in like his forties in that picture. I feel like he's like willfully showing some like clear imperfections but but then like because he knows everyone's gonna be like dude first yeah. of all he doesn't give a fuck what you think clearly he's shirtless on a horse right now but of course he cares what you think that's why he's on a shortlist that's so why he's shirtless on a horse right now. your point correctly <laughs> let me see if i have this yeah posting shirtless pictures is a power move that's your core that's what we're getting if at you're here. the leader of a fucking country and you're trying no to, no, like, no. you and your rules kyle <laughs> posting <laughs> shirtless <laughs> pictures is a power no. move I, I like the rule so yeah. it's rape, Woody. That doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> Woody is a man after Putin's own heart when it comes to shirtless photos. When it comes when it comes to foisting unwanted shirtless photos on the world. Oh, there you go again. <laughs> I now know how women feel in the workplace. I feel like I'm an Activision every fucking day. <laughs> you said you to... the, it was time to see him again. I have to. I mean, I know Kyle's our head of HR here. I text him all the time. <laughs> I don't. I feel assaulted. I tell him there's nothing the I can do. I'm being photos. exposed as well. Yeah. <laughs> I need to check this out. I've never heard of the Putin interview, so that's interesting. Yeah, very good, very good. He's sitting there fucking sipping his tea like a Bond villain and telling you why he does things the way he does. It's uh, pretty interesting stuff. Oliver Stone caught a lot of flack for it because um, he, uh, you know, he's talking to Vladimir Putin. He's sitting down giving him an, uh, that 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 uh, that audience or whatever. But it is interesting to see what. He's got oh, to I'll say, that regardless of how. Yeah. Did you know that um, Sean Penn is on the ground right now in Afghanistan? There oh, look is. at that. Look That's at that. a leader. Of, that, that could <laughs> be, he could lead a country, that guy. Oh, I think. Oh, my God. That guy would beat a, a the continent. shit out of Putin. You'd beat the I, I shit out of Putin. I, I, they would kill me shortly after. Woody, as, long you... as, he lays, as long as he lays me to the bedroom afterwards, I'm Woody, fucking could... happy. Let's go. <laughs> could you tweet, at, tweet that at Russia right now and say, and, and Vladimir Putin, and say, let's go? <laughs> at, Ru at russia is actually russia by the way you'll you'll, you'll get to him slush yeah, puppy if i lead you to the bedroom just I use a fake vladimir putin you don't want to upset clear. the real one i want the bottom i've been doing a lot of glute work and it shouldn't go unnoticed <laughs> oh you've been a pal bottom <laughs> <laughs> that russia <laughs> All right, we don't. Very okay. good. That's it's, yeah. We can take Woody down. <laughs> Blaze did now. We got it. <laughs> no, you look tremendous. That's not even uh, your best photo. I thought the other photo was better. I I thought I got that's to me is the best photo. I thought I've that was your best one. Time. Yeah, 
I guess it depends what you want. The abs weren't as defined in that, but uh, yeah, but the shoulders. I, yeah, I guess it that's depends. That's a bolder shoulders in that one. The real but, strong. Uh, well, is there anything else on on Ukraine and and the world Shit, that we can know. enlighten you know, people got, three days from bets? now on? What? Any, bet? <laughs> any bets? I don't, I don't Ooh, know. It's just fun because we could look really dumb on. in three days. I bet that Russia quickly like scatters their troops around the country, but that there's infighting and sniping going on. Like that kind of resistance, mm -hmm. like, like the Iraq sort of like, Hey, we did it. We rolled in at 80 miles an hour and took the whole country. And then afterwards, Oh, shucks. You know, the, now there's uh what do you call it? Like a guerrilla fighters, guerrilla fighters. Maybe what I was looking yeah, for. There's yeah. another word that I can't think of, but you know, guys Insurgents. popping insurgents yes i kept saying insurrection in my head now there's insurgents like popping up all over the place causing trouble mm -hmm. that would yeah. be my bet as well i if, think if, that, they, um... if they try and hold it out then they'll probably just ramp up the bombardments and then it'll just become really bloody uh, russia's if... not i'm sorry i thought there was a break russia's not kind like america is like america moved into iraq and they're like we're trying to win over their hearts and mind i think russia will move into ukraine and be like we are trying to get them to quit fuck these mm. guys you know like yeah. That's how we won World War II. We. I, I think you're right, but I also think that's a very charitable uh, take towards the U.S. and how we handled Afghanistan and Iraq. We, we <laughs> fucked up millions of people's lives by by doing that. Innocent people. Uh, we, but, we've yeah, saved them. I think they're a democracy now, and they're grateful for it. <laughs> and if they're not, <laughs> check let us out. know, because we know the way yeah. back. <laughs> no, no more democracy, please. Like, <laughs> we can't handle twenty more years of democracy. My ass will do it. You need any more freedom? You just let please us know. Bring us back to us. Give us an evil despot. He right. can believe anything. The, the, the moon is cheese. Just not democracy. <laughs> they, they just they just associate democracy with uh, fighter jets and tanks. But Fucking yeah, water. it is interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. It, it seems like what you said makes the most sense. Like, of course, Russia is the stronger military, so they could do that jump on through and like act like that everything they've got up to that line is conquered. And then it's a big clusterfuck for a while. I they only had 200,000 troops on the border. And that's like the Ukrainian military is uh, is 200,000 troops plus called up like reservists. So yeah, I think it's yeah. going to I think it's going to be a pretty bloody fight if it's if they're going to do it. I think well, they're going to I think they're going to resist. The, I hope it does not get to that. What I don't know how big a factor it is, is the people of Russia that want peace. Like, it seems like in China, their military and a lot of their biggest fears are Chinese people not liking the Chinese government. In Russia, it seems like they have a lot of concerns about Russians not liking the Russian government. In America, I never worry about that. Like, I never really worry about civil war, I guess, until... Trump was president. But prior to that, it was never like there was going to be some insurrection, people trying to overthrow our own government. Um, now at Russia, they're protesting in the name of peace. Like they're all over. I think it was Moscow. I forget. Maybe you've seen the video and stuff. Yeah, and I saw one in like St. Petersburg. Yeah. Okay. Um, like, is that going to have any impact? Is is Putin going to care if his people are mad? No. Apparently there's no, been I, like yeah. a thousand no, people There, there was a... There was a so, quote. Hey, was let me get my from... bet in for what happens. It was my idea, and then everybody went, and then we Sorry. started talking about other stuff. Oh. Um, it seems like they want to uh, take the leadership over with the attacks on Kiev, like them trying to take the airport, them coming in from the north uh, via Belarus, and then uh, and and all the strikes in the in the capital. If they if they're able to like capture kill the leadership, you would think that's kind of it. That 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 like everything could just fall at that point. Um, oh. I, I don't know what happens in a modern war when the president is captured or killed. Um, or if they, and then the yeah. capital is like taken and then they, they start shooting cabinet members or until one says, I'm the president now. And they say, okay, so what do you think we should do? We should declare peace. All right, president, go declare <laughs> peace. Uh, like, like that could easily happen okay. quickly. But if that doesn't happen, you would imagine that, um, I don't know, this thing's going to go on for a long time because they're passing out rifles right now to the civilians. Mm -hmm. They passed out 10,000 rifles in one city today to the, to, this, to just anyone to who would America. take one. Well, and maybe if you want military hardware, like I don't know what they're passing out. I'm joking, um, but that's a good point. No, but you make a good point. Like it's it, it would be more difficult because like, I mean, I guarantee all my neighbors have guns, even if I don't play like mm -hmm. they're guns <laughs> they give you one if you needed it. Yeah, yeah. But I think that like the main point that would make it hard for to conquer the U.S. is just like the the pride in U.S. Like the second someone landed, 
there wouldn't be cars driving. There, well, there would be cars driving away, but there'd also be an equal amount of cars driving there to help. Yeah. In the US, I think it, <laughs> like there would be it would be traffic jams in both directions. Just dude, like, that is that is such an accurate yeah. like depiction of the US. Like if if they're like Russia is going to invade fucking Tampa, like all of Georgia will be like we're tailgating <laughs> Tampa till <laughs> Russia's yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Just down there. You know, at this yeah. time, Gators fans and Bulldogs fans alike can both get drunk and miss professional Russian shooting at them. Yeah, <laughs> except for one professional Russian, you, they would be trying the to. There'd be rednecks in bass boats. That'd be a, that'd be there'd be some sort of navy formed. Yeah, some dude with there's a only one gun. man in the United States with an expertise on Russian military strategy, banned from owning a gun by his own military. In this world, they would call on Kyle Myers to take back <laughs> Tampa from the Russians. <laughs> I'm going to need six hundred watermelon <laughs> and zombie fucking the. the Target. <laughs> Kyle Myers plays Dmitry Potapov. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> what a from the old uh, that, you, you know that's what I'll cry like, when I'm done <laughs> killing. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole time he was from Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone so, yeah, from that Georgia. <laughs> so we'll see yeah, how it yeah, plays yeah, out. Um, if uh, if nothing else, it's 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 kind of morbid to say this, but. It's been fascinating to see like this thing play out um, through the internet and everything and on TV and stuff. Um, True. And it's, it's pretty awful to see all those dead bodies, though. I've been on combat footage um, looking at like, you know, the nitty gritty videos, and I've seen a lot of dead people. Yeah. I, Is that I, a Reddit? Yeah. Combat footage. Yeah. I watch a lot Very of good. It's like the media, best. and I kind of want like. A fucking apology. I want the whole like they led us to believe that Russia was gonna invade. Oh my god. What do you you guys fall for anything, huh? They they want us to think this Russia's no threat. Russia's defending themselves. Like the, all right, conservative media, apologize. Suck my dick while you're at it, by the way. Like I I'm upset that like the propaganda networks I didn't were, see any of that. I did, and I'm mad about it. And, and oh, and when Russia said they pulled back, turned out they didn't. Like, yeah. where were their, you yeah. know, I'm sorry, we believe Russia propaganda and posted it and acted like Democrats oh, were, I don't know, chicken wait. little shitheads for wait. thinking that Russia was going to go to war. They did. We, we had none of that in Australia. Like, it was, it was the, the first reports were like, Russia's, Russia's pulling back, but it's more than likely a hoax. And that was just oh. straight up the straight up how it was said. It was like, yeah, they 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 are saying they're pulling back, but they're putting like literally nothing on trucks and taking it back. It's they're actually splitting off into smaller groups to start moving. So it was Tucker pretty Carlson? much just oh. like it's happening. So Tucker Carlson is straight up siding with Russia, you know. And, and I'm not like inferring that he's like everyone wants you to believe that if you side with Russia. And I am that you're on the wrong side, and it's like fuck. Okay, yeah, it's, I, I, it was like you're not was taking him out of like, context uh, the way they do Wings of Redemption, are you? <laughs> no, <laughs> there's no other context. Like, it, you know, it was a point before they invaded, before they took the Donbass region, where I was like, okay, there's there's two sides to this, and I'm I'm watching both of the uh, the Russian media and like the other media, and I'm like, okay, this is why they want to do this. This is why they don't want to. They don't want them to do this and stuff like that. And I'm watching that, and I'm like, okay, I understand Russia's like freaking out because of NATO expansion in there, and they just don't want Ukraine to become another basically U.S. military satellite. And so, yeah, they they are understandably aggressive. But then the second they invaded, it's just like, nah, like you, you, they're just bombing civilians, and it's like, nah, fuck them. Like, you know, I did see that one clip. It's like a woman and. Forgive me for saying this, but a poorer neighborhood than I've ever been in, looking out her window. And th it's important to say that because a Russian jet flies over and shoots two missiles at it. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> there's no way there was anything of strategic value in there, right? Like, like I don't know anything about anything, but, but I've played a lot of video games. I know that if you've only got two bombs in your airplane, you don't drop them on the little town over here where the woman's hiding in the apartment. Maybe you look for an airfield or a fuel depot or a bunch of bad guys or at least a fucking yep. truck. And yeah, it's you play the like, objective. You play the objective. He's just <laughs> he's, he's test firing some weapons on, on <laughs> and it, it, 
it, like, like I'm sure anybody who's hearing this can find the footage. It, they, dude, literally fires some kind of a, I don't know weaponry, but fires some kind of a missile rocket type fucking armament out of a goddamn jet. Yeah, I think I saw that one. <laughs> And I, like I didn't. I didn't know that it was. I couldn't tell it. it was hitting. I couldn't tell it was hitting the building. I thought it was like barely going over the building. She was in. He she struck was like her neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Like, like he killed oh, one of her neighbors for I, sure. I must, have, I, I must have seen a different one. She's that's, like, that's insane. And the plane's like straight over her and like hitting the ro like rocketing like her neighborhood. And but um, I don't know. I've seen a bunch of crazy shit. And the the, the tank t convoys are. Uh, we could probably get off the Ukraine thing. It's going to be a wild week of this, and uh, I, I'm going to keep my eye on it because it's fascinating but um we, we can shift gears. i can't stop watching it uh, like all day yesterday i'm streaming and i'm just all i could do is i couldn't concentrate on the game i'm just people are just posting like endless videos in chat i'm just watching them i couldn't you, you can't not watch it's like looking yeah. at a train wreck in slow motion exactly yeah it's it's horrible but you can't look away but we should jump to something else. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's done enough. Fun. One, one thing the Ukraine thing isn't, and that's funny. Unfortunately, I don't know how to make it that one funny. It is not funny. I did my best with you defending Tampa, but yep. <laughs> that's only good thing. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, we can stop my YouTube anything... soon jokes. <laughs> yeah, just to be clear, <laughs> soon as it's like <laughs> not happening yeah. yet. Yeah. Or, Wor the worst is yet to come. Hopefully, the worst isn't yet to come, but it seems like it has to be. Definitely, is, like yeah. it, it just just fucking started. Like no matter oh, how much sure. people want it to not happen, it's gonna it's gonna happen. Mm. Is there anything fun happening in anyone's world that's not about like you know global <laughs> war and catastrophe? It's always moments. something, right? I feel like the last few yeah. years, it's been like lots of like historical moments and uh, hey. ha have happened, and it's it's like kind of done with that i'd like to like live through some more of those years that were, were like people won't be studying about what's happening to me right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we we need to get out of the important years like so we can so when we're really old we can look back and be like oh yeah i remember 20 and 22 and like all that but hopefully <laughs> yeah. it's not oh yes the easy years <laughs> like in 2020 i remember when like things were good worse. <laughs> yeah. I remember when you could go to the supermarket <laughs> to buy food. Oh god, dude! Yeah, oh, I remember when meat was available. Ah, oh, th those were the days. Yeah. I'm becoming yeah. a little anti-union. I'm anti-union. <sighs> yeah, I, I. So, so here's my my the the tr the road that I've taken over the years. When I lived in New Jersey, there was a heavy union presence, right? Lots of union people doing union shit, and I didn't like it. I feel like they were always fucking up, always defending people who were fucking up, always charging too much, always making things bad. And uh, I didn't see the good in it. Then I moved to North Carolina where union presence is really, really weak. And I see what happens when there are no unions. You know, without the collective bargaining power, nobody makes any money. Uh, work environments are less safe. Um, things suck, mm -hmm. right? So I became a little pro-union in their absence down here. Now I'm looking at COVID shortages and I'm kind of pointing my finger at the unions from time to time. A little bit of like, bro, like you are not working or they previously weren't working nights at the loading docks. Come on. We're like, they're not allowing automation at the loading docks. Come on. Like if it was a more free, like capitalistic environment, then the you you know they would just start hiring people for the night shift they would start automating some tasks to make one person as effective as two they would do that stuff all the time i'm reading that american loading docks are not as efficient as they are around the world why is that america leads in tech That's all the time but it's because our our unions are like fuck it no you can't move you have to do things this way or we all stop working we'll shut this shit down and they will and i'm like ah work with me a little bit here like, I'm trying to be pro-union for you, but if you want to, like, fuck up the entire supply chain, I, I can't get on board. You, you got to you gotta work with us and be good at your job. I get that it's, it's probably, like, I mean, I, we're, like, probably medium. way less efficient than the Chinese, but, like, the, the Chinese citizens, like, unloading shit at, like, the port of Beijing or whatever, like, they're probably effectively slaves. Like... Go the horrible other way, though. Living, like, horrible. Tell me you wouldn't have gone the other way not long ago and be like, dude, yeah, American stuff, of course, we're the most efficient. Have you seen us? Have you seen China? This is like 20 years ago. Hire 130 people with shovels while we have a caterpillar. 
do do that same job. Now these mm-hmm. things have been flipped, and you know we've got a a bunch of guys, I guess, carrying cargo containers by hand. Maybe <clears throat> made that up. We have the strongest shipping <laughs> workers on the <laughs> right. <laughs> well, meanwhile, they've like automated this stuff, and it, you know they're just machines unloading ships, and and I'm like, ah, let, let's. Let's get where they are. Why aren't, aren't Americans the most efficient shipping? It would take that you want to in though. Like, why wouldn't why wouldn't America want it? Like, you're uh, uh, the biggest Western economy. You would think that you'd want to have like machines unloading that shit and then moving towards like a more service based economy instead of just like bringing production and shit stateside. Like, it's no no country wow. does that when they become a big Western country. They just exploit. No country well, that I, wants to be able to fight wars on two fronts does. Well, we not. are a service-based economy at this point, aren't we? Yeah. Like, like a huge percentage of our of our like GDP is uh like financial trading and financial yeah. institutions and stuff. Obviously, like you need like you need nationalized like if you if you're going to fight wars, you need nationalized stuff. Otherwise, you have no production at all. But I mean, growing as an economy, like I, mean, I think you guys like took a step back when Trump got elected and started doing a, a lot more shit stateside uh is as opposed to importing a lot of stuff and the imports got a lot more expensive but maybe maybe you're right maybe that is the way you go towards a service-based economy and take out manufacturing but i kind of liked that move from trump i i, I yeah. kind of like brings well one i like what kyle said you know the reason that america single-handedly won world war ii was our manufacturing capability <laughs> single-handedly <laughs> single yeah <I> don't think... <laughs> well, anyone who wants to just you have Anyone who wants to dispute you has to be on Putin's side now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Euros <laughs> triggered in the comments. Let's if do you think, propaganda. If you think the yeah. Russians won World War II, then you're probably pro-Putin. Um, yeah, yeah. Show me, show I, me. I, said, I said a step back with Trump, like, uh, but I, I, I didn't mean it. Like, oh, no, that's backwards. Like, you're becoming Crow Magnons. Like, it's just a shift in focus, not a uh, not a bad move. Like, but I don't understand why they, why they did it. Why why they would focus on that. Was it just because they're like, we want jobs uh, in America? Or was it because they're like, we want to become more focused on one production things, here so we can defend ourselves? Like, what one was of the, the things that's really the popular, move? one of the things that's really popular, especially with the right, is um, self uh, independence. Like, like, while not everybody can wrap their heads around a global petroleum economy, like, everybody can wrap their heads around, like, we make oil here, we burn our oil. And they, they really yeah. like stuff like that. Um, everyone likes the idea of more jobs, though, because a lot of conservative voters are looking for a dock job or a mining job or maybe a, especially like a mining job that that because it's it's these areas of industry that are slowly being phased out with uh, green energy. And hmm. Trump's your guy if you're in that field. If, if you're an oil pipeline welder, you do not want to vote vote for Biden. It's not in your best interest. It literally isn't like yeah. like you're going to have more work. Well, under Trump. All, all they care about is just getting food on the table. Like, it's like yeah, you can't expect person. that guy to like, care about anything but yeah. putting food on the table. Like, don't don't ask him to like, care about the sea level in yeah. eighty years. Yeah, I mean, I can care about that kind of stuff because like I I, I have money and I barely work, so it's like yeah, well that's that's nice. fine. Like I I have the time to do that kind of stuff, but like for someone that's like working paycheck to paycheck, like their only issue is when their job is getting better and uh, how they're getting paid. I'm glad that like, you said that, Slush. But I, I was watching a TV show recently called Long Way Round, and you and McGregor and Charlie Borman <laughs> ride their motorcycles around the planet. It's pretty neat. At one point, they're with these Russians, and they see a bear just like scamping through the woods. They all jump out of the truck immediately and kill the bear. Now, I guess bears are poisonous to eat, so they skin it, take the pelt, and sell it. I'm going from what they told me on the TV show. Kyle seems to know something otherwise, but I, I don't know. I know so, people uh, who eat bear. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that came from then. But but all they did is take the. Uh, the they said it was usually poisoned. I, I I don't know what to tell you, but they they took the bear skin and uh, left the rest of the bear behind and something else. The uh, I don't know, like the gallbladder or something. They they. No, it was like it was a gallbladder. It looked like giant testicles, but it wasn't. Cool. And they said that the fluid inside that was believed to have had good properties. The people who killed the bear didn't give a fuck if it was true. They just knew they could sell it. And um, uh, but here's what I was getting to. Ewan McGregor is like, I don't like this. 
I don't like that they killed a living being. I don't think it, it is not correct for these guys to just murder bears like that. And Charlie Borman, who I lined up with, was like, they don't see it as a bear. They see it as four new tires to keep their truck rolling. They see it as $600 that feeds their family for a month. They see it as this. And it's like, yeah, Ewan, easy for you who makes, I presume, $20 million a movie to say these guys shouldn't shoot a bear for $600 when otherwise they can't get tires for their car. Like that, yeah. they saw six hundred dollars running through the woods, and they all jumped out like it was the most important thing happening right now. And I get that; that's what happens yeah. when you're a yeah. broke. I mean, well, it's like uh, uh, I, I've said, like talked to my mates about this before, and like when we had the like voting against like gay rights in Australia and stuff like that, there's a lot of people that was it was essentially the left and right voting against each other, and it was like the left is going to vote in gay rights, and they made it a political issue. And uh, I was I, I was just sitting there watching it, and I'm like, it's not going to sway the right because they don't care. They don't have the luxury of caring about other people's rights when they're just being fucked on the daily. Like all they care about is themselves because their lives are getting fucking like they don't have jobs, they don't have food, they don't have time to sit down and be like, I wonder how my gay friend feels or something like that. Because they're not like they're not like a Caring about other people's rights is a luxury of the rich. So the right in like, your country is yeah. kind of the poverty side. No, not not poverty, but they they like they will vote for the jobs that are because okay. those people will be like, yeah, we're going to get you jobs, and the other side will be like, we're more for like pro human rights and and things like that, and that's how they they focus it. But it doesn't like you're not going to sway voters over from the right to the left by doing that because that's not their voting. It's not their single issue that they vote on. They, the single issue they vote on is jobs. Are there so any Australians? Really is there any uh, Australian uh, intervention in the uh, in, in this nonsense that's going on? Oh, uh, yeah. We had our mm -hmm. prime minister stand up and go, ooh, uh, uh, yeah, we <laughs> strongly condemn uh, ah. Rush. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much just, uh, yeah, open your pocket, Biden. Can we jump in? That's pretty much it, the usual. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. You know. Nothing exciting. I mean, no one gives a fuck what we do. We're tiny and just <laughs> we gives a fuck. <laughs> Woody, you went and uh, watched Tenet, right? I have not. Taylor did. Shit. I, I watched it. Yeah. <laughs> I was not as uh, as blown away. Really? As, as you can you talk about by. it. Yeah. I, then when I watch it, okay. I'll, I'll watch it with someone else and pretend that I get it. <laughs> is this is this oh Tenet, we're not the, gonna try to movie. explain it here yeah it's a movie uh oh. with uh um there's a washington son have you seen it slush i have seen it yeah yep okay didn't what really think that much so, of it. yeah i i it kept <laughs> I my liked attention it I, I i it kept my attention i enjoyed the the like backwards action scenes were kind of neat uh the way they tried to explain the reverse entropy thing was less helpful than had they never addressed it at all. Like it just, it wasn't a good explanation at all. And yeah. I, I, I was, I was looking, I can't be the only it's, moron on the, on, yeah. there must be listeners. Well, who we watched, so we watched the movie. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> it's a, it, it basically means like, it, it's something that doesn't make any sense whatsoever that like, they're like the people in the future are reversing the, the entropy on bullets and, and trinkets and such. Look, we found one here. Hold your hand over it and imagine that you've dropped the bullet. And then, like, the bullet goes up into his hand as though he had dropped it. And it's like, well, that doesn't make sense. Is yeah. that what entropy is? Dropping uh, things? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't think that. Was. <laughs> no. Um, so I think you misunderstood that part. And also, like, they were wrong about the people in the future sending stuff back. You know, they figured that out, like, halfway through the movie. Yeah, I was just talking about the explanation. I didn't yeah. want to get too um, much away. But... I don't want to talk about it now since you didn't like it. And plus, it's way too No, no, I, I want to... Uh, no, no, I'm I didn't. Not get into I, the I, like, I liked it. I just didn't think it was amazing. Like uh, there was, there was lots of people that were like, "Oh, this is like groundbreaking and stuff." And I watched it, and I was just like, "This is." I think this is trying to be really smart, and then they're just like over-explaining this thing, or it's just like I could walk backwards through time, and that so, would have been easier. So it is really yeah. smart, first of all, but but where they fail is in some of the execution, and God damn it, he can't figure out audio mixing for some reason. And you could that tell that fucking retard <clears throat> when it comes to that shit. And you can tell, and, and it, I it, if, at times it was borderline unwatchable. Yeah. Just turn the captions on. And so that's all Chris Nolan movies, though, from Batman to yeah. Interstellar. 
<laughs> but uh, anyway, just yeah. they were noise. <laughs> like like the the plot <laughs> though, and the time tra- the plot and the time travel and how everyone fit together clearly even got more complicated than Chris Nolan wanted it to be because it's so obvious that he's trying to suggest that the little boy, that little blonde haired boy, is Robert Pattinson. Yeah, except like. I didn't even care. Like my questioning wasn't about the time travel shit. I was like, okay, anytime I watch a time travel movie and something is a bit confusing, it's like, that's part and parcel of a time travel movie. It doesn't make sense because it's not meant to make sense. Cause we live in a temporal world. Like we can't fathom it. Really? The thing that turned me off about it was like, you don't need to go into the time travel shit to find all the nonsense. Like it's just interpersonal dialogue. Like the, the MacGuffin in this movie is if the, if, the, the protagonists were honest with each other, this movie would be 45 minutes long because the whole thing is is built on the back of these individuals, Robert Pattinson and Denzel Washington's son, I forget his name, uh, not being honest with each other. And then the third lady not being 100% honest and they're not being uh, uh, transparency there. And it gets to the point way past in any other movie. Like you, you watch a war movie and it's like two guys who kind of butt heads in, in boot camp. And then, you know, they butt heads on the, you know, uh, episode three, but by episode seven, they're fast friends and they've got each other's back and they're telling secrets to each other in this. It is, I swear to God, half an hour before the end of this three hour epic. And the guy's like, can you please give me information pertinent to this mission? I know, you know, something. And Robert Patton's is coyly like, Oh, don't you wish I would tell you? Don't you? Yeah. And it's like no, <laughs> because like, he can't tell like, him. It, it, that part was fucked. But yes, that, he can. That was, yes, he that can. The no, because he's following the order. If I'm working with a past <laughs> version of myself to try and orchestrate a military organization, you know what I want is communication with myself because I know how I think. I don't want to keep myself in the dark for my future self's plans. It makes no sense. There are it doesn't make things, any sense. There are so people act like it's the can't. time travel shit that's confusing. It's the bad structure and the MacGuffin of the I got to keep secrets. So that's all that's necessary. Really and that's a core. That's a like a a tent pole of the whole movie is why you have to keep those secrets. And like, like the, one of the bigger twists is that he's been keeping secrets from himself the whole movie, right? You know, that he's on this, this time loop where he's intersecting himself and, and he's had to keep those secrets why? because he, oh, I'm which sorry. part, why he, why did he have to keep secrets? <clears throat> you just entered into the because, and I should have done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, <clears throat> if he, uh, so, so the deal is you begin at the end of the movie and you end at the beginning of the movie um, for one character. So these two characters who were friends, Robert Pattinson and um, the Washington, the black guy, the Washington character, mm-hmm. when, when they meet each other for the, the first time is different for each of them because one of them is moving backwards through time and one of them is moving forwards through time. So Robert Pattinson dies at the end of this movie and it's the end of their relationship together, but it's really just the beginning of the relationship from the black guy's point of view. They've really just met this yeah. week. But for Robert Pattinson... Oh, we grew up together. He's, like, like yeah. Yeah, we get up, we got some crazy stuff, and uh, um, but, that, he, but if, I, but if he informs like himself that, about the way things are going to happen, they might not happen that way exactly, or he may do something that gets himself killed. Like, like if he was already going to walk through an airport and not get shot, telling him that he's going to walk through an airport and not get shot might make him careless now, and he'll actually get shot because he's like, yeah, I don't get shot here. The reason he didn't get yeah, shot before is because he was wary, maybe you know. Mm, okay. I don't think I don't think that point. that cuts it. It doesn't really. The fact that he's there to give the instructions means that any way he would give them would result in the same thing, right? Because he's there giving the instruction. In and the I would need a diagram to know about which specific things you're talking about. The movie's two and a half. I'm hours talking long. about wa- about Washington. It just it it. it it doesn't make sense to me that their military time travel organ or operation is more successful with people not sharing information between each other, not being honest and like having to uh, decipher a mystery the this whole time. This is the beginning but in of reality, the organization. It, from his point of view, it just started. From yeah. his point of view, but yeah, there's still a future like in which it has been laid out and the version of... It's too convoluted, it, it, convoluted to argue, yeah. my friend. There's a there, okay. every step of it has a grandfather paradox. See, that's what uh, that's why I thought like I, I <laughs> every didn't... step of it is a grandfather <laughs> paradox where it's like you know if you go back and kill your grandfather do you even exist that yeah. no well then now you can't go back and kill him well what happens now every inch of this is smothered with yeah. those like onions so it's you know, I thought it was that's worse why was, uh, that's why I thought it than Inception me because it was like it oh was, I thought it was like worse than necessarily complicated implies yeah that, I think Inception, Inception was better sorry Slush Puppy said. 
unnecessarily complicated. Maybe you guys want to expand on that. I got yeah, it. I got it. Definitely. Like it's they were, it felt like they were just trying to make the time travel the most confusing fucking shit in the world, which it is. Like, yeah. uh, time travel paradoxes and shit like that is confusing. But it got to the point where it was just like, how many fucking layers deep are we now? Like, what the fuck you know is what the happening? Worst part is? <laughs> All right, so, so here's my biggest complaint. And, and if you think about this, if you remember back, you're going to be like, yeah. All right. Remember the big assault at the end where you got red team and blue team? Mm -hmm. Who the fuck were they fighting? Can you even remember an instance no where you saw an enemy in that? Woody, there is a battle scene with two groups of of like badass motherfuckers landing via helicopter, where, moving in different speed, um, moving through time at different um, uh, directions. It's incredibly ridiculous with explosions, buildings blowing up, machine gun fire, bombings, aircraft, the, uh, everything. And our main characters are right in the thick of it, doing shit. It was a cool scene. You never see the enemy. Yeah, there's no bad guys. You see the enemy in one shot. There is like an, an, an emplacement, like sandbags with like an anti-aircraft gun, one of these in it. And you see some like white-ish helmets, like maybe three guys in there. And then the whole thing yeah, explodes into people. a cloud. <laughs> it goes, boom. Those guys are definitely dead because our, our heroes run like over them and can keep going. You never see any more bad guys. Like maybe a glimpse. I don't know. If, I don't know if they're white. I don't know if they're black. I don't know if they're Middle Eastern. I'm I don't know. If they, confused. Ninja Kyle mask. I don't know. Well, yeah. it, it, you was have it, my attention. I'm curious. I, I look. So it's fun to watch. Confused. And 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 the 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 part that I enjoyed the most. This may sense, look. I enjoyed the movie. It's it's fantastic to like just mm -hmm. look at. It's one of those. But afterwards, I really did enjoy watching like YouTubers explain every inch of it to me. And it's one of those things where like now I know it exactly for twin for ten minutes. Anybody want to know how this works? I'm losing it. I'm lo oh, it was five minutes, wasn't it? It was five. <laughs> See, that, that's what confused me just the most. I just didn't understand who they were fighting. It was just like, the fuck are they fighting for and against? Like, I don't know who they were fight. fighting. I don't know who the enemy oh, yeah. was there. Who fucking could in, the, in the future... <laughs> Uh, the future bad guys putting all of their eggs in the one basket of an insane megalomaniacal Russian guy with pancreatic cancer. That doesn't make any sense. Like, they um, would have clearly diversified to ensure that they would get their desired result. And there wasn't just some madman who was going to blow up the world and take everyone with it on his whim, you know, instead of by the plan of but they're from the, the, the future wanted. But 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 don't they know that it will work if they do that? Like, like, like once that's they what I thought. Like, 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 I, I but, think it, they, but then I thought the same thing for Washington to his prior self. You know, the I mean, the only reason everything failed is because uh, at the end, our the the bad guy is like, you know what? Shoot him before you fix the whole plan. And and Igor is over there, like, are you sure? Because I just got to push this in. Shoot him in the head, damn it, Igor! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the way, talking to Igor over radio. He's in the ocean somewhere at Vietnam. Igor is in Ukraine under the ground. <laughs> and they're it's on a radio. tremendous radio. It's, He's on a CB. And there's also <laughs> there, there's also like this understanding, like, and then I had trouble believing. Another thing is like, I thought up until the end that like the the megalomaniacal Russian guy was keeping it a secret from his team about his goals of I'm going to gather these nine implements and I will destroy the entire planet and everyone on it by engaging in reverse entropy. And I thought like, man, all his henchmen have no idea. And then in one scene, like all his henchmen around, he's like, I cannot wait to kill world and everyone in. <laughs> and like his henchmen are standing behind him like his henchmen standing behind him like, yup, yeah, yep. that's wait, what we're up. on. We're on team. <laughs> we're on team. I never want to get laid ever again. I don't want to ever have a nice steak dinner. Because like they were on board with apparently being vaporized with the rest of humanity. And it's a bunch of like young Russian soldiers. No one, no so, one is going to be on I'm the a team of you if associate you succeed, you everybody. Die. You're, it's like Taylor, you're about to die, and Taylor's like, "So wait, I don't get laid anymore." <laughs> Yo, wait, <laughs> I've already, I've eaten, I've eaten my last snack. Like, <laughs> Jesus, no. I didn't even realize what I was enjoying it that it was my last snack. <laughs> but yeah, basically, like, that's, Woody, that's the world. <laughs> just, yeah, the the guy with like the 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 luger about to execute me walks over and like. Gives, puts a slim jim in my mouth <laughs> <That's what laughs> yeah. I'm eating before, before it kills me like nah, a cigarette. Nah. What's yeah, really that that part of the movie was really got, fucking stupid. not even spicy. You just, you just be, hold on a second, just let me hit this crack pot. <laughs> this, yeah. oh, and now I'm ready. I, I, wanted to try I feel really good now. <laughs> I wonder if crack is that good. How good does crack make It's gotta be. Good? People ruin their lives. Can we get a crackhead as a guest? I would like that. That would be amazing. I did get, don't I bet we could slush tell us. <laughs> what? 
I was teasing. I was like, slash tell us what you I, 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 I have taken a lot of drugs. Uh, but like, oh. I'm not, uh, short of like intravenous drugs. I haven't, I've never taken intravenous drugs, but I have taken it. This is in a legal environment, obviously, in international waters, mm-hmm. but I have taken, uh, <laughs> Uh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, DMT, acid, uh, ecstasy, fucking mushrooms, smoked weed, done speed, cocaine, and uh, a variety of other different types of ecstasy. Uh, like those designer drugs, because we've, we've, we've had, uh, we've had and stuff um, like that. So, uh, I mean, speed, speed is similar, speed, speed is similar to you know, crack cocaine, but apparently it's not. Like, it's addictive. Which one is the know? best time? Um, probably acid. Acid depends really what you're fun. doing. And yeah, it depends what you're doing. Weed, weed gets boring after a little while, and then it's just sort of humdrum and I, okay. Can I jump in on weed? I, I I have nearly finished a vape pen, and I've had some Delta Eight gummies. That's like my experience. Mm. I find weed is a little overblown. Like there are people who just maybe it's not as good for me as other people. But it's subtle to even being high is like, all right, I, all right mm. I'm definitely high. I feel like yeah. I have to hold the handrail more carefully going down the stairs. Like I'm, I'm high, I'm high. But I don't get why people want to be high all the time. It's almost just a sleep aid to me. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not getting the fun about mm. it. I don't, yeah, everyone, I mean, it does make everyone, movies but, more interesting. You know. I, I like getting high to watch a movie. That's that's good. And it depends that's, how uh, how how high you're getting. Like like uh, yeah. someone like Kyle, like he enjoys getting so blitzed he can hardly remember his name. I I hate that. I that's yeah. unpleasant. I don't want that. I want like more than I'm just tired. Like I got a nice buzz from it, but that's about where I want to be with weed. Like I don't want to get that like motor delay feeling that's very uncomfortable. I don't like that. But yeah, I know. I know. I have so many friends in college because like everybody was smoking a shit ton of weed in college, as people tend to do. And they would like every single time, like, be like, "Hey, Josh, you want to smoke?" He's like, "No, dude, hell no. That shit is evil for me. Like, it gives me like he would smoke sometimes and just get full on panic attacks, like feeling like like the sky was yeah. falling. Like that's not happening like, to me. Like, I, like, I, his, I like his like his like his like his parents were gonna die while he was high, or oh, I can't even. I, I'm too high to even drive if my brother in indiana needed help and it's like what the fuck are you talking about like see i'd always smoke so much that i'd be like so high that i couldn't understand what was going on and then i'd be freaking out thinking that i was having a fucking aneurysm because i'm like oh i'm so high that i can't understand what's happening which means my brain is shutting down and then i'd have a panic attack but that only happened after like smoking for years and years and smoking way Mm -hmm. way so much but it was probably to do with other drug use lowering my serotonin like taking a lot of uh taking a lot of speed and uh ecstasy at the time when i was in my early 20s is there a word for that like a term for it when you mix speed and ecstasy uh no uh well it was usually just whatever we could get I don't no, know. No, no, because like I asked because like, oh, you guys get like that. You know the term. Is that, like is that, that what candy flipping is? No, no, no. Uh, no, nah, candy uh, flipping is uh, acid into ecstasy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was hoping or, there was or, some, yeah. some some phrase for it like that, some term for it like yeah. that. <laughs> it's always entertaining. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Like like we've got a lot of DJs in the uh, in the in the fifty dollar hangouts, and then they'll be in there. <laughs> yeah, he was candy flipping. Went crazy, never came back. And I'm like, what the yeah. fuck are y'all even talking about? <laughs> I, I, I see some, I've seen some pretty good ones on acid, though. Like, uh, we we took a whole bunch with uh, a few of our mates once, and one of my one of my friends was having a freak out, and he was up, he's like up on the kitchen table, just buck ass naked with a, this this like turgid erection, and he was freaking out because he's like, <laughs> my my cock won't go not hard, and he was freaking out that he's like. <laughs> His cock was like gonna kill him because it had been hard for so long, and he's hmm. like wielding a kitchen knife, like threatening to cut his own cock off. What? And right, wait, just, wait, from and acid? All, this is this yeah, sounds we, horrible. We, we we took a lot, but like we're all like how much? We're all, uh, like fucking four tabs each. Yeah, I took <laughs> like, that. Much, I took that much, and I yeah. sat in a chair and watched Fantasia yeah. and giggled. Oh, he he just freaked out. <laughs> it was it, it was fucked. <laughs> yeah, he was just up there wielding a knife, threatening to cut his own cock off. Like it was, he wow. just he just had a really bad trip. But see, that's, that's every gotta be every a trip terrible I was presence. Yeah. 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 Oh, ruined my I don't trip, want a crazy person sure. with a knife. <laughs> yeah, Ugh. he no, calmed down he, eventually. That's, that's awful. I had a roommate. One I would time never do that. drugs with that guy ever again. I had a roommate that went crazy one night with a knife, but he was just like, I think he was just trying to scare me. 
because he had like the crazy eyes, but he chased me around the parking lot with a butcher knife. Jesus. Yeah. What? Yeah. Was he quick or I guess not? See, the thing was he wasn't trying to catch. That's why I think he was just trying to scare me because he never caught. He could have stabbed me to death if he ever wanted to, but he was just trying to mm-hmm. fuck with me. I never could figure out why he was. He never did that again. Like he just got really drunk and like I couldn't tell if he was just messing with me or if he had actually like gotten a little weird that night because he just like got out a knife and like kept like chasing me around with it until I was outside running around a car. Jesus, that's scary. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just remembered that. How did how did it end? Did did he just like lose interest drunkenly and like I'm going finally the other roommate got home, and I convinced him to get up some other hijinks. And I think there was like a, a we went and like did some petty vandalism or something. But keep in mind, I'm 19 and they're like 25. <laughs> like 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 I it's okay for me to be there like stealing a fire extinguisher and spraying it in a parking lot. They they had no excuse. They we all had jobs in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was that's what I was like when I was 25. <laughs> Do shit like that a little time. <laughs> no, but I, I, you, you'd get you'd get high on your candy flipping and then go fuck with uh, the, the I, public I, park. Yeah, I was I was terrible up up until I was uh, I sort of moved in with my wife, what, what <laughs> with my girlfriend at the time, but became, became my wife. I was I was terrible. I just get high every night and just fuck around and do dumb shit like that. He so spent was, a lot of time in international yeah. waters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah out of my, out of my bike. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's. Say, I'm say, stealing that. Say, that is the best way to tell drug stories. So one time I was yeah. on in international waters. Yeah. <laughs> DMT is definitely the the most intense experience, but it's it's very short. It's like you smoke as much as you can, and then you just go to space, and then you come back like 15 minutes later. That's the if you if it's visuals you're after, that shit is just. Fucking That's what everyone says. Did you use a vape, or did you like smoke it out of uh, an oil? Uh... Yeah, smoked it out of a, like an oil bong thing that my mate had. I he he was like, "Yeah, you do this. This is insane." And I'm like, "How do I do it?" And he's like, "Just smoke three as quickly as you can." And I'm like, "All right, let's let's <laughs> let's go to hell." Apparently, <laughs> but it was like it was intense. Like fucking seeing aliens and like fucking you saw you saw them. Gone. Did you see them? Well, it was is because the guys like yeah, apparently people see like aliens and uh, like these like fucking overlord things and like Joe Rogan talks about this shit where he's like, oh, I see, I saw God and I talked to God and stuff like that. But I think if you're going into it and then you're like, this shit makes you see God, then that's in the back of your mind. And then when you're in there, it's like you're gonna see it because you were just talking about it. So it's like yeah, mm-hmm. it's it, but it's more like just hands coming at you and fucking just crazy shit i like wouldn't you, like you hands coming shit. at me i want to yeah, yeah, see, see what i, I want to see you remember um like in like the, the late 90s what screensavers used to be on yeah like, um, yeah i want that okay for you kids up that's, which yeah. one that's more mushroom that's more the, like the, the, the tubes right the tubes the tubes or the fish or the <laughs> i want i want the tubes and the fireworks i want both yeah. at the same time Ooh. those were my two favorites oh, i just remember i'd go in the yeah. library and this is literally like 1994 1993 somewhere in there and you know they had the computers to check out books and shit already we were ahead of ourselves and i just remember like staring at those you know like to a seven-year-old that was the coolest thing ever because i don't think we got a computer <laughs> thank you zach <laughs> oh! Yeah. Oh, Zach came up big. all right well done hot Man, load i like I, that i love the dubs yeah. <laughs> wait, they, you, there are times when we you can't we imagine like... how that feels the first time you see that when you've never seen technology <laughs> like that before okay yeah. it comes at you <laughs> it was coming at you it was as 3d as you could imagine and it was on those old like you know crtv things that it was the yeah. thing had less power than my phone, I guarantee. Like maybe a hundredth of my what my phone has now. It's crazy to think it, about. It was now. the times that we would we we'd take mushrooms, like our friends would pick mushrooms, mm. we'd dry them out and then grind them up and put them into little capsules. And we'd go out to the bar and we'd just like eat a shitload of these and then come back and then just sit there and watch visual shit like that on YouTube. Like we'd just have the TV in the lounge room. All of us would just be high off our ass on mushrooms, just watching what essentially was a fucking screenshot saver. If you just if you, the best fucking time ever. If you search um, if you search like psychedelic video stuff yeah. on like YouTube, you get some great stuff. We watch this. Uh, if they have like music accompaniment, uh, like like Dirty and I were like staring at this thing where it's like the visual is very similar to a very fast boat making that the ripples it makes across a lake. You know how, and, and it's just this, 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 the, the front point of that boat is just never ending, splitting the water around it and making that ripple behind. 
and it's like zooming into that infinitely, like getting closer and closer to yeah, the like, point of that bow. Yeah. But it doesn't matter how much you zoom, it's all you're yeah. always looking at the same thing. Yeah, fra it, it's like, fractal it's like a fractal. animations. Yeah. It's a fractal yeah, yeah. animation. So no matter how much you zoom, spin, or do whatever, there's more of it. And the music is going da na 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 and it was almost like a like a bass drop like like when you really like escalate the visuals and i just remember dirty being like yeah when like the bass <laughs> drop like he's like yeah yeah that's it that's yeah. it right there <laughs> like, 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 like i don't know what he was seeing but yeah. it, it the visuals and stuff like that are just crazy when yeah. you're on if you take enough though you can just stare at the wall and that happens like you, oh yeah you could or the go. clouds yeah. I do, I do remember once we uh, we uh, took a, a heap of mushrooms and being in this uh, this nightclub thing and pissing into the toilet and I was I was watching my piss going into the toilet but the toilet bowl was like going like like making oh, a, a motion like that and I was just like that toilet is like sentient and drinking the piss out of my cock it is like oh, no. chugging it <laughs> and I'm just standing there just going. What? Drink it up, big boy. <laughs> yeah, so I can chug it, motherfucker. <laughs> it was, Your friends are outside sweet. the bathroom. Like, did he just say drink it up, big boy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he talked. Yeah, that one was fucking <laughs> weird. Yeah. No, did you have any really fun, just uh horrible experiences with psychedelics? All the ones you've said so far nah. seem like they're a lot of fun. No, nah, I've never I've never had a bad one. No. Nah. Except for my yeah, friend That's sort good. of losing his shit, but that was like he calmed down eventually. It didn't go on for that long. Of course, when you're an acid, it feels like it goes on for 10 years. I, but I think, if, I think if you're mentally weak, you have bad experiences. And maybe that's a stupid, maybe that's an ignorant thing for me to say. But like, I think like I underlying, thought it was like uh, if you were, uh, if you were shit. stressed out. How does mental yeah. strength help your acid experience? You feel like I, you're in I think you can guide yourself away from and anytime something starts seeming a little odd. You can, you can still get a hold of yourself and being, and be like, hey, I'm here taking this silly stuff that's making me see silly things. I need to get into a better mood and think happier yeah. thoughts, or I'm going to see nasty stuff or think about. I think nasty if you're like things. logical about it, like if you if you're in there yeah. and you're like, it's just chemicals in my brain, nothing's happening, like I'm just chilling. And I'm always but able to do that on anything, yeah. like like especially like alcohol. Yeah. Like I, I I've been in the bathroom of a <laughs> restaurant vomiting and and been and I'm and just wasted, barely coherent, and I'm thinking to myself, or even saying to myself out loud, well. You did it again. <laughs> Everybody's here for you. You're throwing up the chilies. You're not going to get laid. <laughs> You're not even going to be able to jerk off tonight. You're so fucked. <laughs> Are you happy? Because <laughs> like so many I, times, like people would just buy me too many drinks and then I get, I, I wouldn't be able to say no because it's, it's free. And on the I mental drink and I, part it's where we started from like i feel the same way like i often i feel like i do that better than the other people in my life you know who just get overwhelmed and pressured and whatever and i'm like all right let's compartmentalize this into the things i can control and the things i can't the things i can't mm -hmm. let's put those aside and stop worrying the things i can control what actions am i taking whether it works or not if i'm doing the right shit stop sweating it what else are you gonna do yeah and that's, 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 that's 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 that well. I, i've some of my friends, I have very little experience with the psychedelic side of things, but like the way my friends who are more into it have explained it is they say it's more about mindset going in. Like if you yeah. just lost your job or if your dog died the day before, they would be like, no, don't don't go in. If you have like stressors and fears and stuff that are kind of forefront that you're that you're thinking about, go into it when you are in a good mood and like it's going to augment whatever you're feeling when you do it. And so if yeah. you're in a horrible, depressed place and you do it, it's going to it's going to turn out badly for you. Man, Maybe I that's you know, I'm sure that's not a hard and fast rule, but that's what they said to me. I, They've done enough that I, like, I, I don't feel any of that. I, I'm st I'm 100 percent like still me like I, I, I'm i this me. I'm just mm. more easily entertained and I'm seeing some wacky stuff like like that's the extent of it. So when I would see yeah. like other people being like, ooh, and like, I'm like. Sit up fucking straight. What's your problem? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, are you, what are you doing? Get up up. Why stuff are you swimming in the carpet? The only stuff that ever did that to me was DMT. But the, the rest of the shit, it's like like any of the like ecstasy and uh like speed, it's just like it just makes you more talkative and more sort of energetic. Like LSD, like you, colors are a little bit brighter and stuff. Like it, unless you take fucking heaps of it. But it's then even then it's just sort of visuals, but they're not like it's not like the mushroom men are coming. It's like 
It's more like you look at the wall and the wall's moving and it's bright colors. So like it's not, yeah, yeah. What you what, they, what's what's already mm -hmm. there for you is being altered. There, nothing yeah. new is being created though. Yeah, but if you um, I did notice, like, I had a hard time walking. Free. I had a hard yeah. time walking downstairs. Uh, my knee. I was like, we were all like weak at the knees for some reason going downstairs. Um, I inexplicably, I don't know. Why. Was it a perception thing? Like you? Would no, like there. our knees were knocking. Like 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 at the knee. It was it was like fluttering like like going downstairs every time yeah. we would put i would put weight on it yeah it was weird i can't explain that yeah i don't know yeah that is bizarre i had when been you're sitting saying there speed for... slush yeah you mean uh cocaine right no i no more like uh it, it depends like different kinds of speed like speed sulfate oh, like and, an amphetamine uh, like, like, meth. like and, and amphetamines like like uh fucking crystal meth and shit like that they just it, it all gets called speed it's all the same shit it's just an amphetamine essentially that's so and you really enjoyed those back in the day. That was your go-to. Do that. I used then, to, but it was like, uh, oh, it, speed was probably the one that I took the most. But it sort of just got old after a while. It was like, yeah, you know, I'm sitting around just taking speed with my mates, having the same conversations. This is getting kind of boring. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's enough for me. Did you guys then, come up yeah. with? Because uh, I, I know from being around people doing lots of cocaine that like they always like come up with business ideas that don't make a lot of sense and they like want to get you in on the ground floor with some fucking retardation yeah. nonsense like did, oh, yeah. would they do that on speed too because like oh, yeah, I, I can yeah, like explicitly <laughs> picture it at this halloween party from like 5 years ago seeing two of my close friends just gacked out of their mind like talking like over the appetizers being like this isn't a bluff bro we're doing this we're doing yeah. it. i don't know what they were talking about <laughs> but, but I know, we're doing this Dude, yeah. dude, I'm Let's, gonna text yeah. you in the fucking. I'm gonna fucking text you in the morning, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna set it up. I got a guy. I got a guy at retail. He can set up for. And that was like, there's no way. That, I know both of Let, them. That didn't get like, going. Speed but. is like speed's like that. Speed's is like pretty much like cocaine, except uh, it lasts for way longer and it's not as strong. So like, if you if you do like one line in the last like a few hours, like yeah, it's like uh, cocaine is just like bang and then 40 minutes later you're like fuck that was moorish time for more it's like that's yeah. a, it's a yeah, yeah I, I, that's what they when, that's what they call the rich uh, the rich man's drug because you just end up taking so when, fucking much when i've uh when i've tried cocaine in international waters i disliked <laughs> it it just well, it yeah, just stressed me out i was could it, it have it been could it have been because it was like a bumpy the, boat just, <laughs> <laughs> it could have been that it was it was a bumpy boat hard to do a line because the tables yeah yeah, yeah, but no, I just remember windy. like uh, like sitting up afterward. Like I remember like just being like, "Huh, well that tastes terrible." My the nasal drip oh, yeah. tastes awful. That could be because I've had like a lot of sinus surgeries. Maybe no. it was more present for me. No, I, but I don't know. But it, it, it was it was chemically terrible. and it was and it was gross and it lasts for a long time. And so you're like, I can't even have a drink of soda Can to I get rid of you? this. I just feel like jittery and antsy. Did the yeah. nasal drip last a long time, or the effect of cocaine lasted a long time? The effect did not last that long, but the yeah. And when I say a long time, like uh, the nasal drip, like in the back of my throat, it was probably like 15 minutes, like since I did it, that like I could tell it was there. And I'm yeah. sure that was also because I was like you know, on like, coke. And so I was like, I was yeah. also like obsessing about it. Like, can I feel it? I bet I can't feel it. Oh, if, I, if I'm even thinking about it, it's probably there. Like, I, I fucking really dislike that. I, I, I like downers. I don't want to be amped up yeah. like that. Well, I, I would always wake up with like the like really dry in the back of like the top of like your mouth where it's like nasally and stuff like that but it's it depends how much you do and you what just are, like feel like mm -hmm. shit your nose is eventually essentially just feels like you've been picking your nose all night like it's a bit raw if you do like fucking heaps of it but it's yeah yeah i've are never done heaps uppers or downers? <laughs> are uh, mushrooms what, so, uppers or downers am i too psychedelic? quiet well they're, they're hallucinogenic so like uh mm -hmm. acid mushrooms and like yeah, you got a whole other category and, like, there yeah, could, hallucinogenics. Yeah, that's okay. why you could you can mix an upper or downer with one of your hallucinogens, and then you can yeah. that, that that's that that's when things can get a little scary, right? So if you add if you were to take Adderall and LSD, you might go on some frantic, scary journey where you're seeing like lightning bolts, and you don't like that yeah. at all. But uh, but you know, if you just smoked a lot of weed, you might just really enjoy Fantasia. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would fall asleep. Yeah. That's what would ha I would. Weed is a waste of money for me. Because it just is a sleeping. Well, unless you need a sleeping drug, 
but I yeah. barely experienced being high because I don't understand I mean, that. Like, like I'm so stoned right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I can do a pop one and show you. <laughs> like, like, well, I am. <laughs> what you want to do? You, see. Would you like to see me asleep for the last two hours of the show? <laughs> what, what, what do you call this when you add when you mix Bang Energy Drink with with gas station THCO? Like, like if this is like. <laughs> This is like white trash flipping or something like that. I don't. I don't know what. This Dude, is. the bang is the more dangerous thing you're holding. Those things yeah. are panic attacks. I'm sipping in a can. I'm sipping. It's so fucking yeah. awful. It's got something called super creatine in it and EAA aminos. Super and, and you creatine. Know who would, you, you know who would come super down hard creatine. on that super creatine claim? Derek, because there was not an efficacious that. dose, and apparently super creatine is a proprietary name that they have. Uh, you know, obviously trademarked, and it's not even a bioavailable form of creatine. Apparently, it's literally called "quote unquote" super creatine. They don't even tell you how much there is. Yeah, it's because it's not bio. It's just like a, it's a marketing thing. Super creatine. Bang. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there no efficacious <laughs> dose of super creatine? Because it's not bioavailable. They, they don't I put guess? a lot of. Yeah, I, oh. I was reading an article about it because I, I bought some bangs offline like a year and a half ago. Because I was like, oh, this will be good. I should have checked how much caffeine was in them. It's like a pre workout because I thought it had like a five gram amount of of uh, of creatine. creatine. And then I looked into it on YouTube, and it was one of like the reputable fitness guys, I believe, like the ones I trust. That and they were like, yeah, this is don't be don't be bamboozled. This is not creatine monohydrate that you're looking for. It's something yeah. totally different. You're if you if yeah. you use bang, that's great for the caffeine, but don't think you're getting your creatine. Scoop your creatine also. In all seriousness, if anybody's out there like into fitness and stuff, creatine's like the most researched and proven like thing out there that actually works. It's like one of three mm -hmm. things. What, what that does you get creatine over actually do? It's something about making the muscle fibers more effective at like grabbing onto each other. It's making the Velcro more sticky or something is how it was explained to me okay. once, but irrelevant. It makes you lift a little bit more in the end. And uh, yeah. so like, it that's helps with muscle nice. recovery. It helps with muscle hydration and it's, too. It's, it's the cheapest thing you can imagine. It, when you buy it, buy it off of Amazon, get a tub that's nothing but creatine. It should be nothing but creatine. That's the only yeah. ingredient. And mm. five grams is like the size of, it's about a bottle cap full. Like it's, it's like a bottle cap mm -hmm. full. That's what the scoop looks like. Um, and you mix that with water and you drink it. You don't need like, I'm not drinking this to get creatine. I just wanted some caffeine and I got this awful. And it's cheap thing. as shit. Yeah. It's so so cheap. like, don't, don't get fooled by like micronized ultra creatine, just creatine monohydrate. monohydrate. Like, that, that guy, um, who, who you don't need to load it either. Jeff, is it Jeff, Jeff Nippard, 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 whatever his name is. Nipple. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he was doing really good talking about creatine and like that, that was, that was the advice he gave. And based on his physique, I trust his resume. Yeah, right. Isn't that interesting? How, <laughs> how like once somebody once somebody's in just a little bit of shape, you'll believe anything they have to say about. I, say, that, I only trust old yeah. people that are in shape because like but, when I was eighteen, all, all I ate was just like gas station fried food and like Red Bulls and smoked cigarettes, and I was like in shape. Like no one, no one trusts a nineteen year old in shape because that's like it, fucking <laughs> easy. But if there's, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, you know what my favorite example of that is? Princess Leia. Leia, 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 right? Yeah. Princess Leia was super hot. And this is her quote at a time when a lot of people are super hot in their lives. Then she got older when she was like, I think she said this after menopause. And she's like, yeah, it was nice. I liked it, but it comes and goes. And mm -hmm. I saw that and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Princess Leia was super hot. At, I don't know how she was 23 or something. Cool. I'm not impressed until you're super hot over 30. Yeah. Princess Leia gave up though. Like everybody can be super hot. It's giving up. It's giving up. It, it, I'm it, giving up. Great. Say slush. <laughs> it's like you're wrong with it. Look, look at slush. Slush gave up a long yeah. time. Ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually I'm going to the gym. I'm going to the gym today. i bet my wife has she's signed me up to the gym and we're going to the gym together. And uh so apparently I'm getting fit. I don't oh, know do you have a plan? Do you have a workout plan and everything in oh, place? Oh, fuck no. I'm just going to go there and lift shit. I'll That's what you want to do. Back. You want to go in blind, <laughs> no idea about form. And what you yep. want to do is you want to bounce around, a little bit of pull, a little Jerking, bit of push, a little motion. bit of legs. One, one set of everything. One Here's word. Torque. Yeah. <laughs> <Whole Yeah. time. laughs> yeah. You should be but, twisted in two different directions at all times. Here's how <laughs> yeah. I identify. If your lower back expert. isn't burning, you're not working. <laughs> if yeah. the... I can tell a guy's an expert if he's using the gym machines in a way that nobody else is, right? If that guy has made up his own gym machine movements, right? he's, got, Hang up. he's got the barbell and he's like Darth Maul. He's just spinning the whole barbell <laughs> in the air.
Go to that yeah. lat machine, hang by your knees, and and do something cool. <laughs> you know? I, I like to see the guys that are like lifting a uh, like a car axle with set concrete on it. Like that's that's a that's the real professional. Like some fucking uh, some hillbilly that's got like a wooden fucking bench press, and he's just got like big concrete weights on it. That's that's what I want to see. Oh, and as oh, far as if you want to if you want to see a guy, oh, go ahead. Oh, Princess Leia was Go ahead, a ton of cocaine back then. So, like, like she's got yeah. that. That was her main thing. Well, see that, her slender. That's what I used to call my diet back then. I used to call it the bong slim diet because it was like, what do you eat? It's like I can't afford to eat. I buy too much weed. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't afford to eat. You just get yeah. high and sit there hungry. That sounds horrible. Hey, eventually you fall asleep. I, I, yeah, but then you get higher the because you're on an empty stomach. Yeah, that's when you get hung, when you get the munchies. Yeah. Just smoke more. If you if if you get the munchies and there's food in the fridge, just smoke until you can't stand up. Oh God, and you good? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I keep like <laughs> it's weight loss. Do you remember like uh, <laughs> exactly bongs bongs oh, 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 although <laughs> you were talking about uh wanting to find someone like using the equipment all weird and everything. There's a guy on YouTube named Eric Bugenhagen who has a, a fitness channel. Very funny guy. Very jacked huge guy he like his videos are like 40 seconds long and it's the title will be like absolute monster of a beast benches 550 decline or it'll be like a ultra god dominates wife in race and it's like him pushing his wife down and running ahead and like he'll like he he has the worst like imagine the opposite of juji's gym yeah, like <laughs> it is. It's it's dirty. It's dingy. It's in, in a first, two car yeah. garage in Florida. It's the cheapest power rack. He's using plates from a hundred years ago, and like so much of his equipment, he's like, you know, like training today. Some people do benches. Some people do squats. Some people do deadlifts. Today, I'm filling a dummy with concrete powder. It weighs ninety six pounds. <laughs> I'm running it out in the rain. Hundred laps around the cul de sac. Go! And he's just running around his cul de sac like there's neighbors walking their dog. And he's like, and he's like a six foot five like WWE looking guy. So he's like, ah, like lunging with like a hundred pounds on his back around his cul de sac as his wife <laughs> is filming. And he and he's yelling like, "Are you getting this? Are you getting this?" <laughs> like as he's in, and she's like, she's like, "Yes, honey." I'm getting it. He's like, "I don't think you're getting it." I don't think you get it. Come around to the front. Come around to the fucking front and get my packs. Get my packs. <laughs> I love this guy. What's his Eric, name? Eric, Eric. His name's Eric Bugenhagen. He's he the guy who has that montage channel. to "I Need a Hero." Yeah, I need a hero. The, the, the music's like "I Need a Hero," and he's just, it's just him cranking out multiple insane <laughs> lifts, one after another, set to that, like a montage of them. And there, he's doing lifts you've never even. He's he's like Bulgarian split squat squats with. 575 pounds and it's just like wait what <laughs> it's like it's like behind the back deadlifting squat plate rack two million pa- everything is like oh yeah he, hundreds he does stuff hundreds like of a, pounds like verging on a thousand and then it's always behind the back or over the head or one-handed or like in the between sand. the legs yeah. like if there's a in way to make things hard and dangerous he just does it that way and then he cranks out 600 pounds that's fucked I, I used funny. to work yeah, with that guy who did. Uh, he had the weirdest. He had the weirdest workout. He was. He was pretty jacked. Like he wasn't. He. He wasn't the fittest guy in the universe. But he was. He was like forty five, and he was. He was probably just as as fit as Woody. And I. I, used, I asked him one day. I was like, "What do you do for fitness?" And he's like, "I go out in the backyard, and he has a tractor tire, and he just hits it with a sledgehammer for like an hour." That just, would injure me. I, I, dude, that's all he does. That's <laughs> making about me. Like, like, when I work shoulders. out, I have this imaginary sniper in the corner, just looking for me to make a bad decision. Right? He just—he's the injury sniper <laughs> who just—it's this conceptual idea that he's always waiting for. Like, dude, you want to max out? I'm here. Let's see. I'm about to fucking fire something at your chest. I will cripple you, old man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The injury sniper. Like, ah, oh, I bet you would like to have four plates on that bench. Yeah. It's always <laughs> just like it. you just you just going for it. You're like, oh, here comes the record. And then and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, by four plates, I mean two on each side, to be clear. I'm not benching no four plates on each side. But, no, don't uh, specify. Let people believe. Ah, dude, that Woody's throwing up 405. It should be called four. It should. It should. Why do they call it two plates? It's it's not right. It's because they're it's it's gatekeeping from the super jacked guys to try and make the rest of us feel bad. Because like when when Bugenhagen is doing a a deadlift, he does a Jefferson deadlift in one of those where like you put it between your legs, like one leg forward, one leg back, bar in between them. And he did he did 970 pounds on that. 
Do people and it do was more like that way. I I don't I it mu- okay. he must unless he's unless he's Jesus. Like the amount of, of weight that is is insane. I would be terrified for my knees, my back. Yeah. But he's clearly in but way better shape. Nine hundred and sixty pounds. Yeah. So he can lift yeah. nine hundred and sixty yeah. pounds doing that. What's, what's he's the a world monster. record for like a, a normal deadlift? Oh, it's, well, it's normal like deadlift is harder than that. Eleven hundred or so. Yeah. Yeah. But, de- yeah. but normal yeah. deadlift, normal deadlift is, is harder. Um, yeah. like, like mm-hmm. I, I saw that dude breaking that record a while back. I, I'll tell you one thing I hate is when their noses start bleeding oh, when yeah, they're doing those lifts. I was at the gym. That's gross. And, and look, I'm going hard as fuck in there. I'm, I'm, I'm hurting. I'm tired and playing the strong man. I'm like, oh, this is great motivation. Look at this fucking rock of a man lift some heavy shit. And I'm watching the guy like, like, like while I'm wa- doing my laps or whatever. And his nose starts bleeding. And I left. I was like, I was, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not going to go anymore. I, that, that turned me off. <laughs> is this is it Eddie Hall we're talking about? Or I think else? it was. It was whoever it was. Wait. There was blood gushing down their like nose, mouth area as they mm-hmm. cranked out like some 1,100 pound Hall? deadlift. Or that other guy. Yeah, that, yeah, Eddie Hall, when doing his deadlift, like his nose just starts Oh, is that the one where the bar also took all the skin off his shins? Have you seen Maybe, that? Maybe. He, as think, he's doing the deadlift. If that's the world record deadlift. He's taking the skin off his shins. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck y'all. Fuck y'all, because because like I'm I'm a pussy about shit like that. Like like if you told me I was gonna get punched in the head, it's like all right, that's an injury that that's not so bad. But whenever I see him on the mat in UFC and black guys, especially you can see, have ground their elbows down till they're like pink flesh on the because the mat is like Oof. not quite sandpaper, but pretty close. I think it's and canvas, and people canvas, know how yeah. rough canvas is. Very rat rough, grippy stuff, and they're on their knees and elbows grinding. That to me is like a like a paper cut kind of like oh I don't like that kind of injury okay. thing, and it's a like, like I watched two guys go at it the other night in the UFC match and afterwards like exactly what I said he ground his fucking elbows down to their pink and it's a black man, it looked bad. Yeah, yeah that's unpleasant. I I, would, I don't blame you for leaving when you finally join the home gym master race. The only person you have to worry about nose bleeding is you, and you I'm a uh, so you'll be yeah. <laughs> I'm uh I'm still moving from here fairly soon, but I, I I said fuck it. I'm just I'm just uh so I got my uh my stuff in place now. Um so I'm I'm gonna be doing most of everything from here. I'm gotta see if uh there's anything any holes missing in my game. I don't think there really are. Um I mean there's some machines that I would there's things I can replace, like I don't have cables, mm-hmm. but I do like the idea of trying to do it at my house and I'm gonna see how I like it. I don't know. I do like my dumbbells sure. a lot. Those are cool. I've been doing like dumbbells here and then going to the gym. Um, and doing the rest of the stuff because it's so close. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna try. Yeah, doing those dumbbells stuff. you got are very cool. Are they, they, uh, uh, so slush ones yeah, has you it... can like change the uh, the weight on them with the is it because I've seen those where you like you put them in the rack and then you like turn them and then they go to different weights. Yeah, I don't. Mm-hmm. My opinion is that you're never going to actually like the final product when you do that because I, it just doesn't look like it's comfortable to like do push and pull with because they, they end up with these big blocks on either end of your dumbbell yeah. that, that, that's annoying. Like you, There's just some movements I just don't think you're going to be able to do with that. Like I don't know, maybe hammer curls or something would end up being weird. Um, yeah. And I, I just I don't like the aesthetic of them either, like those big power blocks and stuff. But I think Bowflex makes one. Um, you just like turn the dials they on do. the side. Yeah. I don't, Iron I don't like how they, makes one. I don't like how they look, and I don't trust them to be. Have you seen the new bell ones? You might you know. really? I mean, I'm I'm all good now, but like I'm I'll look. I, all right, I'm gonna try to. F- I'll, I'll get a timestamp, but it won't take me very long. Found it. Yeah, I'm looking at them. Like oh. these these adjustable like slush. You might not know these adjustable dumbbells. Like the ten to like fifty pound or ten to ninety pound. They're like six to eleven hundred dollars. These Whoa. are these so Fuck that. yeah. <laughs> So the, I'm going I'm, back. I'm going back to my concrete blocks. So the new bells, <laughs> so the new bells uh, are able to convert from five up to eighty pounds, and they are seven hundred seventy-five each. So you need two of them, but that's Holy still shit. really good. It, 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 this it, is no time stamped. Can you show this with no volume, uh, Zach, please? So, um, uh. Yeah, anyway, you, you you twist the handle that's in the middle, and when you pull it out, it grabs just the amount on the ends that you need to have, and he's about to demonstrate that. So hmm. now it weighs presumably five, I assume, and mm-hmm. then he'll put it in there, twist the handle a little bit, and hopefully lifts it again in a second. And <laughs> Funny if he can lift it. 
No, <laughs> that guy's way stronger <laughs> than you might guess. He looks like a regular person. He is, but he's like yeah. a lot stronger than I am. Pretty strong to wear a mustache like that, man. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you saw it. That's probably what I needed you to see. He twists it. He grabs three, t- clicks it again. It grabs two. Um, yep. <clears throat> it looks nice. I think it's impossible to beat a rack of dumbbells unless you're concerned about space. Yeah, I, that, that's my nice uh, to that, the rack. that too. Yeah, that too. I like that as well. Um, I don't know. I don't have a bunch of them right now because they just don't even make all the lighter sizes. Although I, I, I think I have 10 pound dumbbells somewhere. I don't, and I wasn't going to pay $80 for a set of 10 pounders with that grip. on. Yeah, that's outrageous. But like you, you don't need it, grip stability on 10 pounds. <laughs> if you process it, like and maybe this is obvious to everyone. I didn't know it until I thought about it. An 80 pound adjustable dumbbell only costs a little more than an 80 pound dumbbell because the material costs are pretty similar. But what it does is it's an 80, 75, 70, 65, 60, et cetera. So, and a rack. Little, and the, oh, yeah, I didn't consider the count of the cost of the rack at first. It's a much, you, you do have to buy a rack typically because you don't want to do it off the floor, adjust them off the ground. That would suck. But um, uh, the rack is real small. It holds one dump, one pair, as opposed to the kind of rack I have, for example, which holds I don't know how many pairs. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, that's and, what I'm saying. Like you avoid the big rack. Yeah. It's, oh, it's yeah. Small. You avoid the space of the big rack and the cost of the big rack. Hem- how much is a pair of 80 pound dumbbells like? Like just a standard. An adjustable pair. one like we just looked at is. Probably fifteen hundred. A set would be fifteen hundred to fifty. That particular dumbbell would be like less than half that. Seven hundred seventy-five like, each, and you need two. I'm looking. I'm on the sure website. A pair. You know, that's, that's the that's the adjustable ones. But how just, much is just one eighty-pound dumbbell? Like, where are they getting the extra cost on this? Like, are they just selling the idea of this adjustability thing? For some reason, surely that's them. both of them. I think that's both of them, Kyle. Although the price, I. I I leaned the other way because I just bought my dumbbells and the pricing was the opposite. It was like, do you want two of them? Well, then click two, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, I don't quite understand. Um, is it come with one or two? How many do you want? Two? Well, then click it twice, asshole. Well, that's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Sure is. Sure is. <laughs> it, shouldn't, it sure is, I'm dumbass. On- <laughs> Have fun with your one-arm workouts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I sent them like, I think, I think the whole set shipped. All right, I take it back. Not the whole set because I skipped the ten pounders, but like twelve, um, three or four, four different weights, whatever was like eight hundred shipped or something, roughly. And it got here fast. Like they got here in five yeah, days. And you got up to fifty pounds, right? That's just the highest. I think thing I went higher. Think, right. 50? I went. I went at least to fifty. Oh. I went at least. I didn't to know 50. if they. I thought they were so new they didn't have higher than fifty yet. Maybe I'm. I'm I think that is guess. the case. Yeah. Yeah, they're in there. Those look really cool either way. Well, I hope slush. I hope your fitness journey goes well. You should yeah. before it's you go slush, in, if you ever you'll get a, you'll get a lot more you'll get a lot more done if you just like literally just look up like a PPL routine off bodybuilding.com and just follow something. Like following slush, anything yeah. is better than going in aimless. Oh, here's the band. If you've got if you've got a link to something, just throw it at me because so, I know so, fucking so, nothing about so this shit. The three of us combined are literally one fitness expert. Yeah. Um, expert. Kind of, <laughs> like, like, like we literally this is literally like 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 a, a hobby for all three of us and we spend time researching and and doing and practicing this and doing it so mm. like if you ever actually want some like non-comical silly advice like we know how to do yeah, exactly yeah. what you want to do and we're really good at it here there's oh, a wait, piece of on. advice you need to hear right away <laughs> take before pictures you're gonna i, wish I will you i will them. do that i will yeah. do that I'm gonna, I'm gonna you can take them privately yeah. you can take them with your wife but get your before okay. pictures because i'll send them to you mm. as well Oh, and, you want to say? Oh well, I will send you pictures as well. I, it's and, kind of my thing. Yeah, I, I won't say no, but even if you can try it, what right? Like, like, like you're not, you're not, like, like one of those guys who's worried about what you put in your body anyway. Like you just told me about doing speed and candy flipping and stuff. So uh, get, I, I am, I am more okay. now. Uh, <laughs> I mean, go get yourself some testosterone and, and just really throw some some gas on the fire, you know? Yeah. So the the testosterone stuff that is, uh, if you take that, it's pretty much like. You just, it's just extra muscle build is is the go with it, isn't it? Like I, I don't know. Is this is you there are, side effects to it? I don't want to end up with gigantic dick. So, I, so I could like I that. could talk about this for an hour, but just to like give you the broad strokes real quick, um, you'll just be a better man. Everything that that makes a man a man, you're better at. You're you're you like more sex drive. Um, more you're gonna have higher energy levels. Um, more like a little more hair growth. Um, you pretty hairy. Yeah, a little. It might get a little bit more. Deal with it. 
Um, but it's you're going to build muscle super fast. You're going to recover from yeah. physical exertion really fast. Um, like, like I don't, I, it's hard to tell what to attribute that I've done directly to testosterone because I've done so many things and kept up such a regimen, but like, I don't yeah. know, my cardio obviously improved dramatically blood pressure, resting heart rate, all that stuff. Is it like ex pretty excellent levels? And I, I get regular blood work mm -hmm. to make sure I'm staying healthy. But in essence, yeah. like you will just be a fitter, stronger, happier, healthier you, not to mention that like. If your current levels are at a certain point that's that's le literally low, like we're not talking about this as a performance enhancer as much as like yeah, a yeah. replacement for guys who have lower testosterone. Like, yeah, you've got a deficit right now. Like, like maybe you're you'll think that you're happy, but maybe your brain's just not working at 100 percent to let you know that you're happy. There may yeah. be a level of happiness you can't perceive of because your hormones are not in shape. Any of us who've yeah. ever dealt with a hormonal woman know that one day these hormones can send them into this terrible spiral of depression or fury and anger and the next day they're if they're a good person they're literally like holy shit what was that yesterday yeah and, and you're well, like you, yeah, never, you never really hear about that with men because it's like uh they, they don't men wouldn't discuss that thing because they're like oh, yeah I'm because not, it's I'm like a taboo a thing like oh, oh, i have so much testosterone and my cock's huge it's like <laughs> like you, you hear about someone that uh, people would be like oh he say he's having testosterone therapy or something like that it'd be like what has he got a, got a tiny dick something like that. what's wrong with him <laughs> like but it's uh but it's just like what's wrong thing. with him is he can't find weights heavy enough anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's a real struggle for him <laughs> yeah yeah he's so yeah. strong he's broke off adjustable dumbbell bills <laughs> yeah. no he kept, um, he kept lifting the gym up and got banned but 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 like i'm just saying like like it, it you know that's a medical thing that you do with a doctor and everything is all i'm saying with that but but like as yeah. far as like regimens diet programs motivation all that stuff like we're real good about that around here um yeah, yeah. all three of us have like gotten much bigger and stronger and fitter than we've ever been in our whole lives i think recently yeah sick i might be uh, the mm. strongest you are yeah, just there's no. Well, I guess I'm, I'm wondering about my college. I was pretty strong in. You can't like, swim like you could then, but you'd beat true. that guy up. I think you beat that guy up. <laughs> Maybe I'm at my strongest and my fattest. <laughs> All right, how about this? How about this? I send you back. I've been the... bloat maxing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if I send you back in a time machine, if I send you back in a time machine, it would be so. Wouldn't that be fun? Like, like I'd watch. Like, like, like don't you wish that you could do stuff like that? Like, as far as sci-fi, I beat the shit out goes, of my like 19 year old self. Yeah. What, what, what do you do? Pussy? Like, 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 you know what I want to do? That there was a guy who kicked the fuck out of me when I had one arm. My other arm was paralyzed in a sling. It was the first day I went outside after surgery on my nerve, and uh, we were walking. My friend was mouthy. He got this other group of guys angry at us, and for some reason, he fucking hit me in a sling. I was still like dizzy from the and like from everything. It wasn't a fair fight. I want me there. Let me, me right now there. I, I I could beat the fuck out of that guy. That guy, dude, <laughs> healthy me back then could have beat the fuck out. I was like four inches taller than this guy. He hit me so hard. He broke my nose in two places. I was so unhappy. I would watch this movie. I would watch this movie. And here's what happened. <laughs> you would kill him and they would arrest you in the past. And you'd be doing time writing letters to your past father, trying to convince him to, to like that you're his future son. And it, I would, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you need, you're you're going to need really? him to get you a lawyer because you just killed the man on the boardwalk. <laughs> no, Graz, no. Tenant sucked. All right. Tenant <laughs> sucks. <laughs> you don't know anyone else awesome. in the past. Oh, Who else okay. are you going to go to? Uh, but, uh, Woody's going to win his fight by reversing entropy. And then <laughs> yeah. uh, but he has but to keep yeah. it a secret from his former self or the movie falls apart. I want to be my <laughs> old bodyguard. That's what I wish I could yeah. do. That guy was a real asshole, man. No, I think Who beats up a crippled person? That's really shit. A piece of shit. Yeah. 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 I, I saw one the other. I, I don't understand like the idea of being anything but courteous to someone who's like in a chair or, or disabled in some way. Well, like never occurs to me. It's always shocking when someone is. Uh, I saw a video the other day and this guy's on some kind of a bike trail and he's in his like electric mobility off roading type scooter. Oh, thing. I saw that. And yeah. this asshole couple, a, a man and a woman like, you know, white people. Um, or like, you know, you're not supposed to be out here with that electric scooter. You know better than that. And he's like, like, dude, my legs don't work. This is my mobility scooter. And, and he's like, you're not allowed out here with those. And, and, and his wife's like, what's going on in here, here anyway? And he's like, I'm telling him that I don't have use of my legs. And this is my only mode of travel. And she's like, well, you should have led with that. And he's like, I 
did. <laughs> yeah. How can you not lead with that? You can see him coming. You can see him wheeling towards you. Like you, they you know. He was in, they thought he was in some sort of like fun thing, like some right. fun electric joy riding. scooter. It did yeah. look like fun. It did look like fun. That guy's I been joyriding so long he has no Here's muscle. The best part, Woody. <laughs> Woody. The best part is now we can ride our electric scooters wherever the fuck we want. Any trail, you just tell them my legs don't work. It's just like if you want to take your pet on an air, airplane. If anybody's got a pet they ever want to fly with, and I don't know about you, but like I, I love pets. Like I don't have any currently, but I would feel real shitty about checking them and putting them in that kennel and everything. Like if that thing depressurizes back there, then they just all fucking die. Or maybe if some, you've seen how people handle luggage. I don't know if some psycho yeah. is going to throw my dog around. Yeah, um, I don't want them. Fucking I didn't even think of that. Yeah, like so, so. I don't. I don't like the idea. You know of that. what? No go, one throws my dogs around, Kyle. They'll be in a kennel. Like, like maybe your dog. If they do, slide them around at best. Yeah, <laughs> and if they do fuck with Woody's dog, if they fuck with Ender, seventy-one-year-old Woody's going to appear from the future. <laughs> and beat the shit on that guy. Backwards. <laughs> yeah, backwards. No, oh, so God. they so can like, say that to my dog. My dog's but like the way a, you get around handbag. that, <laughs> if you want your dog on the plane. Or your anything on the plane, they've they've nailed down a few specific animals because people abuse this. You just slap that service animal tag on there. They cannot question it. They can't question it, and there's no like 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 board of like service dogs anywhere. So like they yeah. can't be like, hey, what's wrong with you? They can't ask that. No. So 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 you just said this is my service animal. He's with me, and it doesn't even have to be yeah. like a smart like German Shepherd. It could be a retarded Chickapoo or whatever the fuck you've got. Like uh, Taylor's I, I dog, the, uh, any I dog, any I, animal. I said it the other I day. Flew. I went into the supermarket and I was, I had the dog in the car and it was almost 40 degrees and I was, I, I had to just run in to grab something. I was like, I'm not going to leave him in the car. He's going to cook to death. So almost I just picked him up. Put him very hot, right? 40 mm -hmm. degrees. That's like, like 90. 100, okay. 110. I'm trying to be clear. Right? <laughs> it's, it's cold to us, it's, but it's hot. So it's, I think it's over 100. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, What's human body uh, temperature in uh, in Celsius? Uh, it's like forty something. 30, 38 degrees. Okay, thirty eight. Okay. That's helpful. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I, think I can't remember. I, but uh, yeah, so I carry. I'm carrying him in under my arm, and this woman's like, "You can't bring that dog in here." And it was just like, "It's my service animal," and she's just like, "Oh, well, I'm sorry." It was. It's rough. Ma'am, if you haven't bitch. noticed, <laughs> I, I'm retarded, <laughs> yeah. and I need look at me. me the groceries. I mean. <laughs> Oh, Left to my own devices, I'll just go to the candy aisle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, what's she gonna do about it? I was just like walking in there, like covered in tattoos, oh. looking like a fucking biker. Like, <laughs> all right, all right, I got Slap to do a quick, me. <laughs> quick topic shift, Taylor. I I've been looking for movies for you. I like doing this. I I can't I find appreciate anything. it. I trust your judgment. I can't find anything for me to watch, so I can at least take pleasure in like finding things for you to watch because I've watched too yeah. much shit and I'm out. It, there's there's nothing left, and I don't want any recommendations anymore because Dude, there are my, huge gaps in my movie viewing. Like there are times you'll list like six movies and I'm like haven't seen it, haven't seen it. Penny haven't Dreadful it, is all I have left, and I'm 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 just I don't know what I, I look at it and I'm like someday I'll watch when you're all done. Uh, but but mm -hmm. but but there's nothing left for me to watch. I have, I have nothing. But um, I saw this movie advertised because I know you like shitty horror movies and you like retards. I found a shitty horror yes. movie about a retarded kid who looks in a mirror and sees a demon, and I mean full blown retarded. The actor is playing it up, and he's just like, "Oh no, That's there's a the demon!" Impressive. And it's just they're 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 like, and the demon's like, "I'm gonna take you over," and he's like, "No!" And the demon like holds him down, like crawls into his skin, and now it's like in him. Did they and hire a non retarded actor for this role? If they did, he deserves a fucking Oscar because I believed every minute of this nah, guy being a never, never go full did, did they did they uh <laughs> did they discover he was did, Kyle, did they discover he was possessed because they went to like a restaurant and he ordered off the menu and you're like, Scott, you can't read. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the demon the car, can read. I, they, they're just like, there's something wrong with Scott. The car honked outside and he didn't lose his fucking mind and start punching a hole in the wall. Okay, we just like, <laughs> so the we're worried about called, Scott. Uh, evil within and uh I'm, I'm looking i'm trying to get zach if you, if you search the evil within like maybe if you do an image search you could find a picture of the kid because like goodness they he looks retarded um but but it literally is a movie about a retarded guy who like starts talking to a demon in the mirror and it possesses him and uh i'm saving that one for one night when like i don't know i have some friends over and like we want to see something awful uh because it it looks it that's a video. Wait, game hold on. Well. This is this says 
It's a 2017 horror film written and directed by blah, blah, blah. It was originally titled The Storyteller. The film's conception and development was a personal project of Getty's who largely self-financed it from four to six million dollars. Production took 15 years to complete. How? What? What? What the 15 fuck? years what do they like, build a set no, this was follow the the guy died in 2015 getty andrew getty the director died in 2015 editing for the film was completed by producer michael luceri so fifth what the fuck 15 years in development how is that possible well it took 15 years to get here but finally it better be true it better be tremendous a tremendous actor boy oh, I've seen that. himself I, as a child and an adult now I've yeah. seen this actor before, Kyle. This guy's not retarded. He's a no. he, He's a good actor. Though. See, he this is me. bullshit. It, it, like, non-retarded people are stealing jobs from retarded people. Can I add one onto that? I don't think that. You do. I don't think that living people should be able to play dead people anymore. This makes sense. Yes. I want only. They're taking good jobs away from hardworking man. corpses. I would love it if they corpses should... were generally played by corpses in films. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine acting up in arms about that? They'd be, they'd be crying about it. They'd... I've oh, been no. playing a corpse since 72, all right? Yeah. <laughs> That's me and Saving oh, Private oh, Ryan. There okay, I am. Bob, right. Here I am with Tom Hanks. <laughs> Is it SAG? SAG starts union. Like every... every no, automated movie, corpses. <laughs> every great movie for the last 50 years, he just zooms in in the background. That's me, dead on the floor. Yep, yep. <laughs> no, I dude, this guy, uh, this guy that you thought was retarded, Kyle. The look at him again. Look at his face. His name is Frederick Kohler, and he's forty six now. But he look at his face again. He was uh, J.K. Simmons' Nazi son in Oz. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah wow. They, that. You talk this, so so they filmed this fifteen years ago. See, see, when you said in production, I assumed that like they built the sets and like ten years went past, and then the, they started acting, and then like this got made three years ago or something. You're telling me they filmed this shit fifteen years ago, and it's just now. Yeah, out? this was done. This was like finished and ready to go, but not edited it like, as of like fourteen and a half years or that's before crazy. it was released. Well, that's the what you're seeing there is the demon like crawling inside of the bo the retarded boy, like forcing forcibly. Uh, that's, that's a lot to happening. crawl in. Yeah, he's going to fit, though. I'll watch this. I really like how you can see the strings holding the demon up. Can you yeah. can you bring that back? Do you guys notice that? Do you see the strings holding the demon arms up? No wonder production you know, took so long. I don't so think long. I saw any. Well, Look well, at the strings. <laughs> Fuck, I can see him tied in a little knot there at the joint. Yeah, see? <laughs> That's they're terrible. Not even, it's not That's even like... Great. They're trying to fucking like lazy Susan knot or some shit right there. You tie up Maybe a it's meant to be better like than a puppet or something. It's like uh, it's like it's deal. Why? Oh, I'm I'm gonna watch this. I love campy shitty horror. The evil within. I'm writing that down. Well, enjoy, enjoy. I, I saw a movie that combined two of your favorite things, and I, I just knew I had to, <laughs> had to get it to you. I uh, I got a little notebook. I've been writing ideas down in, but I lost my pants so. Yeah, yeah. No, he played a Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Schillinger. I, mean, I only have the one. It's Schillinger. <laughs> <laughs> and we was, I was just talking about Oz the other time. day. Any, anyone that hasn't watched Oz oh, is listening has to just watch the first episode. It's <laughs> sure, <laughs> watch the first episode. That's all you need. <laughs> but, but, no, just, but, just, just for the, I, the bit where he's like, wants to change cells. It's just, it's just so fucked. Um, it's, it is. So is fun. there a. Uh, 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 ownership involved in the first episode. Does that happen that quickly? Oh, uh, it's yeah. Like, oh, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I think already in the first episode he gets booked and his asshole tattooed. That's what yeah, I was. Yeah, that's like that the way. yeah. I think we cover that yeah, whole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's um. Yeah. No, anybody out there is hearing this. Like, if you if you give a shit what I think about movies and TV at all, don't, just skip Oz unless you want a real downer. It's a depression show. There's no happiness. Yeah. Like, like, look, I I like shows that are dark, and we could all die at the end. I like the new James Bond. A lot of people died at the end of that. It's fine. I, we don't always get away, and it's happy. There's never a happy, a smirk, or a smile in the in Oz. It's, it's, it's meant to depress you. That's the it point. is depressing. I want to jump on that though. because I am impressed by a film that makes me feel something. Right, most films I watch, I'm like, I'm just kind of neutral on the whole thing. I'm waiting. Things might happen to the character, but I, am I that involved? Do I give a fuck? Mostly, no. I don't give a fuck. Uh, a couple movies when I watch them, it's like, oh my god, like, this is happening. This is oh, holy smokes! Like, like I. <sighs> I had hopes for this. I, I thought this was going to be okay. Oz doesn't make me feel good, but 
but it makes me feel. So for mm-hmm. that, I think it's really well done. I agree with the you. The only thing yeah, it, it makes me feel is my butthole clenching. It's, <laughs> it's just so much anal rape in it. It's and it, it, nothing oh, ever well, goes right. <laughs> I, now I think you're judging. <laughs> I, I feel targeted, actually. I'm just fucking with you. I, I, no, I, do agree. It, it, no, it, I, never, agree. I, I just <laughs> don't think they like, like. Like you're right. It does make you feel something, but but yeah. that is that. That's not my barometer for great. It makes now, you I, feel anxiety. I do, It yeah. makes you feel anxiety. Yeah. Um, now I do like that, but you can have that and still have tensed. like not a complete like like. Mm. It makes you feel tense, and then it gets raped. And then you make you feel tense, and then he gets raped. And there's never a time when you're tense and he doesn't get raped. So after you're a while, very worried something bad will happen, and then it does. Then it does. It <laughs> never it doesn't always, happen. Yeah. That's the problem. It never goes. Like, and when, like, there, when there well, is, wait, a, a sometimes victory. you think that things are turning around. Sometimes you're like, oh my god, thankfully. Thankfully, this guy has figured out how to exist in prison in a happy place. Oops, my mistake. No, yeah. he. Yeah, and. Like I, I to add on to that, like usually in shows there are little victories that keep you going, where it's like, oh, the appeal was won by so and so, and so they might have a chance to get out and you know relitigate their whatever the hell. But the the like little victories for the main character in Oz is he's literally about to get mouth raped by the same Nazi again, and he bites off the tip of the Nazi's dick, and then the Nazis lose respect for that dickless Nazi, and so they turn that Nazi out, and a larger a larger Nazi rapes him, and that's supposed to be like the little bit of justice, and it's like, no, this <laughs> yeah. is still horrific. Like, this is... <laughs> this is like this that is yeah. Oh, no, wait, wait, it wasn't... That's what it is. It, the, the, remember that? The guy who got his dick bit off? He gets Are you taken sure he wasn't by an the Italian guy. No, it was it was, no, that, uh, it was Schillinger's oh, yeah. number two guy yeah. who got his dick bit off, and then Schillinger was like, you know, dickless, you know, asshole, get the hell out of here. And then there's this giant guy who's the only guy in the prison big enough to not have to be a member of any gang, and he's like, hey, cutie, like this giant bald white guy. He looks like a skinhead, but he's not a Nazi. And then he just like dolls up this guy and like makes him put lipstick on, and then he like. <laughs> Dude, some of the stuff they do. I'm remembering yeah. the spoon scene where he like want takes a spoon it. and 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 like the 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 guy like bends over the dickless Nazi and like licks the spoon. And is like got to get you cleaned out for me. And it's like, oh, no, oh, that's not even a thing oh, you do. No, the, uh, this is a, <laughs> this is like his shit off at this point. <laughs> this guy is a sadist. He got off yeah. on on hurting people, and so he was doing well, anything. What was he could it? To hurt the him. the Italian guy? He he cops it from like uh, Schillinger, and then um then he gets out of hospital, and he's like revenge. And then he goes to stab him, and then they just they're just like, no thanks. And they just hold him down and just do the same shit to him again. It's like Yeah, that, yeah, the little Italian. That scene, guy. Where he, the scene where he dips his hand into the engine grease, and he's just like, yeah. All right, it's time. And it's just like <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that it is it is such a brutal scene. Because you're right, that little Italian guy is like trying to like impress the bigger up, like uh high up Italian mafioso guys. And he immediately gets raped by Adebisi, the, the leader of the black gang in there when he tries to be tough because this idiot goes to Adebisi with like no backup, like, like, like nobody with him. And then he gets out of solitary and you're right, immediately gets revenge and then raped by all the Nazis. And then he goes insane. Remember that? Yeah. 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 yeah Man, so there, really? There's show. not a single good thing um, about this show. That like, yeah, yeah. uplifting <laughs> thing. And the whole time, it. the main guy who's running it is like, we can't stop this program. And for some reason, no one's like, it failed, dude. This yeah, isn't working. Just, Crystal yeah. Palace that's or Crystal sort of confused me. Yeah. Yeah. Is that's it, what sort of confused me. It's just like, uh, it's it was more like a um, like a, a forced sex commune than it was an actual jail. Like <laughs> It was literally just a regular jail cell, but designed by Apple. Like, it was like you could <laughs> see through stuff and it had a lot of white. But at the end of the day, it's like, that's just made the rapes more visible. They still weren't, weren't stopping it. Yeah. They weren't doing much. It. Yeah, that was a pretty brutal show. It puts you in a funk after you watch it. You you talking about it is putting me in a funk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, it put me in such a funk. The last time I watched it, a year and a half ago, I remember the last time I watched it explicitly. I finished the last episode. It was one of those things. It was like 1130 at night, and I was on the last episode of the series, and I had already felt that feeling that you imposed or on me of like, you know, this. I, I, I want to finish it because I started it again, but I am in such a depressed like sad, like anxious feel right now. This is this is rough. At least tomorrow, I'm gonna start in practical jokers or something. I'm just gonna watch something fun and silly. Next morning, I wake up, still in a little bit of a funk. Not as bad. Get a call. Mom died. 
Yeah. The day after I finished Oz. And so it was like, oh, this is even worse than Oz. What? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You <yeah>. think so? <laughs> <laughs> this is even more upsetting than that show I was watching. <laughs> but yeah, that was. Okay. All right. That was, that was a terrible way to cap off Oz. Oh. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, I'm not rewatching that show again. It was it was beyond beyond upsetting. No one should watch that show. It's not a good Just, show. Hey, uh, we're talking about Oz. How is HBO Max different than HBO Go? Do they both still exist? Would Oz be on Max now? Has Max completely superseded Go? I'm confused. Yeah, yeah Ma Max has everything on it. Every show they've made, you can go into like the history and hit Sopranos, Oz, Wire, all of it. I don't think HBO Go is a thing anymore. Yeah, I didn't think it was. I've had HBO Max for a, a coon's age, as they say, and uh, I don't know. I like it a lot. I, I feel like there's enough movies mm -hmm. on there um, and just regular programming to justify keeping it around because I I, I rewatch so much stuff, and um, I've got friends that haven't seen like some of the mainstays there, like Boardwalk Empire. Like if anybody hasn't seen Boardwalk Empire, we never really talk about it because Sopranos and The Wire and stuff like mm -hmm. that are so much better, but that's good company to be in. Like the first season of boardwalk empire is excellent. After that, they, they kill off a main character and it's, it's a different show after that. That's not as good. But at that point you can kind of start leaning on the uh, world war two, two world war one veteran who only has half his face and wears mm -hmm. the mask. Then that guy kind of becomes your favorite. Character. He's very cool. He becomes very likable. That is a great yeah. show. I, I need to watch more of that. I watched the whole thing like as it was coming out, but I, I really good cast, that. really good cast. You recognize a yeah, lot Steve of Steve Buscemi players. kills it and everything. Steve Buscemi's really good, but like he's, I still don't think he's like a leading guy. Like, like he didn't lead that show too well. I don't think like, like you can never like believe him as any kind of a physical threat. Cause he's just such a worm of a guy and he's old. Mm -hmm. Like it's like, like maybe like a young, uh, Steve Buscemi could have been like wiry <laughs> like, or yeah. maybe like, like hit you with a bottle or something, but like old Steve you can imagine Buscemi. Imagine like, yeah, being really cheap in a fight, like get eye gouging and shit like that. Yeah, like, like the best mm -hmm. he can do is order someone to hurt you or maybe shoot you. But but you're just not afraid of Steve Buscemi in that show. The same, and I know like like Tony Soprano wasn't exactly the epitome of help, but he was a big, burly, strong guy. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, and he demonstrated enough times throughout that show that this big fat lug of an Italian could throw some. I mean, you could see his hands in the show. They're just they're, they're hands. So big. They're so they're big. Got, holiday, he, got, he has holiday he has ham hands. Fingers. He's got his fat <laughs> fingers. <laughs> he has like he's got like fucking a Super Bowl ring for a, an O lineman like on his hand like <laughs> tightly. But uh, before we move to anything else, we're going to hear from a couple of wonderful sponsors. Admit it, you think that cybercrime is something that happens to other people. You may think that no one wants your data or that hackers can't grab your passwords or credit card details, but you'd be wrong. Stealing data from unsuspecting people on public Wi-Fi is one of the simplest and cheapest ways for hackers to make money. When you leave your internet connection unencrypted, you might as well be writing your passwords and credit card numbers on a huge billboard for the rest of the world to see. That's why we decided to take action, which is why we're recommending you get ExpressVPN to protect yourself from cyber criminals. ExpressVPN secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data and hiding your public IP address. ExpressVPN has easy-to-use apps that run seamlessly in the background of your computer, phone, or tablet. Turning on ExpressVPN takes only one click. Using ExpressVPN, I can safely surf on public Wi-Fi without being snooped on or having my data stolen. For less than 7 bucks a month, you can get the same ExpressVPN protection that I have. ExpressVPN is rated the number one VPN service by TechRadar and comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash PKA. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash PKA. That's three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com express slash PKA to learn more. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash PKA. And so check them out. You want to be secure out. online. You want to be safe. And they're the best at it. Number one by Tech Radar. Also check out Lock and Load. The number one cum supplement for everyone who wants to be a better, stronger, faster, smarter man. So check that link Wait, below. Code. It doesn't do any of those things. I mean, for, I, <laughs> to, be fair, to be fair, it does not no, do any of those things. Because... It'll make you feel like it when you blow, though. Guys, I'm, 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 I'm goosing it up a bit. You know? <laughs> we don't need to lie because what myself. it actually does is so incredible. <laughs> yes, it'll actually make you bust 
tremendously. A huge amount of cum. It helps support increased volume, helps support libido, and helps support blood flow. That's very important for having a hard penis, wouldn't you say, folks? And it's important for launching that cum effectively onto your partner. So no joke, check that out below. You will come more and you will come farther. That yep. is actually true. And you'll it does take a couple of weeks, like like two weeks in, I thought I was coming more. I was coming more. Six weeks in, I was like, <laughs> okay, I thought I was coming more in two weeks. And six <laughs> weeks is a whole fucking another ball game. Um, <laughs> and I, I, don't, I, I am proud of my loads. I've, I've now become judgmental about porn stars. Uh, only mm -hmm. the best can hang with a lock. And None of them can hang, can keep up. Yeah. Not many of them can, honestly, honestly. Like, I swear, yeah, porn this is stars the thing. not hang with my loads for sure. Like, like it's just nope, it's not for even real. Close. Um, like, like those ridiculous ones, like, like maybe it was Peter North or somebody yeah, like that that was known for like soaking women. Like, yeah. all right, get out of here with that. I, I think you might, have a, even true. you might have a tube up your asshole, sir. <laughs> There's somebody <laughs> behind him. Fucking, <laughs> my, arms, my arms, Pete, I'm tired. <laughs> 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 i don't know how they do that because it seems to come from his dick but it, i i don't know what to say that is not it like it's like spider-man how yeah. is there even enough like bioorganic matter in his body to where shoot was it webbing? where was it before it was on her where was it because <laughs> right? this motherfucker uh, must have a venom sack that uh, <laughs> Mark Mark Rockwell is his name. Like, have you guys seen that that meme where uh, Spider Man fires the a spray and then it just hits that chick in the face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mark Mark Rockwell is his name, and that guy is that guy is a huge load. I I think what he'd done there is he, he'd use the technique where he where he comes, but he's squeezing the head of his penis, not yeah. allowing any out, and then he's he's making it all go out in one burst, and it just hits yep. her face like when Spidey would send the big wide web to capture somebody. Yep. Technique. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty funny <laughs> baby, but... <laughs> that was one of the coolest things about spider-man like like he doesn't just have like a, a, a web to like grab things with he's got like a whole like like wide web of things that he can do with the with, with those yeah. things. not not which all spider of them, all right, which spider-man do you like better or which like version the one who is like mutated and so webbing just comes out of his wrist or the one who is like smart enough in addition to be bit, to being bitten by a radioactive Spider-Man, that he has created a super material that he creates willy-nilly with no with with his job working at the Daily Bugle in his like apartment, and it, it just fits in a little pod that's, there. That's such an easy is, question. You want to be the guy with the stuff built in. Tiny stuff Which do like, you oh, prefer, I, though? I disagree. No, no. I I want I. Oh, it, okay. As so a viewer, it is a different question. As a viewer. I am more impressed by smart Spider-Man. And I like as a viewer that he impressed Tony Stark. So that, that version of the, the but did, but didn't Tony Stark make the web for it? I no, thought Tony no. Stark might. No, Tony like, Stark meets him and he's like, Oh, this is really impressive stuff. You know, I can see what you did here. And and there's kind of a not that he's Tony Stark's peer, because he invents all sorts of great stuff. But Tony Stark was impressed with what he with what he did. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, I like um it feels like but, he doesn't have I a superpower like, if he can't shoot web. Like, what is his superpower then? It's everything well, else. It's, he's it's, every, it's, he's it's incredibly athletic. He's sticky. Well, so he's a, so he's he a wicked rock cars. climber. Well, he's he also can, got the spidey sense. Was literally like a sixth sense where he can sense danger okay. coming. And, and he can pick up cars and throw them. Like he that's, can. That's he got BW thing. for sure. My yeah. one of my every one of the Spider-Man movies has had a moment that really like got to me a little bit and had like emotional response. I'll tell you what, Toby. Talk about the cranes again. Uh -uh, not the cranes. Not the cranes. <laughs> We're going back to Toby Maguire. We're going back okay. to Toby oh, yeah. Maguire, the goofiest of all Spider Men. Um, I need to watch the new one because I know. But the best Peter Parker. Carry on. It's it's when he's on the front of that fucking train, and oh, and the good. And, and he's he shoots the webs out, and they and but they break. It's not enough, and so he shoots a ton of them out, and he's trying to slow the train down. And it's it's almost going to tear him apart. He's just screaming. And his mask is off, and he like passes out from the exertion, but he saves everybody, and he almost falls oh, off, yeah. which would have been death. But the, the people grab him, and they carry him back in, and they're doing a totally like, they're carrying him in like fucking Christ or something. Uh -huh. you know, they're passing his body back. <laughs> yeah, I remember they really that. are. <laughs> and and like he wakes up, and the, and the crowd's like, at this I don't know, like like one of the one of the guys says, "It's just a kid. It's like no older than my son." Like they're realizing this is just a kid that's like saved them all, and 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 they're like, he's like realizes he doesn't have his mask when he wakes up, and this little boy like gives him the mask, and he goes we won't tell and everybody just goes <laughs> yeah we won't say anything and he's just like that 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 moment's really emotional for me though I, I think that's a strong moment it might be the strongest moment um do they say careful like you're carrying a yeah, hero or yeah, something like something that? like that yeah yeah, yeah yeah 
and they're being so gentle with him. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's it's really cool. It's a good scene. They, that scene's great. And then, too uh, often, people rescued by superheroes aren't properly appreciative. Appreciative. Yeah. They almost like are mad at them sometimes, you know. Or like, I think yeah. that's a new thing with like 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 these more like the, the movies and TV shows and properties that we have right now that are meant to be like these shitty superheroes that the people the people have gotten jaded to the to the existence of them just like we would probably like i mean we're sitting here joking around and meanwhile there's a fucking war going on in ukraine you know like what else can you do at some point so the same way like after a while you'd be like yeah there's a guy that flies around it blows people up occasionally he's uh yeah he bends still and he sees through walls he just does that uh, nothing you just live with it like, i've never it. seen him like uh, crime rates too small here he doesn't really do anything for me i don't give a fuck about him I don't know. They'd be, be like me caring about the LAPD. It's like I, I, I never see them. I don't give a fuck about them. It's Here's like... why you care, because the existence of him is the world's most powerful nuclear weapon, mm. right? It, governments would be trying to manipulate Superman into being on their side. Superman could end the Ukraine war in a hurry. Oh Just yeah! Imagine what a tank buster he'd be. He'd bust up 300 tanks in like 15 minutes. You know, like just zooming literally through them. In one yeah, side, like, not uh, the other. You guys seen Watchmen before? Yeah. Watchmen. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they said like Doctor Manhattan, Doctor Manhattan, Vietnam, and he's just like lasering all the Asians. <laughs> just like, yeah. So I want to say the lesser <laughs> ones were in Vietnam helping a lot too, right? Did Did Doctor Manhattan yeah. just? Hand it was him just Doctor uh, Manhattan and a comedian. Yeah, and the uh, comedians just like but, setting people on fire. I love that one time. line. It's like me and Mike Tyson going to beat people up. There's a no. The comedian <laughs> yeah. was like the more ruthless of them. He was he was exacting some psychological warfare. He was torturing and burning yeah. the villages. Okay. Doctor Manhattan would just vaporize you though. But I remember I love the line in Watchmen where they're like, "The war was over at three months after my arrival. Most of them wanted to surrender to me personally." And it just shows oh, like yeah. the Vietnamese like bowing down like he's a god, and like he, surrendering and, he's and just, laying down and he's their just guns. floating there. <laughs> but how couldn't he? Like, like he is a oh. god. He is yeah. he is a god. Like, like, like yeah, what is, what is he? What does that guy say? He's like, um, he's like, I think you misunderstood my quote. I didn't say uh there is a god. It's like God is born and he's American. Like, yeah, the dude, like he's just describing him as is the the yeah. creator. Yeah, the existence of some sort of a superhero would like like that would like completely upend like the power system of the world. You know, like like there's that comic, uh, what is it, Superman um like Red Sun? Like yeah, S O N, yeah. not S U N. I think he the idea is that Superman crashed in like the Ukraine, maybe, or something like that, and now he's a Soviet. And uh yeah. and that's just, they just explore that timeline where Superman is a Soviet the whole time instead of a uh, an American. Yeah. Well, what would you do if you're a superhero? If you, would you what like would I right do now, if you if you got dropped into nuclear waste and then uh became superman uh, what what's your what's your game plan are you like taking over a government are you ending all world hunger are you, I, am i literally yeah. like superman yeah it's just like oh, superman i think i'll just conquer the whole world i don't think i'd stop at one really? government i think i'd pull it all under one banner and i would make memes a big part of it um <laughs> I, because you know you're basically saying what would you do if you're god um, so, so yeah, I, I would, I would have a good sense of humor about it, but everybody would now, I mean, the flag would be, it would be a meme a for sure. No, no. Like, the, like the, the, the butt flag behind me from the Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or it's, it's just, it's just your bicep. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. That's just, just FBS brushes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would, I would, I would own the new Congress cause I'd want to set up some representation for the whole world. But they would only be comprised of WWE stars and former <laughs> WWE stars. We're bringing the Rock back, John Cena too, <laughs> Undertaker. I'm looking at you, mankind. You gave your body up for us. I'm bringing you back. You're getting a good job. <laughs> what and would the, you do, Taylor? Uh, well, Rick Flair is going to have an idea, position of prominence. But yes, Taylor, what, what did you... I, I would. Would I have a position of prominence <laughs> in, your, in your in your government? You would be the head of state. Yes, I'm down. Yeah. I'm down sure with that. I didn't say which. If, state. I, if I'm if I'm the Superman, <laughs> I'm down, you can be head of state in, in mine. There wouldn't be I a mean, real uh, yeah. state. It would be like an emotional. So you're the head of sadness. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. you're the head of despair. State of, <laughs> state of despair. Yeah. You're the head of melancholy. Yeah, just, but, but the secretary, that the secretary I, of uh, dome. And but honestly, no, yeah. honestly, honestly, I always no, I don't, say that when I'm streaming. Uh, people I, go, "What state do you live in?" I'm like, "A state of despair." Just, <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, I like your idea of WWE wrestlers where they're like coming to you, and he's like. Grandmaster Kyle, I, I think we need to 
give food to the masses and you're like bang 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 in character and then he's like <laughs> you know when master kyle i was thinking we could give some food to the masses maybe and you're like not good enough I'm just gonna come on. <laughs> bring in the exhumed corpse of andre the giant oh, <laughs> my, do i have the power to reanimate that or is that beyond my abilities hell yeah let's throw that in the mix all right yeah, zombie, no, zombie andre the giant <laughs> yeah I would, I would definitely take over the whole world. Like I would, actually, you know what? I wouldn't take over the whole world right you bring away. Back it would get one boring. Celebrity. You bring, you can bring one celebrity back to life. Who do you bring back? Jesus. To life? Fuck you. Why are you bringing? Jesus I just want to see yeah, what the. Reckon, then we all have to go to hell. Nah, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder I wonder judge. I, I would really. Like Jesus, Jesus would be really boring. Yeah, I want theory. to know what Jesus is up to. Like, you'd be into it. He's very. You get there, and he's like a really nice guy. He's just like, eh, everyone's cool. I'm real happy. And it's like, I don't want to hang out with that guy. I want to hang out with a guy with a like a really harsh opinion of something uh, that's like, like, like really good. Jesus judges. Yeah. That's like his thing, I think. Yeah, but he's like, Jesus is a, is a, and shit like yeah. that. It's like, I don't want to talk to that cunt. He sounds like a pussy. I, Jesus' I dad is, is a lot judgier. Yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah. was. Jesus. It was a good cop, guy. bad cop routine where he's the same guy, <laughs> yeah. you know. So like God, my, my bad dad's cop. definitely gonna beat you up, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, Jesus, good cop. Hey, you know what? My dad doesn't have to break your legs if you accept me as your savior. That's not a threat. It's a promise. It's like, yeah, it's both. It's both. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I would like to know where he's like because we've been told what Jesus would think about current events. I'd like to hear what Jesus says. Is Jesus even pro-choice or pro-life? I don't know. Well, how's Jesus feel yeah, about he, guns? Welfare. Would, I bet he would think guns were were cool. Not nail guns. I still no, not nail guns. <laughs> not nail guns. <laughs> Is that a Wings of Redemption show? <laughs> no, Taylor said the show, but I think it no, came I, from online. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, that's, a, that's oh, an yeah. old ass joke. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. it was Wings because you know you, you you took his job and everything. I get you guys. Confused. <laughs> <laughs> you just yeah, there. I remember we had Wings on this show until Taylor like dude. <laughs> I showed fans. until I started sending threatening emails to Woody and Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> we better get this guy yeah. on the show. He's we were watching. We, information. we were watching a witness <laughs> clip earlier before the show. I was I was showing Taylor. You had seen it before, though, right, Taylor? The that clip, clip I sent uh, you of wings on his porch. I don't believe I'd seen that unless it was on the show. I didn't remember okay, it. So so it's basically like wings. His grandmother, rest in peace, and um, some other lady who looks like I don't know, mildly attractive and about thirty five or so. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. 40. I don't know. She didn't look terrible. Um, but they are talking about sex toys because gangster grandma's boyfriend has just bought her like this vibrating little egg thing. And she's like, oh, yeah, it does job or whatever. And, and Wings thinks this is funny. So he's recording it all. And, and then it, and then the other lady is like, let me get mine. And she like yeah. goes out to her car, I guess, or something mm -hmm. and gets yeah, this where you keep big, those things. It, it gets like a double fisting like not a Hitachi. It looked like something you'd work on someone who had an injury or something out. Oh, and she's, so then she plugs it in this big vibrator and she's like, and she puts it on her pussy and she starts masturbating on the porch. Through the clothes, through the clothes, through the clothes. And, and she goes, ah, ah, and she's like playing with it for way too long for it to just be like silly business. And then, yeah, too she, long on the porch. And then she's like, get that girl, put that on your clit. And she's talking to like wings, grandmother who's sitting right next to him. And I'm just sitting there like, how did I forget about this? <laughs> I, forget yeah, I was, I was talking to Kyle thing. about it. It, it, it the, watching that scene. Have you ever stayed up way too late and it's like two forty-five in the morning on Adult Swim and those fifteen-minute like bad yeah. acid trip shows come on? Yeah. It was like one of those, like one of those like like tongue-in-cheek like satire things almost. Like it, it's so bizarre. I know that it wasn't satire. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's on Webby. I don't know whose channel that's on. I don't, I don't, we, we can't show it, but I mean, it'd be easy to find. If you search like Wings of Redemption and then Vibrator, you get it. Um, that's how easy it was for me to track down. Uh, hmm. It's uh, I, I, I had forgotten that it had existed. And, and at one point, Wings touches the sex toy. And it's like, I think they go and produce a third sex toy out of a, out of a bedroom or something. And they're plugging them in. And it just goes on for way too long. And it's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah, it is. It is a bit odd. Wait, is, is Gangster Grandma? She's rest dead, in peace. Right? Yes. Oh, she is. Okay, R.I.P. Did not. Yeah. Must have forgotten that. Yeah, well, yeah. We were talking about Wings the other day on my stream, and I, I didn't really uh, know much about him. And then uh, so my chat has sent me down this rabbit hole, and they're linking me like two hour videos of uh, his entire <laughs> life, and I'm just sitting there watching it, and I'm like. What am I learning about this dude? <laughs> I'm the David Attenborough of Wings Don't of Redemption. Yeah. I'm in the video prominently, right? I always am. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yep, no, but I was like, I, I, I'm just watching and I'm like, I, I just remember seeing there just watching it and I'm like, do I actually care? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it just feels like every time I watch a Wings of Redemption lifetime story, I'm like, there's me again. There's me again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I remember much. this. Yeah. <laughs> one, yeah, thing yeah. I, one thing I've noticed is like so many of the thumbnails and like, uh, like clips, like, Hell, I'm behind that camera. I took that picture. <laughs> like, 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 like most of them are like the thumbnails yeah. are like my my handiwork. You know, it's it's stuff that I shot. You know, like like that's mm-hmm. what warms my heart that I that I contribute in that little way. I guess. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah, I don't really know much of, know much about him. And then uh, my chance, like he was on PKA. You've been on PKA, and he, you don't know who he is. And I like, and I was like, like I've heard of him. We've known him for much decade. about him. Because, yeah, we we've, we've yeah, known him for and, a decade, dude. Like we, yeah. we we started out like working alongside this guy, and like in the same community, yeah. and like we've been to his house. We've met in person several times. Um, yeah. He lived at my house for a month. Like we know this guy. All yeah. right, he's very chat famous. was up me. Chat was he's, just like fucking how do you not know this and i'm like i'm sorry i'm just saying i'm a boomer <laughs> i don't know <laughs> shit don't leave me alone <laughs> it's wings parallel in terms of fame right like 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 you might name say, recognition uh, use that yeah maybe that's better right because it if wings were to stream right now and do his thing right? like a lot of times he doesn't interact with the chat because when he does that it just gives them more avenues to uh attack him and stuff like that so so if he does streams right now he gets a couple hundred viewers and that's cool that's not nothing but it's not a good indicator of his fame right the, the, his level of like, like he's like i get a couple hundred viewers on my stream and i'm nowhere near as famous as wings like he's like huge. that guy's he's yeah, been huge. seen by a billion people maybe i don't know that's a really big number it's a lot but, but it's a huge amount don't you think if you think I mean, about all the videos guy, uh, about him, this tapping the stop sign meme that was like prominent on Facebook at one point. Oh, if you talk about like people who would recognize who had who would say, yeah, I've seen that guy before or people who would say, yeah, I've heard of that guy. It's an enormous amount of people. It's it's in the tens of millions for sure. And and that's a lot of people spread like like mm-hmm. it means that in any room that you're in where there's another three or four people, one of them had will recognize his photo or know his name at least a little. I guarantee it's true. It's it yeah. just is. I, tens or hundreds of millions. I don't know. I've cause... been in like Tarkov lobby, like like playing Tarkov, and I VoIP, and I'm like, I'll be in a gunfight with some guy who doesn't re- know me. He's not recognizing my voice, and he has. I'm not streaming, so he's just like randomly in the game. I'm like, hey, do you know who Wings Redemption is? He's like, the big guy. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like if you know that, then you know Wings. If if, if, you, if when I say mm-hmm. Wings, you think the big guy. Like that's enough that you know Wings. And that's like, there's this guy. Uh, Frederick Knudsen, who has 1.1 million subs, and like he just makes this series called Down the Rabbit Hole. And it's like those like in-depth documentary things. Yeah, and that's his the videos one that I was all watching. Yeah. have insane views. And I like his number one video on his channel, Wings of Redemption, Down the Rabbit Hole, 8 million views. Over a million more than the next one up. It has almost twice as many views as the the Chris Chan video on his channel, which w- Wings is not as famous as Chris Chan in internet lore, but he's very, Dude, very famous. Eight million. So, so like Kyle's like tens of millions. There's eight right there. Yeah, that's There's what I'm saying. Right I was there. gonna I was gonna mention that as like part like I saw that the other day because I was talking to Chiz about this. Um, like you know, the, the latest stuff. I was explaining to Chiz that like it seems to me it boils down to some feminine odor here, boys. And everybody was too much of a pussy to say that. If it's anything else, again, I, I haven't heard. Like I, that was it, right? Am I wrong? I want to know. But but it seems mm-hmm. to me that we were talking about a smelly pussy. Um, and, and everybody was too much of a like lily flower to be like yeah we're talking about smelly pussy like what are you scared of say smelly pussy stinky pussy cunt what are you, what are you a baby yeah. be a baby i don't want to talk to a grand, grown man who's afraid to say a dirty word I, yeah I, I, I don't want any grown men in my life that can't say i don't want any grown women Chuck's in my I life agree. that can't say a fucking dirty word like 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 look if you it, i'm not saying you have to walk around <laughs> all day being foul mouthed i don't curse like like, like, like i agree i want to hang out with food. children <laughs> no adults at all. <laughs> Thank God, Taylor, you said children. that. I thought it was just me. Yeah. <laughs> no, that the pedo joke, right? Are, are there many adults who don't who are like really averse? I mean, like aside you from know what like, Wings warm- says when he's got to do take a piss. What do you say when you got it? Because I because I usually say pee or piss. I pee. I yeah. usually say pee or, unless I'm like being silly and I'll say piss. I might say use the bathroom. Yeah, like one of those. And Wings uh, says tt. Wings says tt. Mm-hmm. Okay, that you, you know, like like oh, little TT. piece of information. Like I'm gonna will, take a TT. Be right. He'll, he'll say, he'll, "I'll be right back. I gotta go take. I gotta go tinkle." 
Like, it, and it's just like, <laughs> what the fuck are going to go tinkle? Like, that's, <laughs> that's, something, that's something that uh, undeveloped penises do. Yeah, like, like, like <laughs> fuck? I have a man's penis. It, it, oh, that happened in the. It's so funny because the, the same thing happens in the wire. There's a scene where like the black police commissioner who who like created Amsterdam is getting his new private sector job, and the private sector big up guy is like having a dinner with him and a third party that's cooking it all up. And uh, the the big wig who's going to give him the cool job and hire him, the billionaire is like. All right, excuse me. I gotta go take a tinkle, and and they just kind of don't say anything. But when he walks away, he's just like, "You've been taking a minute. Hope you didn't have to take a dookie too." <laughs> 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 and they let and, you know they laugh at this like pussy ass like white guy who's afraid to say piss or shit like like, in, like in I mean do, dookie is at least funny. Like, <laughs> that's it's just so silly. Poo poo like, would have been tinkle. better. <laughs> yeah, <I> have, that's <laughs> what like like in the middle of a meeting, it's like I apologize. I have to go poo poo. <laughs> I think Nuki is it's like, I, I, yeah. <laughs> ladies and the gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen of the board, please hold. I need to take a dookie. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember what they had to say in, pra in Practical Jokers? The embarrassing way they had to tell somebody they had to go shit. I don't remember. I've got to take a Mondo Duke. <laughs> you gotta take a mondo <laughs> I was, is, is it is, is is this is a, probably an Australian one, but uh, a common Australian one is I've got to go take a slash. I've yeah, for poop that. or pee? For poop? No, that's yeah, I don't even know what it means. No, gonna gonna oh, take a slash. Peeing. No, yeah, I never heard that. Yeah, I don't even know what it means either. But it's just a lot of Australians say. As a child, I would sometimes say "drain the main vein" because I thought it was edgy. Uh, yeah, it yes. rhymes. Yeah. It's not a vein. But. No. Well, there's veins in there. Yeah, you're not <laughs> draining not, them, hopefully. Yeah, I'm not, hopefully yeah. I'm not peeing blood. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, uh, but yeah, he's, you know, w Wings is a, is an interesting character. Um, yeah, he is. They're really, sh he just needs the right handler and he could be a TV star. <laughs> I, I, get him, get him on I don't know why, like, 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 I used to know a couple of like, medium time tv producers the guys that would like want to do stuff with me that i would that paid okay but took all your time forever it was like hey do you want to make five thousand dollars an episode it's like wow that sounds good five thousand dollars an episode how many do you want 12 20 oh maybe 8 to 15 oh that's great that's a big chunk of money well we knocked that out in two months and then i go back to my youtube thing right oh no for the next three years you will be <laughs> it's like wait so i can <laughs> so my entire income will be that this for the next couple oh no no no, no. Okay. But for Wings, one of those guys could have produced such a cool show for him. Like, dude, if the last five years of his life, even maybe even a little bit more, like like all that gangster grandma stuff and all the drama mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. all the nonsense, like if that were, I've seen what reality TV is. Somebody the other day was watching like 90 Day Fiance and I caught some of it. That shit is garbage, nonsense, mm -hmm. bad TV. Wings is good TV. And, and, and even his staunchest haters would have to agree that if he were on like the E! Network or MTV or like TLC fuck, or something. Put him, court TV, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, he's mind viewers. <laughs> TV, the, whatever. It would be a yeah. fucking show. You'd the watch. trolls would have such a field day with him if he was on TV. Oh, I love though. It. They, people, people that hate people, who have, it's the same passion as loving them. They'd watch it just as much. Mm -hmm. Wings needs... Yeah, it, he Wings, it. here's what you need to do. And I, I, I know that like, if you want to make some money, and I know things are probably not great right now to make like a big move like this, but they are. This is the perfect time. You need to find um, someone who, to produce like a few episodes of the show to you so that you have something to send to a network because, dude, they would pay you to make a TV show for them. And it wouldn't be fucking millions of dollars, but it would be tens of thousands of dollars. You just need a pilot episode. You need someone to film a pilot episode and you will not be producing it. They are the ones who are going to tell you what to do. If you could do that, then you would make a lot of money and you'd be on TV. That's all it would take. Uh, all it would take is a good pilot episode that was framed and produced by someone who knew what funny was. But if Wings is like, all right, now film me doing this. Now film me doing that. And then it's going to be as bad as his YouTube videos. It's, there's no point in doing that. But his just life on, as it is. Get a producer is on the phone. Just go, just take a live, just take a camera and live stream. Just go over to Ukraine and walk around. Well, that's what Sean Penn is doing right now. Sean Penn is filming hey. a documentary right now in Ukraine, documenting the war. Yeah. The Ukrainian president praised his... Uh, bravery yeah. and they took over chernobyl the russians owned the churn as i read it they took over the chernobyl power plant wait is that thing active? they turned it back on some way really? yeah, right no, no but it's no, still there no. 
it's still probably pretty it's, cool it's, it's it's sort of in between like the the um border between belarus and uh kiev like oh. the main city so it's like you go you drive down to kiev but it's just like a short turn off so it's like on the way there i guess i, I haven't could update. take it but, but for no reason no that's where you're wrong russia wants to control the chernobyl neutral nuclear factory reactor to signal to nato not to interfere they own chernobyl as a threat that they'll blow this shit up well they could have done that they have news with an airstrike no yeah oh well i guess they i guess what they're saying is and you're all right that's all all right what's that article from because like i'm not blaming brooders how do you pronounce it well whoever it is is a fucking idiot because because all right first of all vladimir putin has thermonuclear like icbms and he he i'm sure he has some off the coast of fucking south america if not north america right now in a nuclear submarine so forget that but 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 the idea of like making some sort of like dirty bomb as a nuclear power is nonsense but even if he did the winds go the other fucking way the winds would sweep the waste across all of western europe and all of Mm. russia they'd be the ones most hit by it if they if they like i don't know detonated chernobyl it sounds right because the jet stream goes that way in general i i think though that last time it they went they kind of went north and bothered europe but i don't know but there, but there, but there would but, be no reason to do it it would be cheaper to just to produce a cobalt bomb and then just drop it somewhere in ukraine I mean, you yeah. didn't have to harvest chernobyl and do something you just had to bust chernobyl up and i didn't like, think you'd even want to send people there like, wouldn't it's it's still not right. good to be there, right? right. Like, it's, so you wouldn't want to no, you, you wouldn't can, send people you, there to make a threat. You can go there now. You, you, you can go there. It's just you can't spend a lot of time like close to the reactor. I I, I have no idea why he would want to hold that, but but like the idea of him using it as a dirty bomb is absurd. It doesn't add up, does it? As, no. I, as you guys mention it, you're like, yeah. you know what? He has really good options. Why would he want this cheesy option? Oh yeah, yeah. He could put a nuclear bomb anywhere he wants to put it. Why does he need to take over Chernobyl? Yeah, he's he, not playing hardcore mode for no reason. Like he's going to take the easy <laughs> way out. But in all probably, likelihood, he, he it's probably just, just took it. What what it really the, seems to me, way. it's it's a big area on the way, right between where he entered the country and where he wants to go. That's deserted. It seems like that's probably why he's there. And like you think of Chernobyl as just the plant, that radioactive area, but right, it was a gigantic city with a huge suburb and yeah. everything. Right, it's a big area of land. Probably but it also sits, sits on like the river, so it probably has like uh, it probably has bridges there that are strategically important for crossing mm-hmm. tanks. Like, Maybe I'm reading propaganda. Maybe I'm reading right. like Putin took over Chernobyl as a way to scare me, as a way to make Chernobyl. I'm sorry, Putin look bad. As a, yeah. like maybe Putin took over Chernobyl, and this is a sign. It's the most serious threat in Europe today. I'm reading. Um, it's a sign that NATO shouldn't fuck with us, that sort of thing. Maybe none of that is really true, and Chernobyl's not that relevant militarily. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I would know. say it's just. I, I would say I, it's just for bridges. Like, why else would you care? I, I, I wish someone would like. This is another one of those examples. I feel like of someone not speaking like jibber jabber to like just just get a get a headline. Like, okay, so what do you think? It, it, run me through it. What does he do with Chernobyl? That's bad. What does he do? Perfect. What's step one, two, three, and four? Yeah. And what are the results? Because like if you're the idea that they're making it, if anything, I feel like we would probably wouldn't want to strike that area if they were yeah. hiding there. It's all it, well. It, the it's first like, clue is that the term Chernobyl very clicky. Very clicky. <laughs> Use the images right. from the mini series. Yeah, HBO. Yeah. I know Mark. It'll oh, be cool. Yeah, HBO. Okay. I can tell you. I can tell you exa- exactly why. Uh, look at the look at the map. It's the only bridge north of Kiev that crosses and is the closest to the Belarusian border. So it's the the only reason they would capture it. Yeah, yeah, that I, makes I, a lot more sense. I don't know, the, anything, uh, I think, but um, the, I, I look, the river is too thick to cross to Kiev. What is a good? Um, I've been watching like ABS and, and uh, CB, uh, ABC and CBS, like just their live apps on my uh, on my Amazon. But I don't know where else to go for like. I wish I had CNN, but like I don't even know where their app is or if I can you're get it. Probably usually, if you're looking for like uh, if you're looking for like the battle clips, those usually no, 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 no. I, on, like, I social media like before like anything else. like like. Like right now, like I'm mean, not right now, obviously, but after the show, I'd like to just watch CNN live because, like, if something happens, happens. Like, there's gonna be a reporter with like a camera pointed at it, like on a balcony somewhere, and it'd be cool. I don't know. I want to watch that later. I tend to watch. Sean so this doesn't watch. fill your need, but I, I watch CNN and Fox, and I mostly watch them on YouTube. The clips. It's not oh, real okay. time like you're looking for, but that's yeah. Why. I need to find an. I wish 
There should, why is there no? There probably is CNN is live, it, and I'm just. I think CNN's live is on their website. Yeah, but I want to do it on my like it Amazon is, device. I, I bet you can find like a live YouTube. streamer who's there. I could probably use the internet browser on my Amazon device and just go there. It, it's irrelevant. I'll get it fixed. Um, I don't know. I hope this thing doesn't spill over and get any bigger than it is. It's it's hard not to talk about because it's kind of all that's been it, happening yeah. the last couple of days. It's pretty scary. You notice that we're not talking about the mask so much right now. <laughs> I just read that they're lightening up the mask mandate. That I guess, dude, have yeah. you seen Omicron numbers? Like, no, uh-uh. they're gone. Like, the, I was right. I am going to do my celebration rain dance. My thing <laughs> about Omicron, Omicron, whatever it is, spreading Unicron. across the world <laughs> and inoculating everyone and eradicating the disease in a non deadly way was true. I'm declaring war on COVID. Victory you over should, COVID. Victory. George Bush I style. Come, I like it. Think George it, Bush like, every, style. Every, exactly. every, you need, you need to go that. on Amazon and order yourself a custom plaque. That just <laughs> says, I, uh, Woody 2021, I called it. <laughs> defeater, defeater of COVID, savior of mankind. <laughs> yeah, for the next 90 days, humanity is inoculated against COVID. That's about how long it lasts if you get the virus. And uh, we, you, it should uh, be gone. Did you see the Freedom Convoy that's headed from the West Coast to D.C.? I did not. Is it a trucker mm-hmm. thing? It is a trucker thing, and they're talking about putting the fences back up around the Capitol. What 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 is with the freedom convoy? What are they what are they going for? What are they, what are they trying to work out? I thought that was freedom in what? Canada. Oh, they hate tyranny. <laughs> so tyranny. Right. Oh, like, <laughs> how are they being tyrannized? I think I've been pretty clear about this. They hate tyranny, love freedom, <laughs> <laughs> and they're <laughs> truckers. What more do you want to know? We, we we've got, you want the, names, we've got numbers. We, we have yeah, we need our blood type slush. What's wrong with you? They they, they, they hate here. tyranny. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have the best the best protesters outside of our uh the the capital in australia at the moment so they've set up this camp and it's essentially what they wanted to be a freedom convoy here and they're all just like sitting around doing basically fuck all and uh so there's just been like this going like thing where they're just freaking out so it, there's a there's a huge spate of uh pink eye because they are all just like <laughs> they just have like they have like they're, they're, they're like shitting in the trunk of their car and stuff like that. So they're like all they're all just protesting and eating ass. Yeah. Is that, is the, is, the, is, the, oh, I'm sorry. So, but the next one they're freaking out about, they're freaking about that they were getting watched from the trees. And there's like a video of this guy picking out like a, uh, it's like a breather thing for trees. They put him into trees to help them grow. And uh, he's picking out this tiny little plastic thing. And he's like, it's a secret camera and like freaking out that they're being watched. And then the, the third one, they all got sunburned because it was really hot, and now they're accusing the government of using sound-based weapons on them because they're all sunburned. <laughs> that is really, that, it is really funny using your smartphone that can track you anywhere on Earth to take a picture oh. of a piece of plastic around a tree. Like oh, they're right? tracking oh, me. Meanwhile, let's yeah. put this back in the pocket. Like, by yeah. the way, Slush Puppy is watching a video of this guy saying that he's being videotaped by a piece of plastic in a tree, but he is being videoed. Yeah, by himself, himself probably. probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I an imagine angle. somebody else did it. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I no, was no, picturing him like yeah, vlogging yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, so is that so? Pink Eye. <laughs> I remember as a kid because you mentioned Pink Eye, and it made me think. Like the thing as a kid is everybody was like, "Oh, that means you got poop particles in your eye." Yeah. Is that that's that's yeah, true, yeah. or that yeah. was a kid yeah. thing? Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. get poop that's particles gross. in your eye, it get a lot of people get it if they like travel to like I don't get you. You don't really call them third world countries anymore, but like you go to a place to like, I don't know, stay in a shitty hotel in Vietnam and you don't use your own pillowcase and it hasn't been washed correctly with like sanitized water, then it has poo particles in the water. You get yes. it from the pillow and stuff like that. Like that's usually how people get it or just have you guys know, had it before? not washing thought, their hands properly. Remember, I thought I had pink eye like, like in January, oh, yeah. I think, but it was a sty. Oh, oh they're so way gross. worse. Dude, I popped yeah. that bitch. I popped that. Oh, that fuck! There was so much pus in my yeah. like, in my eyelid. Oh my god! It was it was so painful that like my whole eye was throbbing. I couldn't sleep on that side, and like oh. I, I eventually like I popped it with a Q tip. Like I was I was like rolling the pus with the Q tip like under the skin until it just started like flowing out. It was so oh. gross. It yeah, was yeah. awful. I, 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 but like, I shit but, like it was me. one of those things where like I don't know if you ever like. Like banged your thumb and got like a blood blister that you had yep. to yeah. you had to pop with like a melt it uh, uh melt through with like a hot needle or something. But that immediate release of pressure 
is so nice. Like, like, like getting all of that pressure off that nerve, like whatever it is, it, it's just like, oh, thank mm-hmm. God. Thank God we fixed okay. the problem. Dude, pink eye is going to feel like a walk in the park compared to that. Like pink eye is just like, you can't see that well out of, I haven't had it since I was a young kid. It seems like a kid disease because you're just dirty and grimy all the time, yeah. touching your face and eyes. But like, yeah, it, your eye burns, it stings. It like gets that crusty shit when you wake oh, up yeah. in the morning and you have to pull it off your yeah. eyelashes. I could but other than that, just, just like, yeah, like, uh, yeah. I don't yes. think I don't think it's that bad, but it's hilarious that all these idiots got it because they don't know how to wash their hands or like I don't know, not pick their own assholes. Uh, it could be. Funny, yes. Have you ever thought about? Have you ever thought about the government chemtrailing poo particles over their parade? That's true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You never, you've never thought about that, have you, dumbass? Exactly. Mm. This yeah. one's feeling a little targeted, Taylor. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, what they're right. doing I is am. now they're, they're, they're going to say they're not. They're going to say they're not doing it, but they are filling these entire giant planes with feces and crop dusting literally the the freedom convoy with pink eye. <laughs> yes, that's the reason my eyes are are red. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was oh. supporting our freedom convoys by eating out an American trucker's ass. The way you do, the way Americans do. <laughs> and he's he is fun. I haven't seen anything about that guy in a while, Alex Jones. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I like the I like protesting. I don't know what they're protesting for. Is it an anti mask thing? Is that what they're I know. I think it's anti uh, lockdowns. Yeah. Or that was that was Canada. Lock, right? just no, that, the, I, I don't know anything anti, about this. Anti, everything thought, to do with COVID mandates or something like that. I, I don't know. I heard Canada was about lockdowns. I didn't even know I America was doing one. Oh, I think in no, Canada, no. Uh, most of the Canadians are vaccinated. Yeah, but like ninety percent of the truckers are vaccinated. To like cross in Canada. the border or be a trucker or something, and and they didn't like. Yeah, that. and so most of the the truckers in Canada are vaccinated. They're just against lockdowns and shit like mandates. Yeah. I didn't know America. Oh, uh, are you guys all vaccinated? Do you uh, do you go and get it? No, I got I got that natural immunity. Yeah, I uh, I got yeah I'm vaccinated and I got my booster like late last year before I went to Mexico. Maybe even this year. Yeah. Yeah, they they sort of like uh, they made it was just like everyone in Australia has to get it, but it didn't. It wasn't like get it or you'll die because like I work from home. But there was places where it's like yeah, you can't come into work. Like if you're working as a nurse or something like that, you have to have it. But it's mm-hmm. I think we had that too for nurses for a while anyway. Like I guess America, yeah, yeah. if for you them. had a government contract, the government yeah. had the ability to ask you to be vaccinated, or they thought yeah. they did. So that was enforced for a little while. And then if I know my, if I have my story right, they lost that court case and it became not enforced because okay, if you have a hospital, you basically work for the government. They, like you can't have a hospital and not take Medicare or Medicaid. So they were able to sort mm-hmm. of say you're a government contractor. And then they lost, I think. It so, seems like it's kind of now, all this stuff's kind of like fading now. Uh, yeah, but it's all, is, that, uh, is that not the feeling? Australia, in been? Australia, that is like, uh, yeah, you'll no longer... They'll no longer ask for vaccination proof for jobs and stuff like that. But I think that they've gotten to the point where like 80 or 90 percent of the population is vaccinated anyway. And they're just like, yeah, OK, it's done. Um, let's but just what's vaccinated on. anymore. Like, for example, this vaccination yeah, lasts yeah, about a year. And yeah. So that's the thing. Like when the vaccine was coming out, it was like this is 100 percent immunity and you'll never get it again. And then they're like, now you have to take a booster. And then they're like, nah, now you're going to have to get a third booster. And it's like, are we... Because it feels like we you got told that it was just like one and done, and then they're just like, eh, no, you need more. I think because it's more like the flu shot where you need an annual booster. Or yeah. Taylor seemed to just hint that it was. I, I thought it annual. was. Uh, was it like, six months? I thought it was some some a period of months. I, I hadn't heard the year yeah. figure before. I could be wrong. I don't know. I could yeah. be wrong too. I'm not very confident in that. But um, then I heard someone say like, "What is vaccinated? Vaccinated means you're not eligible for a booster." Like, ooh, well, by that definition, a lot of people are unvaccinated again. Yeah. Yeah. That would be like like pretty soon the majority again or whatever. Right. Yeah. It's just a time march, right? Yeah. So I don't know. I, I'm happy to be boosted. I, I I feel good that I went to Mexico, traveled on a flight internationally twice and didn't get sick. Like that's nice. Yep. But mm-hmm. who knows? Did you wear happened. did you wear a mask when you flew? You, uh, yeah, I actually got you have a to. good mask. So I, oh, yeah. the truth is I wear a cloth mask a lot. And sometimes I have a mask. That, yeah, I don't know. But for the flight, I was like, and for most of the Mexico trip, I had like a good M95 tight fitting mask. Yeah. 
I, I think I'd wear one if I traveled and not because even if, even if it wasn't mandated, I'm sort of like, I haven't been sick for so long because I haven't traveled and stuff like that. And I used to get sick when I traveled a lot. And now I'm like, mm. I look at it and I'm like, even once it's gone, I think I'm just going to wear one when I travel anyway, because it's like, I fucking hate getting sick on airplanes. It's kind of so, nice that masks have become culturally acceptable. Like it, yeah. if you wore a mask a few years ago, you were a serious weirdo. I, yeah. I, I read an article on Southwest Airlines. On, on on Southwest, you sit anywhere you want. I think that's how it works. So just kind of have yeah. you priority and where you, who gets mm-hmm. to choose first. This guy would wear a mask on the plane, as if there was any empty seat, it would be next to him because he was a fucking weirdo wearing a mask. And, yeah, you uh, see somebody wearing a mask, you're like, what does he have? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see the only people you see that wear like a mask normally is like Chinese people. You see them, and you're like, oh, yeah, that like it's all Asian people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian people. And you're like, oh, that's normal. Yeah, that's normal but, for Asian people to wear now, masks. But white people, mask, it was weird, and not yeah. get sick on a plane, like. I think that'll be a viable cultural option for a long time. Yeah. It's uh that's one of the places it's still required everywhere here. Or last time I yeah. flew it was like like they still require masks on planes. Yeah. I'm in Missouri so like it's uh, different yeah. but like the the flights are all the same everywhere cuz airports but like you like walking around grocery stores here like not many like n- none of the places say like wear a mask anymore. The people inside yeah. aren't wearing masks for the most part. I like, think we I think we still wear masks when every, every time we go indoors anywhere to like to like public places so if you go to the supermarket and stuff like that so mm. it's, for here uh, yeah. if it's a big store you wear a mask so like i want to say the walmart's definitely the grocery stores in my area you would wear a mask uh but like the quickie mart at the gas station a lot of people won't mask for that you know various mom and pop <laughs> yeah. stores they would that's mask. how it started here is like the gas stations were like none at all nobody cared and then like the grocery stores followed that, and for quite a while here, it's been uh, most very few. Like for it's almost the opposite here. Like like if it's a little mom and pop place that still wants people to wear masks, it'll be like, please wear a mask when you're in here. And it's like, okay, whatever, I don't care. But most places don't have a sign or anything. Where do you keep your mask? Like is uh, it in your pocket, like a uh, key, uh, or is it in your truck? I have like a pack uh, of those, like uh, what? Not the really good ones, like the. The ones the that are like one. they're 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 better than cloth, but they're they're shittier than like the good one. And I have I just a giant sleeve of those in my closet, and I just leave it there yeah. so that I don't lose them. Because I initially like when this all started, I'm like, this will be my fucking COVID mask, and then it was like, yeah. lose, it, lose it, lose it, lose it. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy a giant thing, and they're all right there, and I don't fucking touch them until I'm about to walk out the door, and I just yeah. stuff them in my that's what I do. I always uh, I have them near the front door, and then I just walk out and grab another one, or I have like. Fucking millions of them in my car now. So I have like three. Are those in my things car. gonna gonna take forever to decompose because that's the number one kind oh. of litter I see now. It's absurd. It's like they they're beating the shit out of cigarette smokers, <laughs> dude. <laughs> and, and it looks terrible. It, like a, a, yeah. a trampled mask in a gutter. Like uh, is that what the yeah. curb is called? A gutter. Yeah, it looks terrible. It's 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 one of the ugliest pieces of trash around. Yeah. You got like. You know, there's like other people's face germs in there, and then there's yeah. the other guys like whatever he it's had. Like on a, his it's foot, on the verge like, of like medical waste. It. So oh, it's definitely medical, medical waste. waste. So it's like it's yeah. like it's the next thing I see going to be a AIDS ridden syringe. Like, it, where are we going? <laughs> where are we, is there going to be a human hand after this? Like, I, I was at a stopover terrible. on my way home from Mexico at like Dulles, Texas. You know, it's Fort Worth, that real popular airport, and uh, in the um. What is the VIP section called? Like the Admirals Club or whatever. So I'm in yeah, there like and I'm I'm like ready to chill. And they have these nice chairs, like lounge chairs with TVs that swing in front of you. And I'm like, this is where I'm fucking going. And there's only one other person in there. And he he's about to sneeze and he takes off his mask. He's like, ah, choo. And he puts his mask back on. The I'm fuck? like, motherfucker, I'm not going in that room. Like, <laughs> that, that's the fucking opposite of what I want. Like, this guy is going to really like my move where I fucking fuck with a condom and then take it off and jizz in her. Why would I, you do that? Why would you even bother wearing a mask if you could right? do that? Like, what a <laughs> idiot. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Room. I understand that impulse because I've been in public wearing the mask and I'm about to sneeze. And your thought, like just like that top of mind, like reptile brain is like, get this off your face or it's going to get gross. And you're yeah. like, <laughs> then you're like, oh, no, that. wait, this is I, I don't want to do that. That's why this is here. I do that. Hold in my sneeze move, you know, 
when I have a mask on. Oh yeah. Well, Is I was told really in first bad? grade that 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 could pop your eyes out, and so I've all I was always afraid <laughs> to, to hold in a sneeze. Well, it, all right. Well, I've been doing it for quite some time. That hasn't happened yet. But is it like bad for you? Is it bad manners? I don't know. I I think it's uh, I feel like when I day. can't sneeze, if I'm in an environment where sneezing would be bad, maybe I'm surrounding by people. That's mm -hmm. the, that's my move. But I also feel like I, it wasn't supposed to. I read uh, uh I watched a video of a guy and he's like, if you feel like you're about to sneeze, take your finger and push into like that part of your nose, like right there underneath, like push in on your lip, essentially. And I, I did that, and it seems to work. Interesting. Just, yeah. Is that like a psychological thing where they're like, oh, you, when you get the hiccups, you want to put the spoon in the water and drink it upside down? Have you seen people do that? Yeah. Like yeah, hiccup yeah. cure. When like the only thing I can figure out that actually helps with the hiccups is nothing consistently, but holding your breath. That's the only oh. thing that seems to actually help. That doesn't even work for me. Sometimes I get hiccups that last for like an hour, and it's like. Do you want to know how to actually uh, fix them? This I'll is, hear this it. Is really, I, I would this love is really it. Really fun. Okay, the so hiccups is caused by the vagus nerve, which is uh, joined in three places. One's at the bottom. It's like a sphincter muscle. One's at the bottom of your stomach, and the other one's your asshole. So anal stimulation is apparently. <laughs> 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 it's not I'm not how can... you get on me, okay? <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no. okay. I feel like no, I'm being pranked. I'm in. No, no, apparently, like, apparently you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. no. Hey, don't <laughs> over, don't oversell. Don't oversell. <laughs> what do you <laughs> to cure hiccups exactly? Do you need a dildo, a finger, smooth, or just yeah. rub the outside? Yeah. Is it's this what you yeah, minds want to know? Digital, a digital rectal massage would lead to increased vagal nerve tone and potential termination of hiccups. What the fuck? It's on my asshole. Yeah. <laughs> found it. Yeah, what? it's a termination digital of intractable massage? hiccups with a digital rectal massage. So is this I, I like need more a, details like a on a digital medical, rectal like, massage. It, that's how you get big guys. Get, how many knuckles deep up the you ass? go? As many as it takes so the hiccups go away, I bet. Yeah, you we know this isn't getting rid of this hiccups. This is just should be traumatizing considered. you. This is like when yeah. a, this. I, are you sure you're not like? Did you search like what to do if a dog bites somebody and it won't let go? Because I think it's <laughs> no, no. That's just the same thing. No, the, uh, this is what you do if your dog, dog has bites. Hiccups. It is same thing. There it is. Yeah, I refuse. Oh, to this is a uh, this is an actual paper. Like this is a published. Oh my paper. gosh, this is on. Yeah, what is this website? NIH.gov. Oh, the National Library of Medicine. Why is that NIH? It's like, I have no idea. It very clearly National says Institute of Health. Okay. Yeah. I made that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it sounds wow. right, Kyle. That's what I would have guessed. A 60 year old man with acute pancreatitis developed persistent hiccups after insertion of a nas nasogastric tube. Removing it didn't cure it. Digital rectal massage was then performed, resulting in abrupt cessation of hiccups. How did they know? I mean, it, I, you know what? This is a, literally yeah, just the, scaring it out of nerve. someone. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, it's the they Vegas, went, the, yeah, Vegas nerve is removal to... of the tube didn't do it. Several different drugs didn't do it. Several man maneuvers were attempted with no success, and then they tried digital rectal massage, abrupt cessation of hiccups. Say no Damn. more. I'm in. I'm in. I'm yeah, sold. Next time I, next, I'll try this. Next, next time, time you I get the hiccups, hiccups, I'm going to finger my ass. Next time yourself. I have hiccups, I'm calling Switch. And I'm going to be like, bro, I need a handy. Need a hand. <laughs> a hand. Think. That was his <laughs> slip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Switch. Dude, that's that's a really interesting idea. To, to yeah. Who thought of that? What a unique approach. <laughs> I guess Man, what a world I just imagine the guy the running this nerve. study. Probably at a BC. Wait, how do we yeah, he's just <laughs> like I'm solving every other problem. Fuck him up the you, ass. You know, you know what would be funny? <laughs> yeah. You know what would be hilarious is if this guy has a hundred other papers like solving obesity <laughs> with digital rectal massage, <laughs> solving heart disease with digital rectal massage. Yeah. <laughs> just been fingering guys' asses yeah. for years. Yeah. He had on do one. I have the solution yeah. for you? Yeah, the pre diabetic death of anal yeah, fingering. <laughs> yeah, this is the answer to everything. I found quadriplegics. Uh, what up? <laughs> you know how to do it most. You know how when um, we had that thing with North Korea that that somehow Dennis Rodman ended up being a bit of a statesman and getting involved and maybe even helping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What celebrity? What do you think could help with the current situation? FPS Russia. All right. Well, that's <laughs> we're not leaning into that. That's just silly. <laughs> that's a good choice. <laughs> you know what, Kyle? I, I, you can't just be against Louis C.K. 
You had to be for something better. Louis C.K. Okay. Oh, Why Louis who's that guy that got called the machine by the uh, by the, oh. the Russian guys and he stand up? You get the machine over there. The B. Yeah. Right. Bert Bart Kreischer. Kreischer. It's not Bert Kreischer. Bert Kreischer? Is that right? Bert, yeah. 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 The machine. Yeah. He get that guy over know. there, just topless. I love so it. So it has to be an it has to be an American celebrity that we think could be influential to Putin. Mm. So he hangs out with Steven Skull a lot, right? Or Steven Seagal knows Putin, he hangs out in Russia that. or something? Yes, I've seen that. I've seen Steven Seagal and Vladimir Putin in the same room. Yeah, and like Steven Seagal's dressed like a, like a monk. What about Conor like McGregor? A, he's not American, but... <laughs> Conor McGregor is not Putin. Is that required? American? Oh, I thought I was imposing my own rules, I guess. Yeah, Conor McGregor's too we could, we could, uh We could see if Ovechkin <laughs> go over there and say, can you stop this? Well, and Louis C.K. is already there. That's why I brought it up. Apparently, he... Uh, oh, is he? He found a club that would take him in Kiev. They didn't have anybody. Yeah. Nobody else would show up. Uh, click Tell that link. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> click that link. Can't even Seriously? make this up. He's going to perform despite the invasion. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Healing the load with comedy. That's Louis awesome. Louis C.K. Yeah, show in Kiev has not been canceled <laughs> like Louis C.K. has. Uh, tickets remain valid for the next few days and do not require an exchange. Do you, don't you just love that, like, unbeknownst to us, Louis C.K.'s stand-up career has continued in Eastern Europe? <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, I don't speak I think English. He, I think he's been playing places here this for a says, while, like, doing clubs. I didn't know right? that. I, that, that, that. I didn't know that, and that's not as funny if it's true. But I like uh. the idea of him having to find, like, borderline um non-first world countries to like go do his bits <laughs> in where, where they maybe haven't heard about his shenanigans or, or... they haven't they, they haven't started canceling oh. people yet <laughs> yeah they, what's they with have... you guys and potatoes for every meal you know just some, <laughs> some <stupid. laughs> what is this article you linked the new york post is such a trash rag Sean Penn, 61, looked combat cool in sunglasses and a beige bomber jacket as he sat in first row at a press oh. briefing held by Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky on Thursday. I like that. That's really? He painted a fucking picture for me. I'm there, Woody. I'm there I'm there <laughs> next to Zelensky now. Touche. Okay, I take it back. It's me, Sean Penn, and Zelensky in the room now. Wait, Sean Penn I'm, painted you a picture? No, really <laughs> with that he's just saying oh, he's oh, he did? cool in sunglasses <laughs> and a beige bomber jacket. Kyle, oh my god! I'm like, all right, like I can him now. I What's... know what Sean Penn looks like. All weird and like a like what an old uh... <laughs> Yeah, what Sean did, Penn is aged. What did uh, what did Louis C.K. do to get canceled? All right, so I, Louis C.K. is one of the ones that I don't care for because Louis C.K. would agree ask you for permission to masturbate in front of you, and if you <laughs> gave permission. He would then proceed to do so. If you did not get permission, he would say, oh, shit. Well, all right. Sorry about that. But that was awkward for you. You have no idea how awkward this is for me. You can like imagine that coming out of his mouth. You know he said it. <laughs> you know he I asked somebody once and they were like, absolutely not. He's like, you think you feel awkward now? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh, you could you could have just said yes and we could have just avoided this whole awkward conversation. <laughs> yeah, I bet you, you, you feel foolish. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be cleaning up right about right. now, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, but so so that's what he would do. And uh, like it, like I've I've heard from like Sarah Silverman said something like, "Yeah, it was hilarious." Like like he asked if he could jerk off, and he did. He just <laughs> blew, all, he did. blew all over the place. It was hilarious. And at the at but, the time, like, like that was happening, like the Weinstein stuff was was happening also. Uh, and so yeah. these fucking dickhead journalists would be like, Weinstein and Louis C.K. And it's like, don't, Fuck. don't fucking act like what they did is even vaguely similar. Uh, like at least that's asked. fucked up. Wait, he yeah. asked look <laughs> i don't know how you get laid like like as a young man these days if asking for permission before the sexual act and 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 then doing whatever you're told from there like like go, going off of her cues is not okay just uh, real quick did weidman ask did he not ask i don't know <laughs> he told <laughs> <laughs> or did he weinstein? offer jobs yeah weinstein thank you Weinstein did yeah, a mixture Wein of things. There were women that said mm -hmm. that he like forcibly held them down and did things, but then there were also okay. women who said, you know, um, it would just be very inappropriate and it would always borderline on like an, a, an actual like rape, but, but but not quite there. And then some of them were like coerced into having sex with him that they didn't want mm -hmm. to have, and that's it's it, a whole other uh, group of uh, offenses. So it was everything. It ran the gamut with him. Whereas Louis C.K. again asked for permission to jerk off in front of chicks. It was his thing. 
And if they said, yeah, then like that must have been the best day ever for him. Um, <laughs> and then Aziz Ansari, of course, is the guy who got lumped in as well. <laughs> And Aziz had sex with a chick, and then the next day she decided she didn't have good sex and called that like some sort uh, of like assault rape type thing. Small correction, she blew him. Oh, that's even better. Oh, yeah, yeah she, she decided that she didn't enjoy sucking Aziz's dick the next day. And look, that that's believable, but uh, <laughs> Aziz uh, was like, <laughs> he was surprised. His take on it was like, oh no, I thought that was a good date. Like, when she made out with me and then when she went down on me, like I, I thought this was going really well. It turns out that it wasn't. It turns out that, you know, they, they didn't like it, but. Well, she, she, it turns out she didn't like it the next day. Look, yeah. I, we, it, it sounded like that she lived in like the, um, the same universe as tenant where like she, she liked it when she was doing it, but, but she completely changed her mind the next day. And then they made that some sort of like, they tried to like cancel the guy, you know? I think it fucked with his Netflix show and some other stuff. And oh. I'm, I, I'm not I'm saying sure. you're wrong. I remember him like, like that happened to him very briefly, and the whole world was like, "No, not this one, not this one." That's but but who I knows? Still doing stuff so good. Um, yeah, yeah. A few of those were nonsense. It was, it was, it was. You rough. remember uh, that? What was it? The the Emmys, or Golden Globes, where uh, Ricky Gervais was like ripping into like all the celebrities and everything. He said. Uh, our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing, sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> After hearing gasps from the crowd filled with numerous people who have worked for the producer, he added, you did it. You did it. I didn't. You did it. And it was like, <laughs> and he's never getting invited back. And I was like, yeah, that's awesome. Good for yeah, Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Ricky Gervais. Fuck you to all I these people just clutching their pearls. This has been happening. Oh. And then giving an interview of, oh, yes, we've all known since about uh, 1982. No, fuck those people. The way those awards, I, if I had any say, first of all, I don't watch the shit anyway because it's garbage TV. It's it's them. It's yes, We're going to throw a party for ourselves yeah. where we congratulate yeah. ourselves and give each other awards. <laughs> yeah, let's Do you peasants want to watch? Look what I yeah. wore. And, you know, it's just yeah. like, I hate you people so much. <laughs> but but if I were going to watch, it would be for Ricky Gervais and or Gervais, whichever it is. And uh, it I wish that there was some sort of like fucking petition or something I could sign that said I wouldn't watch unless he was hosting. I wish that it yeah. would get so big that they just couldn't have it without Ricky Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he would get up there and he would start pointing out how many cowards refused to show because he was there and start going through their offenses because those people cannot stand up to questioning. Uh, that like, would be great like, if he did that. So many, uh, I hate those people so much. And, and it, it really showed when he was up there telling the truth about like, how they had been essentially party to sexual assault for generations yep. and they all acted like it, they were shocked. Oh my, just like those guys who can't talk about a smelly pussy. You're just looking like clutching your pearls over but he, there. He like, didn't, didn't he say yeah. that? He said that shit before. Like, it's just uh, the same thing. Exactly <laughs> the same thing. That's why I bring wings back into all this. Wing, Harvey <laughs> Weinstein, same brush. <laughs> <Yeah. Wait. laughs> didn't, didn't he do that before like all that Weinstein shit came out or was it after? Wings? I remember it was after. Being... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh yeah, he's no, been on, he's been at this was, for a while. There was, there was heaps of there was heaps of like clips going know. around of people joking about Harvey Weinstein raping women, and like this was before it all came out. Oh, and yeah. heaps of people had made jokes about it in the past, and they were just all like, <laughs> "Who's Kurt oh, Cobain's he did that. ex-wife?" Hey, it's um, that's what Courtney Love. Love. Courtney Love. Yeah, she made that Love. comment. Yeah. She's like, I'm not going to yeah. say anything about anything, but uh, if Harvey Weinstein invites you to your hotel room at, after a party, say no. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that when I was looking up Ricky Gervais. That was a 2005 thing. Like, yeah. Yeah, so everybody right? knew about this. Everyone knew. And and like, and even now, you can tell how much of cowards a lot of them are because even when it was like the whole Me Too thing was going, like, how, like a lot of them seem to act like, whew, that Weinstein guy. We got him. Mission accomplished. And it's like, no, no, no. This is an endemic thing happening in Hollywood where proceed pr producers are holding roles over people's heads for sexual favors and, and coercing people and, and, you know, abusing them. Like, can I just but say even yeah, after the it was made real okay. epidemic is girls using their sexual appeal to get jobs. I wish some of these poor that producers... God, I, wish, I wish that the ugly actors of America would get together and form their own group where they're like... Steve Buscemi at the front. Yeah. And he's not a lady man. <laughs> Steve Buscemi and fucking... Uh, who's that redhead guy from all the 80s movies? Uh, Ron oh, Howard's right. brother. Ron Howard's brother. Clint Howard, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. ugliest man in America. Ugliest man in America. Clint Howard. And and uh, maybe there's there's a few more. There's got to be that um, dude from that movie you recommended earlier. Yeah, that yeah. guy's not attractive. But but no. those people were literally fucked out of their roles by prettier people who yes. were less talented, even if the role didn't necessarily acquire the prettiest person. I love when Sandra Bullock... If you Bullock read between the, the lines, this is the true story of how Taylor took Wings' job. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I took it up the ass. I deserve this gig. <laughs> he sucked, he sucked, he sucked what he yeah. wants. Thanks, dick. <laughs> so Taylor didn't take it up the ass. I don't work on my glutes for nothing. Uh -uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, Woody surprised me because he got me in the hotel room and then he presented... <laughs> <laughs> and then that Kyle was in the, in the, in the corner. Louis. He's still allowed to have guns at the time, yeah. so I'm terrified. I'm like that one hillbilly in Deliverance, just just rubbing the shotgun like. <laughs> Which way? What is asshole? Back the way you came. <laughs> Do you know how they achieved the banjo scene in Deliverance? Achieved? I, I didn't know. What do you mean achieved? Like oh, well, like playing the banjo because they don't really play it. Because retarded children can't play the banjo like an expert. Oh, that oh, scene. I, I don't I know how they did that. that, no. that okay. Oh, well, look into that little fella. Zach. Zach, can you pull up the retarded Banjo Kids picture and just point out that both of these individuals thought that he was actually playing that a banjo? <laughs> <laughs> they, I, I, they, I was going to deny it, but I did think he was playing the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what they, <laughs> deliverance. Deliverance. Deliverance Banjo Kid. Um, so what they do is they put the kid in a little jacket, I think, or something of the of the sort. And then they got like a banjo expert reaching through the fucking sleeves and playing a banjo in front of this kid's uh -huh. face. That's why he looks so retarded. Someone's playing a banjo magically in front of him. And he's like, oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that was an actual retarded person. Um, Looking back, was, that, the, did the other guy play the they thought this guy was an expert banjo player. He plays <laughs> that thing like. Like like no other. I mean, it's just like it's just well, like those, the, those don't look like those don't look like grown up hands. They kind of fit, you know. All right, I'm I mean, with got, Taylor on this. It would be funny if they were like big mitts. Like on the <laughs> <laughs> or they're, uh, they're they're black. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, what size glove do you so wear? Funny. I bet your hands are huge. Uh, usually just the the like XL, like That's the, the stretchy XL ones. Dude, I, I like them very gloves. very tight though. And they don't fit. And I, so here, I had a friend in high school. My friend, we called him Jaws. He was a, a shorter guy, not like I don't know, maybe five, six, something like that. Like not uncommonly short, but shorter than than me and my other friends. And uh, he bought size eleven and a half shoes. He didn't have a size eleven and a half foot. I think he just bought clown shoes because he liked to have like 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 he liked to. A cosplay is a bigger man. <laughs> so he wore these size eleven and a half shoes and flopped around so in them like he's wearing wow. daddy's clothes. And and some Dang. we used to tease him about that all the time. We're like, dude, what? Just buy shoes. He knew you knew. Yeah. yeah what you he, found out? You, that's like <laughs> that's what like you want finding out. You got lifts in your shoes, right? Whenever yeah. I did film a thing with Richard Ryan, I'd always wear my big boy boots. All right, I can't, I can't. I have, Richard Ryan's like an inch taller than me, easy. And if I don't wear the right shoe, I usually filmed in sneakers when I did that FPS Russia shit. I don't wear fucking combat boots, but right. he's wearing like workman boots because he's a workman. And I'm just like, oh my God, you're like two and a half inches taller than me with workman boots. <laughs> so I had to get like my crazy big boy boots, throw <laughs> an extra pair of socks, then get on my tippy toes. I'm not letting Richard Ryan fall in the <laughs> on the that. So, so we teased him uh, so relentlessly about his big clown shoes that now I'm sensitive. Like 40, not 40 years later, but 30 years later, about having done the same thing and i i sometimes like i buy large gloves i'm like what what do you just buy fucking gloves that fit your extra large hands like what is wrong with you but i'll yeah. if i'm i'm a 10 and a half 11, you, i'm a you buy bigger gloves you go, you go in the double xl gloves yeah uh <laughs> no, I, I belong in xl but i sometimes i even recently like last year i bought larges i'm, I'm not a large they're xl they, they don't fit me they hurt my yeah. pinky it Let's takes your hands to push them in. How I don't like any looseness in my gloves. Like I like it to be very tight. Like so, I feel like I'm actually like getting the same tactile response. I really mm -hmm. like my uh, Pokemon trainer gloves I wear. Um, Those are they got, you know with the wrist strap and everything. Got to catch them all. Yeah, Kyle, and, you are uh, Woody. Oh, I'm sorry, Kyle. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I think they're extra all. large, but like the largest definitely don't work. Um, I, my motorcycle gloves are extra large, but I feel like I want like extra large point five like i want to go a little bit 
bigger because like still like with my motorcycle gloves i feel like i can't i don't know they're a little bit too small just like just a little if you go up on then you feel like you're flapping around no, yeah. i went i tried not getting like, the, not getting yeah. a good purchase i went on your the, and everything. And then it's like it's like fuck this ain't even on you got that uh got those little flappy bits at the end and you're constantly pulling the glove down and fucking i know what you mean in. it's like buying a regular size condom am i right it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing's falling off. It doesn't work right. <laughs> oh, have you ever, that, that, like that Impractical Jokers where, where they're like, Murr has to go sit next to a woman and they're yep. telling him questions to ask and they're like, ask her, why are condoms always so baggy? <laughs> there and be like why are condoms so baggy they're just always falling off in the middle. and he's, just, he's sitting there just like oh this is so embarrassing and the woman's like i'm so sorry for you <laughs> I mean, a, a turning point in my life when i when i stopped buying large socks and, and like special like like found like the link or whatever like the the area of the sock store that has like the 12 Size twelve to fifteen size size. Twelve to fifteen. There we go. Those are so yeah. much better. I was in like it's the ten to better. twelve for the longest time, uh -uh. and then I went up one. And I always, I was every time, every like three days, or like every like third use of those like ten to twelve socks in my shoe, the bottom sucking under my my heel, and like it's not even staying on my foot. But the shoe thing you were talking about, Woody, that guy, my my feet grew before the rest of me. Like it, my feet finished growing by eighth grade. Like my feet got just dominated my growth. I wore size 13 when I was uh, in eighth grade. So I was 13, like 14 years old. And I was like so self-conscious about it. Like I would like sit with like my feet like further under the desk because I didn't want people to, to make fun of my feet. Because oh, like wow. you, when you're a kid, you like don't you don't get it. You know, like you, you don't yeah. anything that's different that's is awful. like I don't want to I don't want to be noticed for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. Because like when you're when head. you're not like at full size, I, I looked. I, I see pictures of myself when I was in like seventh and eighth grade. I look like an asshole with like my feet are enormous, like compared <laughs> to my not grown yet body. <laughs> like I'm like like you're like a you're a seen, not, you yeah, were like, a, like, a hobbit. Yeah. That's see, weird. I always you're, have you seen the episode hate. of you've seen like, the South Park. I, I just look like a fucking lollipop. Realizes that she's a hobbit. I have not. You haven't seen that. I, I always just had a, a massive head. So when I grew up, like my body oh, wait, didn't, no, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't grow like, I was still skinny in like high school, but I just had a giant, like, band sized head. Just yeah. like a lollipop. <laughs> oh, I, I know how that is. Head. Like, like, I've got I, a fucking huge head. I wonder like, which of you massive. has the bigger noggin. I think oh, Slush head, might have me beat. Yeah. This know, might be the new head honcho. The new head honcho. You know, this is a, this is a crown I want to pass off. You're gonna need one of those uh, one of those measuring things that goes around. Uh, Slush Puppy and I are the kids at Burger King who took two crowns Aww. and had to cinch them oh, a little tighter. Like uh, yeah. those like Christmas hats and shit like that. None of that goes <laughs> in my head. No, not not happening. Jeez, you can't get that. No. Like, I can't get that shit on my head. No. I don't look good in hats. I, I, can, I, I can't like, even like, wear like when a, I wear a, like a flex fit hat. I can't wear cowboy a flex hat. Fit hat. You need a cowboy yeah. hat. Yeah, I don't think I need a bigger Just one. Sombrero. Yeah. Do I wear it's those like, like a... fifty one fifty hats? It says eight and a half. Oh, <laughs> on the little sticker. Not really. That would be absurd. Yeah. But <laughs> I am not a hat person. No, nah, I don't like hats I look if you wear a hat all the time, people assume you're bald. Mm. Yeah, I have a theory that Jeez. people that wear hats or, or all even the time more make you go bald. I think so. I think that could be true too. A little bit of friction, because like all, all the hat guys these, that I've known. These headsets can't be great, right? Like, like always up there. Yeah. I can't remember which yeah. stream, I can't remember which streamer it was, but look like at they the, got look a, at the There was some streamer that like took his and like, like leaned it, and it was like a huge bald spot. Oh, he was like, <gasps> like he didn't oh, know it. Uh, <laughs> he didn't uh, know uh, it. Was it train wrecks or? <laughs> I can't remember who it was, but but like, his chat was like, "Yeah, you're bald." And he's like, "What the fuck are you talking about? I'm bald? Like, look at this. Look at this." He's like, "You know." Oh, uh, it's like, hobby. What do you mean under the headset? He goes. And like leans down, and it's just a streak of bald, like a skunk. And he just goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't know. Okay. Oh, that's got to be. Yeah, I think it was, uh, I think it was the sound that did that. Yeah. It's like, I don't, yeah, that's fuck. Yeah, I saw uh, Landmark switch to those uh, crazy expensive earbuds. Yeah, I've got a pair of those on the way, actually. I, I, uh, these, are my, these are my ear impressions. They look like chewed up bubble gum. Oh, so I went and got. Uh, I went and what got some. Uh, they they so take these your impressions are, and then they custom like a, mold. Yeah, 
like a silicon they put into your ear hole and then you um then you send them off and they custom my mold you earphones the same company that uh, did them for landmark sent me an email and they're like we want to make you some and so i'm going to send off these ear impressions and get a set of those but apparently they're amazing but extremely expensive but yeah they're like 1500 yeah. Right? Oh, yeah like 1200 is entry level yeah. like that's the cheapest that's crazy so i so. saw so back at shot show in like 2012 maybe i ran into some people that were making those as ear protection like active ear pro you know it's reacting to yeah. the gunshots and such like just like a tarco but you know they did the same thing they would take a mold of your ear and they and he was showing them to me and then and all the they do all sorts of colors and like they could make it all wacky if you wanted, but it was like this perfectly molded in the ear, um, active ear pro. And I, I thought it was yeah. super cool, but I think they were really expensive, like close to what you're talking about. I, I like, I have, yeah. a, I have $800 in my head, but it could have been more. And I just remember being yeah. like, yeah, if you give me some, I'll wear them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've, I've only ever seen people get like custom molded. They essentially just end up looking like this, but they're custom molded like earplugs for yeah. uh, people that work around like super loud machinery and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, but I've never, I've never seen actual molded headphones before. And so I can just try them. Yeah. I've never had, um, earbuds of any kind that don't cause like real ear pain after 10, 15 minutes. Like, like yep. every time I'm on a flight, I just bring a headset now because those I'd get off and I'd be like rubbing the inside of my ear, my thumb, like God, that fucking aches. That hurts so yeah. fucking much. It's like, uh, if you ever play football and like, like that first day of getting used to a new helmet, like it's just feel yeah. like it's crushing your skull. Like it's it just awful. I hate wearing earbuds, but something like that yeah. I, could, I could get down with, but not. For that's what, yeah, that's what I was, I was worried about because, like, I I used to wear in inner ears when I worked as a software engineer, and I'd I'd have them in my ear all day, and then I started getting um ear infections because it was just like so many, like so much time spent with them, like eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. It was obviously like I'm sweating inside there, and yeah. then I'm like, it's like it's back a lot of bacteria and stuff in there. Gross. That's so like it started, yeah, I started getting ear infections, and so I switched yeah. to headphones. But I'm hoping these are, uh, I'm hoping these are better, like more breathable, because they look like they've they've got like an open sound stage, like they're open back, so like get a bit of air and stuff. Yeah, in there, so. I notice he touches was, them a lot, you know, like like to really seat them well. Um, well, it's, it's a landmark uses the the called duo ones, so they're not the custom molded ones. They're just like the same as normal ones, but they're okay. really expensive, like drivers and like high quality sound. Okay. Um, he does. I, I don't think he uses his custom ones on stream. I was talking to him about it the other day, and he said he uh, prefers the duos because they're more open back for streaming. But he does use the other ones for other stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, but I'm, okay. I'm going to get the custom ones and try those and see what they're like. Yeah, he's the only one I've ever seen that like rock those, and um, you know, I watch him a good bit. The, but shit, yeah. that is expensive. I'd be so afraid of. Like I don't know, I, I can't step on this and break them, but like I guess you're gonna, yeah. you're gonna treat them like what they are, like like all right, these back yeah, in the fucking protect. Gonna back. be really careful. I'll probably just I, I hang my headset off my microphone arm, so like if I get up and it's on my head, it just falls and then hangs. So it's like yeah. I'll probably do the same thing. Yeah, well, I hope they work out break. well. They must be good because he uses them. Someone was like, yeah, but they pay him, and I'm like, he makes enough money that he wouldn't use a headset yeah. he didn't like. <laughs> like I, I always say that about like uh sponsorships and they're like oh they're paying you a copy real this is like i wouldn't choose to be sponsored by someone that i don't like because i wouldn't want well, to push the product and i wouldn't care about it and like i have enough money to not give a fuck so it's like why would yeah. you bother why would i waste my time yeah yeah I, i'm like oh so you think that landmark is using a headset that that he doesn't like and doesn't work very well for the yeah, amount of guys like paying him. obviously a millionaire <laughs> like, he has yeah, way more money than me and he's, he's killing it i earn more than enough to not care about that so yeah it's absurd uh he likes that headset yeah. and if he could if there was something better that would give him any edge over it he'd use that instead but he yeah doesn't. that's what like uh these ones like the i've been trying to get sponsored by bay dynamic for ages they just they're not interested in it and like I, i've been set so many gaming headsets and i use them i'm like these are shit and i get offers for like multiple thousands of dollars a month just to wear a headset and i just i'm like no nah, i don't they're just so shit i couldn't i can't in good conscience recommend these to people and be like these are better than my biodynamics but, i don't i don't have any experience with like multiple headsets i've never sat there and worn more than one at a time i just pick them and buy them yeah. but yeah i can hear so well in tarkov with these like like, like better than my than anybody else i play with i'll be i'll be like yeah. stop moving what so, what have you got um the ax uh the a50 x's or whatever that oh yeah uh, they're, re they're really good yeah 
Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm always the one that hears people in Tarkov. I'm, I'm the ultimate sound whore, which is probably yeah. because I don't have any way of like, um, I know a lot of people put like, a, I can't think of what you call it, but like a limiter so they don't blow out their ears. Uh, an equalizer. Uh, yeah, ever. compression. Yeah. yeah, I don't have it. It just gets loud for me. Like, like, yeah. like it's so fucking if you, loud. If you have a high quality headphone though, that doesn't matter because what high quality headphones, like if you have like shit drivers, when it gets loud, it becomes really uncomfortable because it's just like synthetic fucked noise that's like yeah. mixing together but if you have a high quality drivers when it gets loud it's not as uncomfortable so you can crank it up quite loud and it before it becomes a garbled mess so i play really loud if i'm playing any kind of shooter where hearing steps matters um yeah 100 yeah. percent. otherwise i don't you know i don't really mind so much the only game i've seen recently that i'm i'm really excited for um <clears throat> um what's that game the uh the, the warhammer 40k uh game that's coming out the the something uh, tied uh t- total war oh uh yeah. vermintide Ver- not vermintide yeah. but it's the it's the sequel to vermintide the 40k yeah. version the dark anyway. tide dark tide that's what it is yeah. i'm excited for that but then i saw some people some some gameplay from elden ring yesterday and oh, i had never just even... downloaded that today what that looks so fuck? cool i was just looking at yeah. that earlier today i wrote it down to talk about it, it looks like skyrim it looks sick i want to it looks better than skyrim that and that's do you guys ever play dark Souls before popular and just got second on steam like all time yeah, I, have you, I have you guys know. ever played Dark Souls before? No, I'm a, but I'm aware it's a Dark Souls like game. Yeah, yeah, and the combat it's, is very similar. Yeah, it's it looks amazing. I haven't played it yet. I uh, I got my press copy last night and didn't even realize I could play it. And so I I got on this morning and started that up, and it's it's really fucking good. I watched like, the review. The reviews are ten out of ten. Exactly. I was gonna say the reviews all say ten out of ten. And I watched a review uh, yet today, I think, and this guy's like. Um, look, 10 out of 10 doesn't do it. Okay. Yeah, I'll watch that one. Yeah. This is just the best game that's ever been made. He's like, <laughs> I'm only going to show you a fraction of what there is to see, and it's more than I have time to show you. He's like, the worlds are so big. The combat is so incredible. Like, like just every fast of the game. He, he was like, and he would stop. He's like, they didn't have to do this. They didn't have to, but they did. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, look right here. Look, randomly, a cave. Guess what? It's an enormous cave. It goes on for miles. It's hidden back here behind a like a shed in the mountains. There's no reason to even be here. You know, it's just like he was really yeah. like sucking this game's dick, and it didn't seem like he needed to like suck it that hard. Yeah. Like he George R. R. Martin is involved in it. Did you see that? that yeah, uh, but that the, doesn't yeah. mean the fantasy it, world. That all that means to he's me a is a shit rider and a sellout. Up. Yeah, or it, okay, so, so yeah, it, it means it means there. he needed a paycheck to be on there as a consultant. Is Fuck, what that means. Guy. Fuck that guy. I hope bad things happen to him. Hmm. So, I mean, Lost Ark is the game I'm talking about. It's incredibly popular. It's the second most popular on Steam ever, and it beat um, Counter Strike, I think. What's it called? Oh, yeah, that, that Lost, Ark Lost Ark is Ark? a lot of people are addicted to that at the moment. So, I haven't played it yet, but uh, apparently, it's quite good. It beat out Dota 2. It beat out Counter Strike Global Offensive. I'm trying to figure out what got first, the most popular game ever. It, it's like way ahead of even second place. Uh, doesn't seem to be in this article. What kind of game is it? It is a RPG. Oh, okay. Interesting. An action RPG. Wait, I'm, I'm watching my uh, friend just here, and he's uh, he's really into the Dark Souls games, and right. he was he was really pumped to play Elden Ring. He's like, I've, I. Can get it on PC, but it releases ten hours later. So he's like, "I'm gonna get it on console instead, so I can start playing it at midnight." And uh, he he's been live for nineteen and a half hours. He's been playing it for straight. Jeez. Is he gonna lose his progress or stay on console? Uh, I think he's gonna finish it on console and then most likely finish it on PC. <laughs> I, okay. uh, when's the release date for us peasants? Uh, it's already out. It's out now. I... It, it was uh, ten a.m. this morning for me, which is. Uh, four hours ago, so. I might look into it because it looks pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Um, I, I yeah, actually I uh I fired it up this morning just before uh, uh joining the podcast because I I misread the time <laughs> and I got up really early and so I was like oh I'll just fire it up this morning while I'm waiting for you guys so and I've enjoyed yeah. it. It's the start yeah. of it. It, really it looks good. like for us the midnight releases tonight. I might oh, get it. I might get it tonight. And check it out, dude. It looks so. It good. looks awesome. It 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 it, it has. It looks a lot like Skyrim. I need to look into it a little bit more. Is it RPG esque? Like, is my like magic gonna keep getting better? And am I gonna continue? Yeah, yeah, to be un- yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna like find that. better and better. Like, yeah, but there's also like uh, there's the the combat's more skill based than uh, I saw that. And I like that. It, it, yeah, oh, it's no. it's a lot more. It's it's more about like like 
Dark Souls, you can you can finish the game at level one with your fists if you're skillful enough and you can dodge enough attacks to be able to do one damage to this end boss if you're really good at the game. But like, it does have the RPG elements where you level up and stuff like that. But it's also about becoming like proficient at the combat and learning the weapon style that you choose and stuff like that. So it's it's half and half, like in yeah. between a like a the good review, fighting game. The review that I watched talked about how they made the combat much more complex and varied by making it more rewarding to do moves that weren't as popular. I guess like heavy attacks weren't popular, but now heavy attacks like break an enemy's stance so that you can then do like some sort of execution move or something. So now that's going to be in your toolbox where it normally wasn't. The way you described it is before you could just use like the quick attack over and over, like, like slash, 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 and just kind of go through most of the enemies. And now it was going to be a lot more complex and complicated and fun. Yep. And the horse oh, yeah, combat looks so slick. I saw yeah, horse yeah, combat. He's on a horse with like a big sickle or something, and he's being chased by three bears, each of which are the size of an elephant. And and when they chase him, they like hit trees that fall out of the ground. Like the, I saw a dragon blow blow fire at him, and all the trees burnt and turned to crisp and fell over. It was it was it's a it's a really slick looking game. I had no idea. Yeah, enemies are all enemies like massive. Look, look way tougher. Like I'm watching yeah. just a stream of Ludwig playing it on YouTube just to see it was the main one suggested. And I just happened to pull it up while he was fighting some giant like Templar knight. And like yeah. I've never seen a bad guy in Skyrim do like side dodge rolls and stuff like that and like yeah. try and get behind you. And it, it, it fucking killed him. It smoked him. And he was not prepared for what <laughs> yeah. that guy was bringing there's, to uh, the table. <laughs> there's enemies in there that are like uh, they're meant to be like spirits. And they're, they're, they're essentially the player character, but then they have like different kinds of armor and different builds. And when you summon those, like I've, I've had times where I was playing Dark Souls 3 where I've summoned one. And I'm not the best, like, I, I don't know that much about the game. I'd be fighting one and I thought it was actually PvP because I'm like, this guy's <laughs> fucking my shit up. And then everyone's like, that's AI, man. You're just shit. And I'm like, <laughs> like and they're like, they're like trolling me and like rolling away from all my attacks and stuff. And I'm just getting <laughs> fucked by them. <laughs> This is fucking so, so that's an aspect of the game I'm curious about because I've, I I, only know like tangentially that, that you can do that sort of thing because I know that like Wings would play that Dark Souls game and he'd yeah. sort of like throw out an open challenge that I guess you can like raid his yeah. single player game so, and you can yeah. portray like a, one of his bosses or bad guys or something. And yeah. so like well, if you have it so it's like on you can have you can summon people to either help you or to, to uh, people can invade your world. So They'll just like spawn inside your world as like a essentially a shade like ghost. Like they'll be glowing like red, and then you just fight this dude. It's like a similar level to you, and in that location, mm -hmm. you just be fighting like monsters, and then someone will invade your world. This is how it worked in Dark Souls Three, and okay. then you'll just have this bloke running around who you've got to deal with, or you can summon your mate and he can come and do the same thing, but help you kill bosses and stuff like that. So I wonder that's, if that's, it, do, you, do you know if that's an aspect of this uh, Elden Ring I game? I believe it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's I really it cool. I think they may, may be an issue time. with the PC multiplayer at the moment because they discovered like a remote code execution bug and they're trying to fix it on the service. So the multiplayer service is not a PC yet. So it, it, it's also a beautiful game. Like just watching like yeah. him ride around mm -hmm. on that horse and like, the sky is some sort of like fucking acid trip to begin with. Like, yeah. like I don't even know what that sky is. I, I don't know what the background of this game is. Like, like, like what what universe yeah. this is, or time period, or what kind of magical nonsense is happening. But it looks uh, it's fucking always fun. the the story in them is always sort of like vague, and you have to you have to sort of delve deep to understand what's going on. But they they are super super beautiful like the the level design and stuff is fucking amazing <clears throat> yeah i'm probably gonna this play. looks this looks hard as shit ludwig has died three times since we started talking about <clears throat> i this. bet he's had the difficulty on maximum though no there's he no there's does. no max difficulty uh, don't it's just you just wait, get fucked wait there's just there's there's no <laughs> there's, difficulty no. There, well there wasn't in the previous ones and i'm pretty sure there's not in this one it's just you come get on fucked. this game if, taylor, taylor ask him if there's difficulty is there difficulty? There's gotta be a difficulty <laughs> setting. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. I don't because think there is. This looks, never was, this is too, I've this never is too heard of a me. game that didn't have one. How? No, no. If you, well, the idea is in the other ones that if you died, you just have to get better. And that was that was the the Dark of Souls the game. games before don't have difficulty yeah. settings either. No, no. And and they were just the idea was if you can't beat the boss, you just need to learn how to dodge its moves better and block it and fight it. 
This and is a was, concept that I'm yeah, unfamiliar with because I don't know. Yeah. I play games like Call of Duty, Halo, Doom. I guess you know, like like yeah. like like all the RPGs that you can think of that are like AAA. Yeah. But like I've never seen an yeah. Elden Ring. No matter how hard the players try, yeah. it's holy shit. It doesn't have a difficulty setting. And Ludwig's yeah. getting shit on right now three times in a row. But if, yeah, he's, he, he, he may not. He may not be leveled up. He may not be that's leveled up thing. enough. Yeah. And, okay, that's uh, fair. And but it's like as I said, if you're good enough, you can finish the game on level one. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah. Previous yeah, but I, but I, I, I was, I don't know what I was thinking. Of course, is that an fucking... achievable level of good enough? Like, do do people do that? Yeah, there's there's runs where like uh, people do speed runs of all three Dark Souls games without getting hit once at level one, and so they'll okay. like just run the so... entire thing without getting hit. Okay, Unless that makes a lot more it's sense. Frustrating. I, I forgot for a second that it's going to be this big sandbox open world thing where, like, of course you could. It's just like in Fallout New Vegas. It was like turn left and go to like Prim or something like that. This happy little town where you could get gear and free levels or make yep. a right and head toward the Death Claws. But I always went toward the Death Claws. Like, like can we make it through past the Death Claws at level four? Let's see it. Let's find out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was like trying uh, to would... like kill that giant in Skyrim near Whiterun. Yeah. Way yeah. before you were supposed to. Yeah. You shoot him. Well, once I would, I would assume arrow. that like if you, if you are going into it, the Dark Souls games are notoriously difficult. I like hard game. games, I, I, and I, I yeah. um, I uh, I'll get into it. Like like, the dodging mechanics is is just going to be muscle memory. But I look forward to like yep. a challenge. Um, yep. I uh, I, I'm really looking forward to that that uh, Dark Tide game though. That's going to be so much fun because yeah. yeah, I like games where I can co op with like two to three friends or something like yeah, that. Awesome. And, yeah, yeah. You can and, you can co op this. You can co op Elden Ring. It's really? up to four players. Yeah, four players. Apparently. Oh. Could, now cool. now. Does it is it like one of those things where like I could play with Taylor for an hour and then he could go to bed and I could continue playing and it wouldn't and yep. then he could yeah jump I back think he just I think he just drops into your world and then just joins you on your adventures and his character is That'd just his character. I'm downloading the night if you want to play. Um, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna play. Um, and we could get. Uh, I, I'm sure I could fill a lobby up with uh with other people who will buy it. I'm gonna tell everybody to buy it right now. Yeah, yeah you need uh, on, specific items. Or I guess we have to wait till midnight, right? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, you have to you have to find these things. Uh, they're called like fingers, and then you can summon people into your world. But in the previous games, you could get fucking heaps of them, and they were pretty easy to find. So it was like I, I finished the whole of Dark Souls three co-oping with my brother using these summon items to summon him. It was like this chalk thing, and you like draw in the ground, and then I just summoned my brother into my co-op game. And then it had a bit of a weird thing where it's like if he if I did the boss in my world and he helped me then he wouldn't have completed the boss in his game. So we'd like complete one area with my character and then he'd summon me into his world and then we'd go back and do the the boss again in his world. And then just like, I mean, it was a good, it was it's such a good game that I didn't mind doing all the bosses twice. So no, no, no. Yeah, I, I feel that for sure. Um, yeah. No, I'm looking for a new game and like everything else right now is like, man, that everything I've seen about Halo makes me so sick to my stomach. <laughs> it's like, it just look, does it look bad? Um, I, I'm, Correct me if I'm wrong, like, like, because I just like go through like memes and like word of mouth, but like, I think they introduced like a girl character with like pink hair who's like, like, I'm beats up, sick. who like beats up Master <laughs> Chief and like, like jokes about that he's he's shorter than he should be, and then she like saves the day or something like that. It's pretty oh, accurate. Oh, it only only have like a pink hair. Like, like, like social justice, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm completely I mean, wrong. Take and I away just, the whole girl part and just be like, they hire anyone to come in and make fun of master chief and beat him up and actually say it's like no no you can't do that i don't i don't know what actually happens I, again i'm going off of memes and shit i read mm, on reddit okay. but uh i haven't played halo since halo 3 so it doesn't matter anyway same with gears of war i don't understand how like like let's go, go make a new thing if once you complete the trilogy like go do another creative thing yeah and they just tried ride on their previous achievements. Yeah, those just, things were like, self-contained. Yeah. Like there was no yeah, more. It was story. done. It was it, done. Yeah, yeah. It was it, both times. Um, I, I love the oh, Gears trilogy. Oh. Did you hear that yeah. um, Call of Duty is not coming out this year? Bullshit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the first year in like forever that they're skipping a year, yeah. so there won't be a new one until twenty twenty three. Yeah, after. sales have been yeah. dropping, and people think it's getting worse. And I want to say, in the previous year, they like didn't do single player because they didn't have time for it. Maybe there was a studio change. There was a problem. Like, like multiple studios were. They've been colla- having like oh. two to three studios collabing, and that just seems like a 
that that's a clear sign that maybe modern game development can't be done every single fucking year like that by by any one studio. So maybe Zach giving says they're not skipping this year; they're skipping next year. Maybe I was confused. That's but... even better. I like that even more. Do we know? So so I envision a scenario where they're like, all right, um, Raven, you make it this year, but Treyarch, you got two years. Get started. Mm. Make me a masterpiece. Like, like, Zombies like, better be incredible. Happens. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get burned it It's not going to be. This is how software works. If you give a software development team 24 months to build something, they will build it in the last two. It <laughs> <laughs> always happens. Don't tell our secret. <laughs> this is how I used to get paid to do nothing. <laughs> well, how did you think I became a streamer? I used to just say I'm working from home every day and then just finish it on the last day. <laughs> <laughs> it's I not mean, gonna make a better game to give them to you. Why to not? Them. They're gonna spend a year and a half talking about what they should make and then some time fucking around and then they'll quick put it together. <laughs> you're probably right yeah well hopefully That's they don't do that um because like like you said like i think they failed to make the last couple of cods like on time and with all the features that they initially wanted um mm -hmm. i haven't really enjoyed a cod since what was blackout or whatever when we had uh i think it was black ops 4 maybe it's the one that had the first battle royale i thought that battle royale was sick um they, they, i felt like there was a cod you kind of liked for a little while the multiplayer i played it a bunch Oh, is that the one with those stupid overpowered shotgun that they had yeah, or something like yeah. that? I liked I, I liked they playing like balanced the guns, but it seemed like the yeah, I, I played with that a good amount. That's how I got back into streaming. Yeah, yeah. I think that like, but you know, I was playing that kind of as a like ironically, right? So because we would just camp rooms and like be assholes. Yeah. Like like we didn't it's really want to like play that. the game, play the game. We, we we mostly just like we mostly camped rooms. Like like it, it went back to shit we would do back in Call of Duty 4 when we were super bored and we after years of playing that game, we'd be like, all right, how about this? What if what if a team death death match began? You couldn't find the other team. <laughs> <laughs> like so so we'd start a TDM up and like five of us would jump in some glitch spot or something, and one of us would like get a single kill and then he'd run back and jump into it and we'd hide. We'd hide for the whole yeah. fucking game. And it was just <laughs> to be obnoxious, like like, you know. There's a YouTube Wait, channel that, that's that was like the whole battlefield. That. That's really? like all the battlefield was like that. When battlefield came out, it was like, what can we do to be annoying? And it was just like, oh, we found the most annoying vehicle. Let's all just jump in hovercrafts and just be fuckheads. And then that was it. It was mm. that was the game. It was already within like two games. We we're just memeing, and it was just all of us <laughs> running cunts over in a fucking hovercraft. That, that was such a shit game. <laughs> I remember the YouTube channel. He used to do one v ones. There was a one v one mode in uh, Call of Duty, and he would have the most clever hiding spots. And your name popped up above you, but he, he it's cage match access. And uh, yeah, I, it was pretty neat. Like he'd find a spot to to lay down, and you wouldn't think of it, right? Like it, it'd be it wasn't just laying down in the tall grass. It was like glitching into a rock or something. Yeah. And it was a fun oh, we, we um yeah I I played a lot of cage match back in the day it was one of my favorite things um we would play game battles one v ones and two v twos in team death match <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine how frustrating it is to play two v two team death match hardcore on Call of Duty five on like a map like Celo or something like one of those gigantic maps that's meant to have tanks on it me and <laughs> me and Socrates would like go get one or two kills and that that's one of those maps that's like almost tarkov size like you can there's a wheat yeah. field over there yeah way over there yeah let's go get yeah. in it <laughs> it's like how are they gonna find you just sniping mm. super <laughs> annoying super frustrating yeah. I'll, I'll, that's like one of my favorite things doing tarkov though just find like uh, the most obnoxious spot ever like sitting on top of like a cabinet laying down and someone comes up and, and then you start voiping at them. You're just like, Hey, fuckhead. Oh, Hey, fuckhead. They're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Last time that's, I played, I was just, right. I was just running too much gear on factory. That was kind of like the fun that I was having. Then it was just, if you run in there with an Alton and a fucking slick on, like you fuck off. Do you know how to get on top of the file cabinets in the office? Yeah. You just hop up. I didn't know there was a trick to it. I thought you just hop up there. No, you have oh, to I, open the drawer, and then before it closes all the way, hop on the drawer, then hop on the top of the file cabinet. Oh, back in the left corner. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, as you walk into yeah. your left. Yeah. And uh, on that spot, well, okay, here's what happens. 
you kill the first guy, you've got a nice position of advantage. You're shooting down at his head. He's not even expecting you to be there. Now you have a body. Now everyone else that walks in is looking at the loot on the ground, and you're standing on the file cabinet, a spot no one gets to. Yep. I have had bodies piled up, you know, scabs and players like six high. Like, like the door. It, <laughs> it's like waist deep of dead bodies, and they open the door like, ah, and they kill the next guy. It's, yeah. The, uh, I, I feel like, so, honestly, Tarkov's too easy. I, I think it's way too easy to play. Uh, I see people complain, and, and like I don't get it. I don't. I, that game is so. Don't get me wrong. I run into people who look, like push my fucking shit in. Like there are people that are yeah. so much better than me that I, I know but enough the average, about the game. The I know, they're, I know they're not cheating, but I think somebody else might be like, "Oh, you just got cheated." I'm like, "No, he's just really fucking good." Like, like did you see a yeah. spray? Like he he pre fired me the whole way. He just destroyed me. Like, but that doesn't happen most of the time. Most of the time, I just fucking win and make money. Like, like yeah. Like my stats aren't. I don't, like good, I don't, I don't, but, I don't even like, play like uh, I don't even play properly most of the time, and I usually have like good fifty percent survival rate and fucking millions in cash. Like yeah, like, 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 which is not not the best. Like I, I don't have like I could have like eighty five percent, but I don't play seriously. Like last night we were just running around in uh, outings of forts trying to knife people with the cultist knives. That's we've we've done that as we well. Play. It's really funny. Yeah. What I wanted to achieve was to stab somebody with a cultist knife. And then to hold the, the the antidote ransom, right? To like be like, I have the antidote. Oh, I'll gi- I'll pull it out of my gamma if you give me X, Y, and Z. Like I wanted to have that. Now, obviously, you could just kill them and take anything you wanted, but it's more fun to do it that way and kind of yeah. go through the negotiation. Um, but then I've beaten a lot of people to death with this wipe too. I got that M2 tactical sword and just bonk them on the head. Yeah, once They're... you have max strength, you can one hit people as well. It's funny, yes. Yep. <laughs> it's uh no, it's fun to do that. But I'm kind of I'm just burnt out on that. So I'm definitely looking for a new game. And this Elden yeah. Ring thing might be it. I see a couple people are down to play tonight. Um, so, so yeah, I'm going to jump right into that thing after dinner tonight. And like, huh. I'll be interested in what you think of it. Elden yeah. Ring you're talking about? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'll turn Dude, the stream I'm, I'm on like, in the uh, Discord. If anybody I'm wants so, to watch. I'm so bummed out that it comes out at midnight. I won't have any time to play tonight. I just want to fucking just Why not? grind until like There's 8 o'clock. There's plenty of time left tonight. Yeah, what do you got to do tomorrow? Time. <laughs> I have to do shit. Yes, 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 <laughs> like, 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 you got, I got, I got, I got morning meetings. I got shit. I got to do. Well, I mean, what happens if you don't make your meeting tomorrow morning? Probably nothing, people right? Won't, people won't be pleased about it. Oh, did they God. know about Elden Ring? <laughs> <laughs> they they about Elden Ring. <laughs> I'm very sick with Elden Ring flu. <laughs> I'll be out so, uh, until tomorrow. Uh, the best call in sick. You call up and you say, I've got something wrong with my eyes. And they go, What's wrong with your eyes? And you go, I just can't see myself coming into work today. And they just hang up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. And the guy's like, You know what? I like that ballsiness. You're promoting. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and they're like, Here's Fuck my... you. And he's like, Oh, you overstepped. You're fired. <laughs> yeah. Here's the. I almost uh, uh, got fired uh, once, like during the end of my job, because uh, the I called in sick, and the woman called me back, and uh, this this was my uh, substitute manager at the time, and she, she I was I was like, yeah, I'm I'm taking the day off sick, and then she was like, oh, what's wrong with you? And I just like none of your fucking business, and then just hung up on her. <laughs> <laughs> they, had a, they had a real problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the move. Here's the move. If you want to call in sick, you tell them you have an upset stomach because they don't want to hear any more about it. And you're not expected to be a little upset stomach tomorrow. It It's mm-hmm. the move. Also, yeah. migraine works. You can't work with a migraine. You can't even see. You can't read. And you're not supposed to have like a slight migraine the next day. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, you just can't. You just. I mean, maybe well, something wrong with your respect. eyes is the best. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? I'm eyes. I can't do literally anything you need of me because I can't see. Yeah, can't or see I can just. I lost. <laughs> I'm out of contacts and I lost my glasses. I'll be out yeah. for the next three to five weeks waiting on shipping. <laughs> <laughs> because Canada's uh, they're coming from Canada and they uh they can't right. get through the, the freedom train. <laughs> three to five weeks, that's a long time. Well, this game is hard. It's yeah. tough. I mean it's tough time you're going through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't change the difficulty level and I have to take it. I don't think I understand them. I, I well, hope um, that, that meetings something aside, they add when they release the game. Meetings aside, I'll be on tomorrow evening as well. Like uh if you want to play? I, I don't think I have anything going on tomorrow night, and so I will definitely be on playing. This looks like a blast. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, I love that it's co-op. I didn't know that. This could be very addictive for me. Uh, up to up to four, you said, right, Slush? 
I yeah. think so. But uh, with, with the P, PC thing, as uh, as I said before, I don't know if the multiplayer servers are up for PC yet yeah, because they had like a security issue with it. <laughs> so oh. it may, yeah, may not be up for, but it'll be up for console. I believe it's up for console now. Okay. No, is this a huge a game to download? Is it like a like one of the like, I think like it was cod sized games? Four, I think it's forty gig. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, at all. so it's like one map in Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you remember that? Or like, not even remember? Like that's still going on. Like when we tried to play Call of Duty, or at least when I would try and play it, because I would mess around and yeah. do like uh, forty eight. The one where like you're, you're 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 like you're a box or a tire, and you run, prop game or something like that. Yeah, and I was messing around with that. I swear to God, I had half a terabyte on my computer, like 550, 560 gigs, all Call of Duty. And it's like, oh, yeah, what the fuck? What are they, are they like? What is the opposite of compressing a file? Like just, like, <laughs> what, like, exploding it? <laughs> like, what <are> they doing? <laughs> it doesn't make any like, sense. So I, I've never heard of tech, at, like anyone to ask, how can you make this file take more space? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we could actually <laughs> write it out on paper, I guess. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, because like you like you download that, and it's like it's a new map pack, and you expect him to be like worthy of that size, and it's like the size of Crossfire from COD Four, yeah. just a basic uh, map, except you can't even glitch that- out. I think the reason that they're so big, those games, is because they include like every texture. So they'll have like the 160p textures for cunts that are playing on a toaster, and then like <laughs> the 4K textures for people that have like a dope gaming PC. And they just put all of them in when you could just like download them after. Like, I think just Doom, when you're Doom. downloading Doom, it like gives you some sort of option about like shaders yeah. or something like that. Like, like I know a lot of games it are does. good about that. Yeah, uh, they should do that. And but COD, COD is a catastrophe. It, you're right. It's it's, and sometimes I'll like just want to play zombies like tonight. I don't want this even on my hard drive. It's, uh, it's yeah. frustrating. Yeah. And when they, they to take... update it, they might make a small update, but they just package the whole thing and give you most of the game again, rather than just keeping <laughs> yeah. you know, Tarkov will like fix solar panels, and it's a 95 yeah. gig download, and you're like, what the fuck? Well, I haven't given you everything you had yeah. already again. You gotta worry if they can code. It's like, a, do, do you understand Delta Change, or are you just fucking retarded? Like, where's this game going if you don't even understand that? Like, the most basic fucking principle of, like, an update. So... <laughs> Look at you over my head, I, but I, I'll take your word for it. He's yeah. fucking. It's funny. Delta Delta like, you understand Delta no. Change? Are you a fucking moron? And no, but it's like, but it's like, maybe it just <laughs> the other <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, well, they have to do is like look at the old file and then go, "What's changed?" Just ship them what's changed, not the whole new fucking file. It's like, yeah. It or if there's sense. like thirty files and you updated one, how many yeah. do you need to send? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're apparently. like, oh, yeah, send them yeah. all. <laughs> the entire thing. Just, just reiterating our entire friendship in this text message. I'd like to get. Out of it. <laughs> <laughs> now we're caught up again. <laughs> That's it. <sighs> so, what kind of coding did you do, Slash? I uh, did lots of um, data analytics. So it was like oh. big data extraction, and then That's uh, incredibly lucrative. Uh yeah, depends because. Where I live is a really small town. It could be more lucrative if I moved, but I didn't want to move because I like living here. Everybody works online now. Well, they didn't when I started, though. Like, yeah, it was only sort of just like coming about that Australia's pretty behind on that kind of shit. I think that if like uh, streaming comes to an end, that I will probably go back to doing that as a contractor. I feel like you can find an American company that pays you like three hundred grand a year for that. I've already got like uh, I've already I've already got people that I've met that are like if you stop streaming we'll hire you and stuff like that so that's, a, yeah, that's the kind of thing that I probably look into but might not be as fun as video games might not yeah, video games still fun I don't yeah. know yeah at this stage I'm just sort of I'm just like yeah let's just see where this let's just ride this wave see what happens I, yeah. yeah I mean you're I'm, a I'm world champion oh yeah exactly Two-time world champion? <laughs> three time world champion nah, just, just one <laughs> just one all right yeah. Do you have any world uh, records, Taylor? <coughs> any championships? Do I have any? Yeah, do you have any championships or trophies? Oh, like hockey stuff from when I was younger. Yeah, I have a, a box of those things downstairs. First place? But... Yeah. Any MVPs? Yeah, any MVPs? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, had a turn... I, I have an MVP. I think I have one. I got an, a, a most valuable player at as the goalie in a tournament. It was either in Chicago or Detroit when I was like 15 How many or 16. Saves? I don't know, but I know that like I really, th- I really bit... thought you'd be like eighteen. 
No, it, was, it, would, be, it would be more than that. Shout out. I, I got it. Why did you the get same MVP way. for 18 shots on goal? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, if I got 18 shots on goal as a goalie, you bet I'm getting fucking MVP. Well, I bet I you, <laughs> yeah, right? 18 shots against me. But yeah, it was one of those times where like my team was not like the players were not up to snuff of the level we were playing. And so we were one of the worst teams there and so i was just getting fucking shelled and it was one of those things like our team lost most of the games but i kept a pretty good save percentage the whole thing so at the end they did like a like they kept track of like the total number of shots total number of goals allowed and they were like all right well we're this guy's on a bad team but like you guys wouldn't have won any if he wasn't here and so they gave me a little shitty she trophy you know it's a party or anything no, I don't think so. I think uh, no, no, we didn't because hey, right, right after that, that we had to uh, we had to drive back to St. Louis. So I didn't do I didn't get to have a pizza. Did your party. dad throw you a participation trophy out the window? <laughs> that was an MVP <laughs> trophy. <God damn> it. <laughs> for, yeah, for I was the most valuable player on my team <laughs> for all of those losses. <laughs> Perhaps the most is, valuable player on any team. Yeah. It was. It was. You deserve like, a pizza. Party. If, you, if you've never played goalie in any sport, it is fucking Suck. beyond frustrating to have your team in front of you know that like they're the worst team and it's like the middle of the, the second period and i see like dalton or someone not back checking because he knows we're gonna lose anyway and it's like dude like another three on O, oh? the fuck <laughs> like at least help like we get like after the game, like I noticed like a little some sweat and I'm like about to have I need to like almost go to the hospital. <laughs> like I'm, I'm so yeah. fucking dehydrated. Yeah. Oh, that was that was brutal. I've never My brother seen used fun, to play, it, it, uh, it's a really good feeling yeah. to be like I'm in control. Cause that that's why I liked playing goalie is I liked being in control of the flow of the game. Like even if my team was sucking ass, like I had the power, just me. To potentially win it that doesn't usually yeah. happen because if you're getting dominated they're gonna make cross ice passes and you're just not fast enough as a human to keep up with the puck shot by a stick but like it feels so good when you're like yes like i'm the reason we fucking won this game i felt really good i like I always, that feeling i always enjoyed watching my brother he was uh he was played field hockey as the goalie and the, when they play against like they play for the state team and he, he was like 16 he'd be playing for like the over 21s and watching these like full-grown men just like absolutely fucking peppering him with balls <laughs> it's just like <laughs> I mean, he's just he, he's but he's fine it's like he's just not, not, not breaking under the pressure or anything like that he's just getting beaten by fully grown men when he's a child <laughs> like, <laughs> i, I mean, never do him. that <laughs> I, yeah. I have a right respect at it. Right for, at it. for lacrosse goalies because like yeah like hockey goalie like an expected save percentage just easy numbers for like a youth thing 90 percent. <clears throat> you want to save nine out of ten shots you're set, like that come at you. You want to like pretty solid if you're a you know minor league guy, like young league guy. But in in lacrosse, my youngest brother played lacrosse. I was like, what's a good save percentage for a lacrosse goalie? Because I watched a couple of his games and I'm like, fuck, this is like eleven to nine is the score. And he's like, yeah, like like usually like fifty percent or so. And I'm like, oh my god, what a horrible position to be. Half the time you lose and get scored on. Like you, it must be the most discouraging position in the, the world. I never would have played hockey. leg protection. Do uh, lacrosse goalies? Like, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think they. No, no, no. They were some of them wear shorts and some of them wear like soccer right? shin pads, if I recall. Dude, it seems not very hard to get a ball past somebody's legs into a lacrosse ball goal. I have a quick thing. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> We've got several professional athletes here and 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 a professional right. and, and a <laughs> professional gamer. Merchant. Um uh I, I have this uh, little human benchmark thing that'll that'll oh. measure your reaction time, like I don't know, in, in less than 10 seconds. You know, you just click it this and it'll tell you when to click and you click. Let's see who's got the best reaction time. I mine is slow. It's embarrassingly slow. Mine is two one seven milliseconds. I got two oh nine. 176. Jesus. Oh, 227. That sucks. One, 154. Yep. 212. Oh, Ooh. Close. <laughs> this is good content. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh, 173. I'm going to say that was the real one. <laughs> That's what you're trying to be. That's what you're trying to be. No one could possibly get that. Just write it down. <laughs> It started with I got, I got, I got 154. 154. I think I kind of anticipated on the 173. I, I don't even yeah, think that was the reaction. Median score is 273, like apparently. Somebody in, in, in Tarkov. That's okay. That's allowed. I, 
I so really low two hundreds is my actual number. Yeah, me too. Like like two fifteen, two twenty is, is where, where I've been. Yeah. And the uh yeah, two hundred is like the average. I bet you get it right. real quick if you kept trying. Uh yeah. I so so drag race uh drivers like have like a whole like setup, just like I mean nowadays you've seen those things you sit in that are like a whole VR thing almost. But like they had those things years ago with like the pedals and everything with like a screen that would do what we're looking at. You know, it, it would be the, the lights like at a drag race and they're just clicking that thing. If you ever watched that stupid reality show that John Force had with his daughters, like you'd see him doing that a lot. But the drag race, I think it's called a Christmas tree. That's the light yeah. for people who don't know. That's There's like a bunch of red lights or maybe a reds and a bunch of yellows and a green at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I want to say the timing on that is very consistent. So you can learn how long it takes and when to press the green you're not observing it turn green like we were just doing. No, you are. Mm. You definitely are observing it. No, turn no. Green. no so, so you've, you've got three, some lights that are like lights, uh, yeah. the, the, the previous lights are like get ready, and then you yeah. don't know when it's gonna go green. Yeah, and if it, you go too early, you get a like uh, one one light goes on when you get to a certain point. Uh, so you're pulling your car forward, and then a light goes on, and then uh, and then you pull right up to the line, and the rest of the lights go on, and then once the other guy pulls up, and all of his lights go on, then it comes on at a random time. Yeah. Oh, and it can be, okay. Yeah, and You're the one turning on the, those lights on. Yeah, depending so, on the drag race as well, they can come on at different times as well. Uh, for each for each person, depending on the style of drag oh, racing. Now I understand. All right, so I was yeah. mistaken. I, I was under the impression that like yeah, my green light and your green light are not in sync. May, maybe you've yeah. seen video games where they go boop boop boop, and that's when you yeah. go. Oh, well, yeah, you can yeah. very much learn like oh, yeah. when that longer boop happens in swimming. Uh, swimmers will pay attention to the tendency of the guy with the starter gun and start timing. Him are they always hitting. consistent or are they ever it's shifting? A human? So, you know, it, it, yeah, that is what a Christmas tree looks like. And I, so anyway, in, in swimming, it's a human and here's the way it works. If there's a false start, everyone gets a false start. Mm -hmm. If there's a second false start, then those guys get kicked out of the race. So they restart it all together. If like, you all go. I'm, I'm I'm mostly right on these rules. Yeah. And uh, so it's kind of to my advantage to try to time the starter the first time. And then the second time, you're fucked if you messed yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. That, but that's like a tennis serve. Like you get one off like the tennis serve. So the first one, you just fucking pepper it as hard as you can. It's, that makes sense. And the, yeah. the second one's a bit sort of, eh. There was <laughs> you might a, want that one to go in. <laughs> there was a swimmer it does name. Get, like, it does get easier the more you do it. I got down to 147. Like just... Oh, sitting there practice. waiting like you just I think that's how i got one train yourself but yeah. we'll never know because i got that's my best score and it's gonna stop but uh, <laughs> uh yeah there was a swimmer he was like sort of a candidate for the gold but people kept beating his time beating his time he couldn't win he couldn't win but he was still like the best in america and people thought he had a shot and he's like this is swimming not turning and what he's saying is that in this 50 meter race when there's no longer a flip turn in the middle he's the guy who can still win that and if you watch the race, this guy is like half a body length in front of everybody off the start. And he finishes like a hand length in front of everybody. He got beat in the race, but he won the start by so much that he got a gold medal. That's awesome. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I know we're we're close to wrapping, but this Woody, this is don't show this, Zach. You can't show this. If you're squeamish, this is the worst cut on a hockey player oh I've god ever i didn't know good in gosh my life. i was gonna tell you yeah this is in a oh. swedish league i've never seen a face cut that bad he has a second mouth now well i, I, his, I needed yeah. a warning I, I was i was giving you the warning i was saying <laughs> you <were warning laughs> zach, but but zach <laughs> takes no things for any number of reasons <laughs> I, oh, man, look, I saw ukrainian war footage earlier not nearly as graphic as what you just showed me in the hockey <laughs> ice that that's what yeah. cut him was it a stick or a skate a skate a yeah that's why it's like blade. sliced him well, it's so face, open right so there they're usually not on the ice oh, oh. yeah that's that's brutal but he gets for trying to skate on his face i guess so what probably happened is someone upright. tripped someone tripped near him and their skate came up and kicked him right, like, sometimes people get kicked in the face yeah. with a skate and it cuts their that's well, why you wear a full, like a full fucking face mask i guess right dude i I, I used to wear a full, they call it a cage. And oh, it was a mandible. It, it had like, a, <laughs> it was just a wire cage that you could see through pretty well. Anyway, every single game I was reminded, 
This is why good-looking people wear cages. This is what you need a cage if you're a good-looking person. My face is my fortune, baby. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, but yeah, like it, sometimes I'd get hit in the cage. Other times I'd see someone who didn't have a cage get hit and hurt. Guy lose a tooth. And it's like the, every game I was reminded why I wanted a cage. And I played better with yeah. it. If I didn't have a cage, let's say that I, I get knocked it. down and I'm like on my knees. I can play the puck or I can get up or whatever. If I uh, if I do have a cage, I can do that. If I don't have a cage, I have to protect myself. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it, it's just if you're not in the NHL, put a cage on. Like, come on. Those guys have like a team of every team has like a whole list of like medical professionals that don't do anything but work on them. A third of them are dentists and oral surgeons. <laughs> like <laughs> just constantly putting their, their teeth back. I like, in I like the Canadian ones where like all the crazy players are just fucking a butt ugly. They just look like they've just been beaten to death. <laughs> Every so often you see a guy like he's a star and he's been in the league for like 14 years or something. And his face looks like the guy from um, Boardwalk Empire, you know, with the mask and everything. And then you see some new like first round draft pick and he's all handsome with his fresh face and his uninjured nose and teeth. And it's like, ah, sweetheart, if this goes well for you, this won't go well for you. (laughs) It's, It's I like it's funny, like. Like Ryan O'Reilly, the captain of the Blues, he's missing his one of his main front teeth. And so when like he does interviews, he'll like pop his or flipper in. So it looks like he has teeth sometimes. But this guy, Brent Burns on the Sharks, I think he still plays for. He's lost so many teeth in the same front upper area. He looks like a six year old. Like, <laughs> like just no Brent Burns. He's like this six foot seven giant bearded defenseman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and he's he's missing all the whole row of teeth up here, just gone, and he looks absurd. But no one, you know, says anything when you're, you're six seven. Or and six, he looks six, like the fuck, he looks like he's in the fucking Croods, man. That fucking movie about cavemen. Yeah. <laughs> in the Croods, yeah. <laughs> he's simultaneously this is from, yeah. thirty and six. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah thirteen That's or thirty. Get that fixed. Oh, yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> he does. Yeah. His skin is good too. This is from when he was younger. I'm sure his skin's still good. They're all athletes who take care of themselves. But yeah, uh, th- those that's I, the gums of someone who's had missing teeth there long enough for like the gums to reseal. Like, like uh, Rod Brindamore has like, he just looks like he's been cut open a lot. Uh, Rod mm-hmm. Brindamore was a hockey player for a long time and a coach of my local team. You can like Apparently. see part of his face is fucked up when he talks like from like a cut or a scar he got. Like, like it, his Brindamore? mouth. Yeah, Brindamore. His mouth doesn't move like 100% like uh, symmetrical, oh, really? which I think is common. Oh, you don't, man, you don't see people this ugly this, these days. <laughs> people, go out, people, people legitimately go out and get that shit fixed. Are you talking about Rob <laughs> Brindamore? Or, yeah. Uh... yeah. Man, he looks Dude. like his head's been run over. They <laughs> love him in my area. So he's. Oh, um, I'm, sure, I'm sure he's a great guy, but man, most people go and get that shit fixed. Dude, he, <laughs> they call him Rod the Bod. He's in amazing shape, and I think he's in his 50s, but he looks amazing. And apparently, like, he he coaches, like, youth teams and shit in addition to our local pro team. And, uh, like, he's just great with all the kids, and every mom wants him. That's his reputation. (laughs) Every mom wants him. He's um, he's definitely shredded, but that nose, man. Holy fuck. (laughs) That's the nose of a guy who's been punched a lot. Yeah. That is a that is a thing. Like I thought I had a bad nose. That that counts as fucking intense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to curse like an Australian. It looks like a block of wood attached to his face. <laughs> probably, that's probably what it feels like at this point. Just, <laughs> he's definitely a snorer. Can you imagine it. Can you imagine how he breathes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Scuba <laughs> gear. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to uh, rod the bot? All the all the mums want him. Imagine him huffing and puffing on top of you, giving you the the mouth breathing. <laughs> oh please, he's, he doesn't have to breathe. He's in good oh, shape. He's... He is. Uh, you guys want to call it a show? I yep. guess it's time. My dinner is ready. Ooh, I could go for slush. Food. Anything you want to pimp? Oh yeah, I buy my merch. I've, I've bought a shitload oh. of it. Now I don't uh, I, I can't. I haven't sold it all. I wear merch. Nobody. Else. Did, how much do you have? What a shit how much do you have? I brought, I brought like two thousand dollars worth of merch. Oh, no. I, they, were, they were like, 
they, they were like, hey, uh, yeah, no, we, we'll do this. This is fine. We'll print them as they're ordered. And they ordered like fucking heaps of them. And I'm like, the, the, the company's like, yeah, it was $2,000. And I'm like, for fucking what? And they're like, for all the t-shirts we printed. So, yeah, buy a fucking shirt. Slushpuppymerch.com. Yeah. Uh, Slushpuppymerch.com. Yep. Yeah, get on there. There we it's go. Great. Check out slushpuppymerch.com. It works. Yep. And, and buy our, buy our, buy our not modeling any of this merch. Yeah. Yes, and check out our cum pills and also ExpressVPN. Dude, the cum pills are hilarious. I swear to God, they work. You're going to get a kick out of it. <laughs> I'm going to get code some of the PKA cum pills. Code PKA for 20% why. off. And anything else you want on Derek's oh, site, yeah. 20% off as well with code PKA. That's a thing. Like If you want protein powder or whatever, you can get oh, that too. Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. I'm going to take before photos before going to my starting my gym journey and of my load, and then I'm going to take the cum pills and then work out. It's amateur hour. You're going to need to measure that load much more accurately. You want to come into a condom, and then you you draw out the semen with something like this uh, and you measure it to the milliliter. Good call, good call. <laughs> and then you show the girl how impressive it is the one that's tied to your radiator <laughs> you yeah, yeah. You've got to, you spray her in the eyes and she'll never forget yeah. goodness this is your this dinner action. the slush puppy was going to show two pictures of his wife <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like a modern art masterpiece yeah <laughs> Picasso. <laughs> All right, well, that's what we got right there. It's hungry. All right, PKA five eighty four. 